Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Picks. Today, we are going to be showcasing two of the Marvel Spider Man games Marvel Spider Man 2 and Miles. Uh, Marvel Spider Man Miles Morales. It's already off to a great start. Can't speak. Gonna go strong. Registration is live for Awesome Games Done Quick 2020, 2024. <laughs> All right, can we just cancel the show? Um, if you'd like to attend the event in person from January 14th through 21st, you can go to gamesdonequick.com for more information, including attendee registration and hotel booking. Be sure to check out the schedule at gamesdonequick.com slash schedule and let us know what you're looking forward to the most. Also, Frame Fatales has its next event, Frost Fatales, coming up March 3rd through 10th of next year. Frost Fatales 2024 run submissions and studio applications are now open for all women femmes in speedrunning. You can use exclamation FF in Twitch chat, or you can go to gamesdonequick.com slash frameforetales for more information. Please take it away so I do not screw my words up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel so bad for that. <laughs> like, how, do you, how do you come off that? Like, there's no way to... <laughs> I'm sorry I screwed up. I, I, I failed so badly that you don't even know how to pick it up. <laughs> Spider Man well, 2. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we can just start going and do the intros during this first cutscene that we're gonna uh -huh. have to watch. Alright. Three, two, one go. That was the best way to start that possible, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah. I love> that. <laughs> so, I am Burt Maverick. I've ran uh, at least the Insomniac Spider Man uh, games since they came out. So, like, a couple weeks after 2018 came out, I just started running it and have having a good time ever since. And I have uh, Recon here on comms. Uh, you'll have him for if this doesn't work. <laughs> the entire day. <laughs> Sorry. Take me out. Unlucky. <laughs> you stuck with me. <laughs> oh, no. It'll work. Oh, no. It's, it's a fun run. It is a fun run. This is a... Uh, I have put an unhealthy amount of time into, run, into running and ratting this game with all with all the boys. So I'm excited to, to see what you got cooking, Burke. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Also, speaking of routing, uh, because the game is still kind of new, there are a few routes I will never... for this yes. run. <laughs> we, we have about four that have, people have come up with. Burke has one, Pess has one, J Hobbs has one, B Dot has one. There's so many different ways to run the game, and they're all so close in time. It is very, very fun. We love it. And that is the end of the first, the intro cutscene. Yep, now we actually can start playing the game. Also, um, I just want to bless Insomniac for adding a streamer mode. So we don't have to mute any game audio like we need to for the other two games. Very nice. I'm so glad that the streamer mode doesn't include the intro song though. Like the intro song is such a pop. We love so it. Right now, we're just doing normal movement on the way to Sandman. Uh, there's going to be a little trick coming up right when we get to this bridge. And it's going to look very weird. I can't really explain it. I can, I can try. <laughs> so, the bridge actually, to my knowledge, gives you a bit of a speed boost. Like, when you, for story reasons, you gotta get that fast, it gives you a bit of a speed boost. And for some reason, jumping on the water like this and then cancelling your web swing to jump again will not cause that to happen. <laughs> yeah. It will just give you a massive burst of speed so you can just hop along the, hop along the, the area. That was actually found pretty recently. I can't remember who by, but the, oh, the, because of this game is so new, it's less than three weeks old. Actually, I think it's just about three weeks old. I think it literally is three weeks old now. Yeah, Friday, yeah. No, yesterday it was three weeks old. So, uh, 
it, it's there's a lot of new stuff that's still being experimented with, and this this run can definitely go a lot lower than where it currently is. But for now, we're gonna beat Sandman with rocks. I guess that's one way to do it. Okay, and a first for the Insomniac Spidey games. Uh, the bosses have health bars, and the game starts with an Attack on Titan boss. Like, oh, that's gonna pause. I love I love this boss fight. Like this 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 game is this opening to this game is one that it's it's up there for me. Like you've got Ragnarok up there with God of War. You've got God of War three up there for me. This one's very, some of the very top. This this has got such a good opening. It's so cool. Am I right in saying as well? It is rendered in native 4K. Yeah, this game 16. is native 4K, and I'm playing in performance, so it's 4K 60 with ray tracing. And it's beautiful. Yeah, there's not not really much to talk about in this mission. Realistically, it's just big attack on Titan boss fight and a few few enemies here. This this area mostly serves as like the main game tutorial. Like, oh, this is how you punch things. This is how this is how bosses are gonna work. You know, that that, that kind of thing. And uh, a lot of this, actually, funnily enough, is uh, dialogue-based, not enemy-based. So, no matter how many enemies you kill in this section, this cutscene will always play. That one right there with the, the, the sand people that Berg just skipped. That one will always, always, always play at the end of the principal's dialogue on that section. And it's the same with this one. Once Miles stops talking at the end of this cutscene, that's when the next part happens. Yeah. It's not actually when... Yeah, it's not really, like, dialogue-based either, because I, uh, for one attempt, I didn't, like, defeat any of these, uh, little Sandman enemies, and the, uh, next segment didn't start. So I guess it's yeah, kind yeah. of both enemy-based and dialogue-based? I suppose the game expects you to kill a certain amount of them, and then, you know, then, then the next section happens where... Oh, and, uh, one thing to mention, too, throughout the run, um, we, uh... We're probably going to talk about uh, laggy menus a lot, because uh, some cutscenes, when you try to skip them, just lag the pause menu. <laughs> well, I've found my, my greatest achievement in speedrunning, the, the double cutscene skip is uh, mostly possible because of that, yeah. so... Yeah. It, it's... You've not experienced it if you haven't accidentally quit the game mid-run, trying to skip a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what you know. You just know you're a speedrunner in any game when you just accidentally quit mid run. <laughs> yep. Uh, you ever lost 20 seconds because you have to reload the game again? <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna wait for dialogue here. There we go. Now I can do the triangle prompts. And it will always go to a certain amount of the uh, HP. That looks so cool, man. I was blown away when I played this for the first time, honestly. It was like, oh. I love you, Insomniac. Please make it another Ratchet and Clank game. Not by us. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just gonna web him up and uh, use his own sand against him. Would that really hurt him? <laughs> I actually don't think so. <laughs> Like just hitting him with himself. <laughs> <laughs> right, and here's uh, the power of the PS5. Yeet. Off he goes. Do you think that hurt? Maybe a bit. But it's so cool. Like, how fast it can load, like all of this as well. The PS5. This game is built natively for the PS5 as well, like from the ground up, as far as I'm aware. A bit so. low here. Web him up. Nice. It's built natively, like built from scratch for the PS5, so it's the whole thing is like made for, for this console. There's no like, uh, it's not like the old ones that were built originally on the PS4 or like built also for the PS4, so a lot of the stuff that they tried to do on like the newer versions, like the PS5 version, they couldn't do as a result of like, it's not going to work on the, on the older hardware. So this one, they can just go um, they can do whatever they want. So cool. And, and then we're just gonna go through one. Sandman yep. said. Nice. Very nice. 
And I'm just literally just gonna be pressing circle here. I don't need to move. <laughs> While Pete's just gonna go side by side. <laughs> yeah, Pete's dodging for his life there, and it's just like <laughs> actually scaling the building. Oh, you're gonna do the skip here, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna. I mean, I I'm guess I can. I can show it here. Just there's supposed to be an enemy. Like right through this wall. And, oh, hey, actually you got, got it nice. pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. So doing that at the start of that fight will uh, kill every one of the sand enemies in that in that room that he was just in. So he doesn't have to do. He doesn't have to fight that that one. He gives to go straight to the next room. I don't know this skip though. That one I also yeah. do not know. Surprisingly, we have a fair few skips in this uh, in this. Uh, level in this game already. It's been out for three weeks. We move, we move fast. Also, I guess there's an ultimate difficulty tip right there. Um, before the healing tutorial shows up, you can already use a focus bar to heal yourself. Hey, nice. And you just get the focus bar that is meant for the tutorial. You can use it as a finisher. That's really cool. Yeah, and I guess we didn't. We also didn't say up. this is friendly neighborhood difficulty. Yeah, That's, so uh, um, I I can't get knocked out during combat at all. Yep, he cannot die. So there are there will be sections, incredibly hilariously later on actually, where we will just face tank a whole bunch of bullets because we can't die, and it's faster to do it that way. Oh yeah. Also, for some reason, you could skip that one fight by going to the window, and it goes to this section. And so I forgot to remove the checkpoint there. I guess. Wow, I actually got a lot of them with that electricity. Yeah, yeah I've, uh, I've found you kill, like, you get rid of like two or three of them there. and then do the electricity in the water and they just... Laggy menu just, there. Like, oh, we love it. <laughs> and yeah. now a new mechanic shows up. The web wings. Oh, they're beautiful. Best thing about this game, 10 out of 10. So there is a possibility of a soft lock here. So let's hope the, it doesn't happen. The, I actually didn't know that. Is that damn? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's, what's this? People like? get. Oh, okay, that was close. Uh, before this oh, happens, there's one. um. Yeah, the camera will turn to the right, and then Pete will just not go through this. So I'm actually really glad it didn't soft lock. Somebody like a flexing with this, by the way. Can I just say? Like, look what we can do on the PS5. And that pretty much right there, actually, is technically the end of the boss fight. We just need to uh, yeah. we ignore just... all of these guys. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised triggers like that were actually left in and no one <laughs> found it. Alright, there we go. Sandman is defeated. Yay! Very nice. And there's the Craven intro that we just skipped. And now a one minute unskippable cutscene. Yay! This is also rendered all in engine, I believe, as well, right? This is not like an actual yeah, separate cinematic. I'm pretty sure this is a real time. I mean, this kind of implies that it is, right? Just like. We start to zoom in for the city. That was definitely just made to show off. Right there. <laughs> and I love it. Honestly, I, I personally love it. Alright, we should go over some of the gameplay settings that I have for the run as well. That is a good idea, yes. So, like 2018 in Miles, uh, there is an option called QTE Autocomplete. Uh, it is a godsend. What's happening to the requests that are coming in? They'll all get Sorry, uh, I'm opening yeah. a drink. <laughs> uh, yes, it is uh, brilliant. I'm work, work fast. Is that pretty much it? I'll, I'll yeah. say this now because I'm probably going to forget later. There are certain missions in this game which are like basically only QTEs. They play themselves. So I get to just like sit down and relax in my chair and the game plays itself for like four minutes. It's great. <laughs> there they are. Greatest option. Right. Greatest accessible light option. Oh, we got this guy to pull out of the sand. Okay. I 
time now. Thank you. Do you think there's like a set number of civilians that are just... It's like a random civilian, but there's like a set amount? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that guy can be complete, like a completely different civilian every time you oh. play the game. What I wanted to and I wanted to show off there that um <laughs> when Chief Clark is talking to you in that uh ambulance, uh the window is actually not down, so his head is just clipping through the window. What do you need? He's just a god amongst men, he doesn't need <laughs> <laughs> doesn't need the window down. Yeah, it's um very cool. They, that that also there, the auto QT complete did also skip a new mechanic in the QTs where you pull down on both the sticks. Uh, that that was supposed to show up there because we have it on. It just does it for us, so we can just hold it down. It's very um, convenient. It is definitely very convenient. Yes, I checked with the head guy. Super nice. Seemed excited. And we just have to wait for Genki. All right, now now for something really confusing here. So. We can go through these rings, and it tells us that uh, we get bonus XP for doing that. But for some sure? reason, <laughs> for some reason, if I don't do anything, I actually get more XP. So if you go through all the rings, you get like 157. But if for me just doing nothing, uh, I get 228. Yeah, that is so silly. I think the game devs are like, it's a you tried medal, you know. Here you go. Here's a bit, tiny bit more XP. You tried. I'm gonna get some that momentum here funny. with the ground strike. That was beautiful. My God. And we have our first criminal fight. Uh, so on all difficulties in this game, it's three webs to web up one enemy, and if you do perfect dodge one, they instantly get webbed up. Yeah. Like that, so I can just go up to him, knock him up in the air, and yep. I'm gonna save my spider barrage, which is the L1 square ability for this next fight. I should mention as well, there are two Spider-Men in this game, and uh, for some reason, certain sections will carry over your abilities from the previous Spider-Man. So, if Burke doesn't use his L1 square, which is Spider-Barrage, he will actually have the Venom Punch for Miles in the next section, which is so strange, but it's just the way it works, I guess. It's really cool. Right, keep an eye on that cooldown down there for, for the square on the left and when we fight as miles you'll see it should be roughly the same also ignore the pile of bodies spider-man's webbing to the floor though okay that was a bit weird it's just all in one place over there in that corner very nice yeah that's a pretty decent fight i do want to say they seem to have made Enemies a lot tankier in this game. I don't know if it's because I was like only I only ever ran like NG plus on Miles in 2018, but like those guys died so quickly. Like on these punches, and then these guys take about 12 different punches to the jaw and they even get knocked out. Like over there, she was having trouble breathing. They've been beefed up. Miles, you busy? Now we got the Miles segment of this mission. We're gonna start off by doing the drone thing again. Yes. I should mention as well, this mission is also, like, to serve as a tutorial. It's like, here's how your gadgets work, here's how your webs work, here's how your abilities work, that kind of thing, so... Just just basic, like, start of the game stuff right here, which is really cool. We like it. We like it a lot. I just went through, uh, Helicopter's Blades, uh, and I'm fine. You're, you're an FN, bro, you can't die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so friendly neighborhood, the easiest difficulty in the game. Okay, we said before, I believe, yeah, the enemies, they still take quite a beating, but Spider-Man cannot die. And there are actually some, uh, there's a lot of things that we're going to collect in this run that will help us with, like, gadget upgrades and damage upgrades later on that makes combat, like, much, much faster. So this stuff that you're seeing now at the start, like, we're punching a lot of dudes, like, throwing up in the air, webbing them. 
all of that, most of that still still translates to later on, but we get a whole plethora of new, fancy new toys and new upgrades that we can use, which will make fights, like, almost a joke. <laughs> it is, uh, it is very easy. It's very, really, it's really, really fun. God, I love this game. It's so well made. So I'm going to do that Grand Slam to get momentum again, and I'm going to transfer it yep. into my web wings. You should see here, actually, this is the Miles fight section. He does not have punch, and it's the almost the exact same cooldown as the Spider Barrage was. I don't know why this is a thing, but it's a thing. So, uh, yeah, abilities, finishes, I think gadgets as well. I could be completely wrong with that one, but uh, all of them. All of them. Loved up yep. there. Oh, very nice. All of them transfer between Spider-Men, so if you have a Spider-Man, if you have both of them on the same mission, and like you use some of Miles' abilities to make the Miles bits go faster, you won't have that ability, that corresponding ability for Pete, for example. So, it's very strange. Very strange, strange. New mechanic, her parry. We love it. Okay, that is... go to the truck, so I'm gonna have to web him. I'm gonna still try to save my punch. Okay, uh, <laughs> they're just wailing on me. The enemy said no. Yeah, in in air finishes, you'll probably notice Berk do them quite a, quite a lot. You he jump in the air, press uh, triangle and square, triangle and circle. That will instantly kill uh, any enemy that is allowed that he uh, uses it on. Oh come on! Why aren't you? Okay, I'm just gonna do the finisher. Bonk. <laughs> I also have a, I have a gadget on R1 Triangle, which is Upshot. It is uh, not useful. It is, in a way. In certain parts, it can be, but it's not nowhere near as good as the gadget that we're going to get in, like, 15 minutes' time. Like, it is ridiculous how good one gadget carries, like, most of this run. It is so good. I love it. Check it out. And here is a sand crystal. Yeah, this is a tutorial for a collectible. What the hell? Didn't we just start by pulling the sprinklers? Oh, and two of the enemies here, um, you just can't target them. No idea why. They, they just the Sony forgot to give them hitboxes, I guess. I think you can, the weird thing is, you can still kill them. Like, they can still be, like, killed. The only thing is, uh, you can't actually physically target them with a punch or anything like that. So what you what you'd end up having to do is uh, throw something at them or punch an enemy with Miles Venom Punch, and then it will hit the enemy behind him, like the two oh, that are targetable behind him. For example, that's like... I'm just getting bullied right now. <laughs> yeah, these these guys are surprisingly tanky. Like, the, the ranged dudes. Like, Insomniac felt bad that Spider-Man was, like, beating the hell out like, ranged dudes and the other ones. So, like, they gave them so much, like, health or something. And that was a restart checkpoint right there. That's just to skip her. Uh, if you can do that fight quick enough, it'll skip all of MJ's dialogue, all of Miles' dialogue at that point, and then... You can just go straight to the <laughs> to the moon, actually. <laughs> if uh, you're gonna do what I think you're gonna do. Oh uh, no, I'm doing it. I gotta do it for the XP. So there's a there's kind of a bug here. I mean, I wouldn't say it's kind of a bug. It is, but I'm just gonna hold air trick and I'm just gonna start flying. Off he goes. I'm doing this to get some early XP. I'm gonna let's see. I'll drop it at like 13 there. It's almost a full level there, nice. Miles is off to space, guys. <laughs> and we get to carry all that momentum. All the way over here. Very nice. Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's new. Yeah, that's a new one. I've never seen that before. <laughs> is that technically faster because you can have to jump down? Like, what even happened though? I have no idea. Also, oh, I guess that's the uh, GDQ staple of uh, that's never happened before. <laughs> that's never happened before. 
Let's check on that person in love the limo. Alright, now to save this person in the limo. The VIP? And who might but, that be? Surprise, it's <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson. And oh, they I also introduce a new mechanic here of carrying someone. Well, I guess they didn't surface tension previous mission, but you technically you didn't. You do it longer here. Time. Yeah. Yeah, if you're feeling nice, or well, not feeling nice, because if you're feeling mean, I suppose you could technically kidnap him or just take him elsewhere. Oh yeah, you, you wish, could but... do that. So crimes in this game, sometimes you uh, can uh, have a thing where you have to carry a civilian to a nearby ambulance. You actually don't really need to do that. You can just take him for a ride. It is there's, very some, silly. Uh, there's some very silly videos on the internet with people doing that. Yeah, one of um one of our old routes used to consist of collecting a lot of like collecting a lot of tech parts, which you can get mostly in crime Art skills. There you go, slingshot launch, very nice. And uh, th there's a lot of crimes. We had to do like two or three crimes for the run. Uh, we did that, that. We did them during wait times and stuff. If we got a civilian in those crimes, we lose like twenty to thirty seconds for just for the fact that the crime doesn't end unless we deliver them. And sometimes the nearest ambulance is like a thousand meters away. So very very silly. I should mention as well, Burke is playing on Digital Deluxe version, which gives him an extra two skill points at the start of the game. He is not allowed to spend those skill points through this run because that is slightly an unfair advantage for those who didn't, who don't have digital de deluxe. So we've, we've made the rule: you're not allowed to go below the two skill points. Otherwise, you are. It is completely invalid. The run, unfortunately. All right, what crime am I getting? Rooftop crime. It looks like a rooftop. Yep, there it is. Very nice. There are two crimes that can spawn here. That rooftop one is the most consistent one, but sometimes there's a crime that can spawn like a vehicle crime, which is technically faster. However, you don't get nearly as much XP or tech parts from it because uh, of what happens in this crime. Say hello to our friend Miles. Oh, I got a parry? Oh, no. Oh, that's a slow one. Yeah. Yeah, Burke's gonna be doing the bonus objective here, just so uh, he can get some extra XP from the end of the mission. Can you, can you like melee me, please? All right, all right we got it. There you go. Very nice. So I'm just gonna yeah. help Miles. Those bonus objectives can vary. Like sometimes it's web up enemies, sometimes it's throw things at enemies, sometimes it's like some other stuff. I actually can't remember. Okay. I'm gonna grab this tech crate. Oh, RNG. How much? Oh, 15. 15. Oh, that's not nice. Uh, so, I don't. I usually run with the um, shortcut for the camera gadget, but I do not have that right now, so I have to get used to swiping up on the touchpad. <laughs> there is a reason he swapped these shortcuts, by the way, but I won't spoil the surprise. Ooh. Yeah, these tech crates are completely random. Well, ish. They have set amounts. Oh like, my six. goodness! Sixteen. You're, get, you're getting bullied by the RNG. Here. I need, I'm gonna need the extra one here. And there's the mission spawn. Actually, yeah, that was all technically within a wait time. So the mission, the next mission, just spawned or automatically here. Uh, yeah. So those tech crates, they have random values. They can have up to like I think it's up to thirty tech parts, but it'll be randomized between however many. Yeah, there we go. That's a 29. <laughs> that is a, that's a good one. These tech parts are, believe it or not, probably some of the most important things in the run. Ish, actually. There's, there's, there's a few other things that are pretty important, but those tech parts are kind of the most important parts because they will determine what upgrades we get and how many we get, well, however, however fast we can get them, you know, that kind of thing. They Upgrades cost tech parts, is the point. I don't know where I was going with that other, <laughs> uh, other thing, but... Yeah, this is um, this is just a little little walking segment, the game of the year gameplay right here, you know, just gonna take out the trash <laughs> real quick. Very lovely. What about selling the house? I... 
Uh, yeah, ar I'm, arguably the uh, the start of this game is a little bit slow. Arguably, it kind the start of it. Yeah. I can cover the mortgage. No, no, I can't let you do that. But so weird sometimes that's a good thing. For... Clean house. Yeah. I don't know why I can't just put the Chinese food in the trash. I have to wait for MJ's dialogue, and then I can pick it up. I don't deserve you. <laughs> Gotta listen to MJ, you know. <laughs> hey, so Important dialogue that's happening. Moving in? We talked about this. It, it is strange, some of the things that GDQ, not GDQ, <laughs> things that Iron <laughs> Man 2 has decided to, uh, to do with its gameplay. I'm so sorry, that was... <laughs> yeah, it, it is strange, some of, the, some of the mechanics that they put in place. Like, where you have to wait mostly for a lot of that dialogue. Like, here, for example, you can't just pick up the photo. You have to, like, have MJ talk about how cute you looked back in back in the day. You should know in these photos before you can pick them up and progress next. Balance. It's just video gaming. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a look. Ah, uh, yeah. This the the start of the run is quite. Yeah, this this is a really cool section. Like even casually, this is like really cool. I'm not like riffing on the game casually. Like the slow the slow pacing of the start, I think, is really fine for casually. But for, for speed running, you know, you kind of just want to go Spider Man quick, you know. Can't take too much on. But uh, it, it it it's a little slow at the start. There's a few like the the game does take a few missions to like kind of get into into the swing of things, which isn't always a bad thing. Here we go. But oh, yeah. our favorite segment. <laughs> Was using the, <laughs> the bully the segment. Trends, but I don't even need it. So uh, an option that I have on right now is uh, I have re repeated button presses set to hold instead of tap, so I don't have to tap the X button for this whole segment. Yeah. It's really GTA nice. Is. Oh, Harry just did a nose manual there. I don't know bike terms, but yay. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> So there's uh, there's also something incredibly funny that I lost uh, 30 seconds to in one of my runs, actually. And it is, uh, for some reason, the, like, the bike it moves on its own if you hold X, but like we, I tend to make like micro-adjustments. I accidentally pushed forward a little too far on, my, uh, on the joystick, and uh, over this curb, Pete decided to nosedive directly, oh, kind of like that, but he nosedived <laughs> directly into the floor and just clicked into it. So I was stuck there, just Pete is vibrating and dying for his life. He's like trying to get out for his life, but he couldn't. And I had to restart checkpoint, which puts you right back before that gate closed. And that lost me 30 seconds on one of my runs. It was very sad. And that is something hilarious that can happen on this pikes. But... It is, uh, silly. <laughs> Speaking of silly things, um, doing that really fast with the cart, uh, we get this on screen for a while, telling us how to aim the cart. The entire mission, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. I do, I do like what they do with this mission. Like, as, as speaking from a casual perspective, right? This mission, it's supposed to set up like the friendship between these two, which we didn't really get in the first. It was kind of hinted at in the first game, but like we, we get, we get like a full like mission to explore around as the the youngest selves. You know, it's like really cool. So there is an out of bounds here, but I'm just not gonna be going for it. The guard sprinting to the door. Yeah, uh, that I actually didn't know you could do. <laughs> so that's that's something new I have learned. That is free time save for me. Thank you, Berg. Uh, Very cool. <laughs> okay, there's the triangle prompt. Sometimes you have to wait for that triangle prompt, and other times it's like almost instant. Very strange. Okay, I also have um, web shooter burst enabled because of... Uh, the enemy is only requiring three webs to get webbed up, so it's just it's, way uh, easier on the hands. Instead of uh, him firing one web shooter when you press R1, he will fire three instead, which uh, is uh, okay. Can we, cool. Pete? Can we go up? Thank you. That was the way the guard didn't see that. Like, just a guy jumped to the roof. Like these these roofs, by the way, they're not that tall. Like that guard is pretty tall. Like, would he not? Oh, careful, Burke. Cut down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry for the mess, Rick. Okay. Now we gotta wait for uh, Rick here. 
have a He doesn't see the shadow either. Like you're on top of a light. Just a spider. And you drop down and then it's the uh, basketball section. Question now that here's a tiny break segment. So this is supposed to be all um QTE stuff. But since we have QTE autocomplete on, uh we're just gonna get uh just this. Just instantly in there. Nice. I'm so happy you're feeling better. So you're gonna aim that car to what though? Like <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know where the cart is. <laughs> oh, it's such a weird bug. Yeah, the section's mostly just uh Oh dear. Yeah, it's frozen. Yeah, it's frozen on my end. Okay, uh, I sounds like we're gonna take a little bit of a tech break here while we figure out what's going on, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. Uh, we ran into a little bit of an issue with uh, the capturing of uh, Spider-Man, but uh, we're uh, ready to continue. Uh, whenever you're ready, yeah. if you just want to give like a three, two, one, and then we'll uh, yeah. continue. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> yeah. It was very unfortunate timing. Because we consider this our first uh, segment of a uh, of a break. I mean, it seemed like you guys were doing Yo. good. It should be okay now. Maybe I don't know. We'll Fingers crossed. Oh yeah, it's almost over. Like this is the last uh, last throw here. Can he sink it though? That's the question. What's the score? And a nice beat. He sinks it. <laughs> Make Flash pay for breaking your laptop. And that's the end of the basketball yeah, section. Let it go. Very nice. That's play. also one uh, hate to burst your bubble, Burke, but Burke was not playing that section. That was one that was uh, also, uh, playing on its own. Say goodbye to the aiming cart. Prompt. No, aiming cart. I'm not the one giving the presentation. Don't be nervous. Don't say don't be nervous to someone who's already nervous. Uh, yeah, that, that's, um, that's a key to autocomplete segment that will... Uh, that is there's a few of those scattered throughout the run so that was uh that was the first like big one it's uh it's very nice the game to do that for us we just get like just to sit down and chill you know the vibes yeah that guy must be terrified by the way like suddenly all the balloons pop behind him we love it now a very fast stealth segment. Don't move. I'll be right back. And very it's nice. done. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's that's the flashback mission. It's really cool casually, but like I, I don't know how I feel about that mission, personally. Um, nice laggy mission. menu. Maybe these wind tunnels can give And Spider Man, yay. So I'm restarting checkpoint here because um, we think it's a bug where uh, your web wings will just keep opening, uh, trying to go to the next mission. So we just restart to fix it. Yeah, I think uh, the intention is so you don't accidentally like close the web wings during the tutorial because this is technically like the web wings tutorial. This is the one that you're supposed to like. You know, you're supposed to have learned the. Like, it's, it's supposed to teach you how to use the web wings and how to use like tunnels and stuff. Also, nice corner. <laughs> so, um, for some reason, like if you go off, off out of it, then it just keeps opening and closing them whenever it feels like it. So, just to get out of that loop, we restart the checkpoint and just do it from there. Which is uh, really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a point launch off this boat. I almost forgot. Uh, time to get the best gadget in the game. Oh, it is a beautiful gadget. Uh, Cutscene? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to be weirdly close to that for it to like actually uh, work. Now, here's the question. 
Are you gonna do the things? He's gonna do the things. Okay. So this, this is, is actually it's also kinda hard to control because the boat is also moving. Yeah, I um I tend to opt to not do this anymore in my own runs, just because of the boat moving. It it makes it like a lot more tedious than it needs to be, but it is much faster than punching them. Why punch them when you can make them drown, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. They don't drown, they just float. Yeah, they can all they can all swim. That's it's that's fine. It will one shot them though. That is that is the point of doing this. So we don't actually have to we don't actually have to punch them, but you also may have seen the menuing that uh, Burke did just then. That was to grab the best gadget in the game, the web grabber. And he did actually use it, but if, uh, in, case, uh, in case you don't know what it does, it grabs enemies in from pretty much all around it, and it will pull them towards it. There is an upgrade later for it that makes this gadget like one of the greatest things for combat. It is beautiful. Here we go, web swinging. We swing, swing kicking these off is like so satisfying, actually. Like, I, I've, I've had times where you pull them all in with the web grabber and then just like swing kick each one of them off individually. And they just all go and float in the water. It's very fun. Speedrun strats are very cool. Uh, okay, there's someone. Oh, it's the bird. Ah, the birds. I actually don't know how much how much these take to die, but usually uh, webbing them up and then throwing them on the floor like that will just one shot them. I think that I think it's the oh, same with okay, most. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I think it's the same with most enemies in this game. Just webbing them up and kicking them into a wall, or webbing them up and throwing them against the floor will just like. Pretty much instantly KO them, so that's uh, probably what we're gonna do. Uh, I can speak English. Okay, <laughs> that's probably what we'll be seeing uh, happen throughout the run. A, a lot, of, a lot of the early points of the run, anyway, which is uh, really nice. Nice and quick combat. This mission, this mission, you can save most of your time with the combat in this mission because uh, there's a lot of it. There is definitely a lot of it. And they, it is a very long mission. Like, even casually, this is a pretty long mission. So, very nice to just be able to speed all that up by one-shotting most of the enemies. And I, I did mention as well beforehand, there are upgrades for, like, damage and stuff that you can get later on in the game, but we don't have any of those just yet, so punching out enemies will take quite a, quite yeah. a while, so... Especially those ones, it's, like, eight hits or, like, six. It's it's a lot of punches. Like they just they have like steel in in their skeletons or something. Like it takes a while to beat to beat them. So any way we can do it faster is just very appreciated. And then new game plus comes out, and then you have all of the upgrades anyway from the very start, and you take like three punches and they'll die. Hey, so um, that trapped guard there wasn't actually a guard; it was scorpion. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of tricks you, doesn't he? Like to let him out with uh, with that trap guard. Spider Man's too nice. Yeah, this whole hallucination section is supposed to like you're supposed to like look at all of the all of the people. You're supposed to like look at everyone there. You're supposed to like enjoy it and be like, oh my god, what's happening? And then uh, we we just skip most of it by swinging through it. Well, not swinging, but point point launching through it all as fast as we can. Here's another instance of the combat section. This one, we're gonna have to punch him quite quite a lot, but... In uh, sticking people to walls, surprisingly, deals. Just one-shots them, so... That is uh, the best way to do things, I believe. Uh, okay, this guy, I'm just gonna do the finisher. Bonk. Very nice. This also is uh, oh, enemy okay, and Lamau. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this also is enemy and dialogue based. Like you have to wait for the call to finish before you can actually leave. But then um, you have to also have killed all of the enemies in the in the room. In some, oh, that guy is stuck to the harpoon. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, most of the enemies in this game. Uh, I lost my train of thought now, but damn. 
No, that, that won't come back to me. He, he's, he's doing it fast, that's all I'm saying. I should mention as well, I don't I don't know if I did mention it, but he is jumping a lot in the air to do finishes because uh, doing a finisher in the air like that is much faster, but Miles and Peter actually have two separate finish animations. I believe my, uh, Peter's animations are a tiny bit faster for in-air finishes, so that's Wait, something... Where's the... Oh. <laughs> right next <Here>. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow did not see them. Nice. Now we have a little QTE segment here. So we and just have to be, uh... watch all of this. Yep. We didn't really talk much about the... Uh... The story, have we? No, what are these really. What are these guys doing here? These guys are not very nice people. They want to uh, they want to kidnap some bad guys, which is not uh, not ideal because you know they're ruining a whole like transport operation that's happening here. But uh, you know, Spider Man and the Spider Man coming up to the last combat section of this mission here, actually. I'm gonna wipe up a propeller, stop it from doing things. Miles, why don't you ever have that many webs when we are actually in gameplay? <laughs> okay. Yep, swing. Poor, poor guy, his poor skull. Okay. Bonked up a metal ring. I'm just gonna hit this one. Here we go. So I'm trying to save my abilities for, um,. A free arm segment later on. So that's why I didn't use uh, one of our new abilities, which was Chain Lightning, and I didn't use Venom Smash either. Yeah, it's uh, very useful to save that. Mostly because of what we will be doing in that free arm section, actually. And as Miles, it's much faster to do it. So I, we mentioned before as well, all of, the, all of the different routes. Burke is going to be using his own route that I 100% did not yoink and use for my <laughs> own runs. So he's going to be using the, the route that he came up with here. I mean, I helped, I helped a bit, you know. I was yeah, there you did. For it. <laughs> you a pin. Yeah, I, uh, he's going to be using his route. Everyone's like, any run that you see will probably be using a different route. Because I know there's a streamer, Beedod, who uses uh, his own route that he created completely from scratch without any help. He just sat on his own for a week, did the whole thing, and honestly, he he's gotten like four world records with it. It is ridiculous. It is a he's pretty good route. <laughs> it is a very, very good route. Yeah, it's a quick backup photo op right there. Just uh, for some extra city tokens, which are uh, going to be very useful later on. For sure. That also yeah, prompts a level up. Nice. Very nice indeed. Level six. Oh, my back. Okay, I'm alive. <laughs> Don't worry. So I'm just going to be using wind tunnels here to get this to is the next such mission. A cool, such a cool mechanic they added. Yeah, so in the old routes, like, uh, this is the Burke and B4 route. This is Burke 4. <laughs> We've had very many alterations of the routes uh, for this one, but during this free roam section would have been when we did, like, one or two of the crimes to get a lot of the tokens, but because that's a lot slower, we've opted not to do that anymore. Like, we've, uh, we've opted not to do those anymore just because of how much slower it is. It just makes this mission, like... 10 times longer than it needs to be, so what we're going to do, we're just going to go straight to this mission instead and pick up a, a tech crate on the way. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Let's hope you uh, actually I... get some nice RNG. Alright, let's see here. 17? Wow. The game is you, not, being, not nice. being nice at all, no. <laughs> I actually might need to grab more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot on this path. Well, not not this path specifically. There's a lot on the path to the next mission that you could probably grab if you need to go out your way. 
There's one by the slingshot down there as well. If uh, if you need like a little quick extra one just before this next mission. Ladder strats. Let's go. Of course you did. Yeah, so standing on this um ladder here uh, will have us be able to do most of the stuff we need here. Yep, we just scan, and it's very cool. Yeah, standing on this ladder, usually we have to get into a specific position to move this. That went through the pigeons, can I just mention? <laughs> yeah, so you'd, you'd, uh, you'd scan these, and you'd need to get into a specific position, like where to jump upwards to, like, where to pull it up. But from the ladder, you can just do a little hop and then pull it open and just go straight into the stash. So it's just nice to be able to do everything from that one place and not have to move around consistently, you know, so... Very nice. You wanna finally tell me what this is? Oh, and that is the introduction of Prowler Stashes. We are, I believe, going to be doing another one very shortly. Yeah. Listen. Also just had to really wait for the dialogue there. Um, yep. So are you going to um, grab any other tech crates on this route, or are you just going to kind of like... Hey, if I can spot one and I'll grab it. I yeah. actually don't know where all of them are on the map. There is um, like over 200. Yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of them. Yo, tech crate percent. <laughs> God, that would be painful, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so as a part of this route, like I said, I'm, I'm going to keep reiterating, everybody who currently runs this game does very different things. Like, very different things in different parts. And it is insane. So, uh, part of Burke's route here, he's going to go and get 100% completion in one of the districts. Not entirely, actually, I tell a tiny little lie, because there's one thing that we haven't unlocked for the districts yet. This uh, something I haven't unlocked for the districts yet, which will be unlocked. Did I go? Uh, Did I go too far or something? You went the complete wrong direction, I think. No, yeah, it's, it's more there. it's more down. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think you took a wrong turn. To me. I I went really east there. Miles? Yeah, Trying to do this all from memory, memory yeah. is something. Oh, you got the Ganky call at least, so you can interrupt it. So, uh, yeah, so everyone, like I say, do, does different things. This, uh, we're gonna 100% the district, or like partly 100% the district, because there's a, there's a thing, there's a thing that we're gonna be allowed to collect a little later on that's not currently unlocked, so we can't physically 100% the district just yet, but what we're gonna do is uh, grab as much as we can here before this next mission spawns. Which is uh, pr pretty simple, these things that we're going to do, the Marco Memory, which was the sand crystal thing that we saw at the start. And we're going to do one of those, and we're going to do one of these Prowler Stashes that we've just unlocked. And uh, I should mention, by 100%ing a district, we get district progress, which lets us unlock fast travel to this district later on. But it will also unlock hero tokens, which are used for certain upgrades later on, which are uh, very, very nice. So, yeah, that is that is the plan here. You see the Greenwich Greenwich. It's Greenwich, not Greenwich. Greenwich progress bar up there. Those are the rewards that we can get from the hundred percent thing. The the, uh, the 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 district. That's it. Yes. And there's the web grabber in action as well. We like to do this. Uh, we like to do this as Miles because of his electricity. He can like one shot. Um, a lot of the guys like that, and that was a relatively quick mark of memory. Very nice. So you see the web grabber in action right there. Just like uh, pulls them all in. They all they all like instantly disintegrate into sand particles, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, that is all we're going to be doing for this free room section. We are going to head straight to the next mission, which is very nice. There is a pop. I don't want to like say what it is just because we're gonna unlock it later and I don't really want to like spoil like the collectible but there's a collectible that we can't grab just yet because it's not unlocked that is what is currently uh, locked for this district so we can't get a 100% completion exactly which it'll come very soon but we're uh, we're just gonna land here and talk to or swap to Peter Peter mission very nice
Okay, so this one's kind of a, it's a slow mission here. It's just going to be uh, walking and talking walking for most of it. So the first also, I have to be sure not to get ahead of Harry here or else he will be stuck in this elevator. I don't understand why. There's a lot of weird soft locks in these games. This one in particular, I found a fair few on my own. I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary and I've definitely found out a few on my own. Like uh, this one, what we're talking about here, Harry will just lean against the elevator and just decides not to move. So you have to restart checkpoint, which starts you right back at the start of the mission. You know? He also ran up pretty far there. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna block him right now. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Very cool. I think you'll like this project. So yeah, here is just like walking, talking, doing some uh, mini games and puzzles, and that's literally just the entire mission. Yeah, the whole point. I think the, the story reason is you're supposed to be having a tour. Like, oh, this is what you could be working as, Pete. You know. That's like really cool, but this this in the sense of the game is mostly just to serve as a tutorial for these are things that you can learn how to do. There's some we got some mini games and some fun stuff planned in the open world that you can go find, which are unlocked after this mission. Go nuts, you know. I also said, just skip activity. <laughs> Don't need to yeah. do it. <laughs> now it's one of the more fun ones actually. The beat drones, like I really liked. I really liked doing this casually. But yeah, it's faster to skip it. <laughs> yeah, this is a very slow mission, annoyingly. Like, this is one I don't really look forward to doing in whenever I do runs. I'm just like, oh, this mission. <laughs> this <It's> one. <laughs> this, god, god damn. <laughs> right. Yeah, it, um, the game, like we said before, the game starts off quite quite slow I think after this mission it starts like really pick up in the run like there's a lot less of these kinds of segments and like we've we've collected a lot of the stuff that we need already not not everything there's still a quite a fair bit of things that we need to collect but there's a uh, you know we're gonna collect a few a good few more things later on in the run so yeah this 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 part of the mission is supposed to be oh go go explore yourself have a little look around but no we can just walk upstairs and skip all that <laughs> there he is harold osborne also the sudden particle accelerator seems really good harry yeah yeah just don't question it <laughs> there's others over there even before high school well, they do have multiple ones, so I guess they're fine. Yeah, I guess so. I always thought it was like the Pollux Star. It was the giant tube that goes all around the facility. You said there's like little little generator things or the way. Like, I don't know science. Okay, don't judge me. I only got a C in science in school, so like. Yeah. Wow. Hey, and yeah, this uh, this action is just tutorial stuff fish. again, you know. No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing. Cool we just have to do uh, like three puzzles up here, and then just walk to the end. The most engaging game. Oh, though. it's <laughs> it's almost over. <laughs> Yeah, when I get to this section, I start like actually getting Thanks, hyped again. Foster. I'm like, oh my god, I get to play the game. <laughs> ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural affairs. Ah, okay. Thank you, chat. I'm being uh, I'm being educated in the GDQ chat about particle accelerators right now. Genetic recombination. Appreciate appreciate that one. I can I can show off now. <laughs> <laughs> I have fast knowledge. <laughs> Ugh, okay, yeah. This this is um just a few puzzles now and then it's we get back to spider manning. Plants genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, okay. Nice beverage. Right. Okay. Yeah, the, I'm just very glad you can you're able to skip these puzzles because yeah. We haven't started like actually experimenting with it just yet, but um, 
100% in this game. It's going to take a while, and we're going to route that at some point in the near future. The why I, I don't know. Well, you might be asking, why am I mentioning this in the name percent run? These puzzles are like pretty much everywhere. Like this is this is introducing a new collectible, collectible per se. For example, it's introducing a new open world thing to do. So in 100%, we'd have to do all of these like, relatively quickly, you know, or we'll have, we'll have to do them all, pretty much. But the fact that we can skip puzzles like that is, like, so, so good. Thank you, Insomniac. I love you. Very kind. <laughs> yeah, so um, the, the whole point is, yeah, we, we skip all of the puzzles here. We just run or casually stroll to... Harry's office, and then that's the end of the mission. It's very, very nice mission. There you go, and we're back to Spider-Man. Hey, Alright, see if I could spot like a tech crate or two. There I think two I know on where the one path. is on the way. Yeah, there's two on this path. Uh, there'll be one like oh, on the one factory. Here. Yeah. Hey, sorry. Directly oh, in front facing of this you, way. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> Yeah, there's the there's the one on the factory I know about, like the uh the weird looking factory. And one right here. Sixteen. Oh no. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting really bad RNG here. So yeah, you grab that one and then there's one to your east on that factory as well, and then you can just go straight to the mission, I think. Okay. Twenty-five. That's a bit better. Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I got time for a small menu. Yep. Don't go below two. <laughs> <laughs> Must reiterate that. Yeah. Don't don't pull a recon. <laughs> For context, by the way, they should probably explain that during this like little fight segment. I was doing a run. It was on world record pace. I accidentally invalidated it by spending too many skill points when I wasn't supposed to, and I cried and ended stream. <laughs> And then I world record the next day, so I didn't nothing. Okay, that bird's down. I thought he wasn't. Yeah, these bird enemies are like relatively annoying to deal with. Webs are your best friend though, in this kind of sector in this section. I do like that. I do like this mission actually. Like this this mission, now that I've learned a lot more about the game. This used to be like a mission that I would go, oh no, this is a really long and hard one. Not a fan. And then, now that I actually know quite a lot more about the game, I'm just like, okay, no, this, is, this isn't this is too bad. It's fun, actually, it is really fun. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, did you put Chase Assist on for this? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, okay. So, Chase Assist is, uh, well, as the name implies, it will assist you in the chases. This is one of the chases. The uh, it just what it does it caps the max speed of uh, of anything that you're chasing, so you can more easily catch up to it. But there's a weird side effect to that. There is quite a bit of rubber banding, so if you go really far ahead of it, the game will try its best to like speed the, that thing up to like hell and back to try and like catch up to you. So you can actually go to um, if you manage to get ahead of it, like where you know it's pathing. You can, and then it will try to stay ahead of you at all times. And Here's a funny cool. instance of pulling people off. Yeah, just... Oh yeah, try not to do that, by the way. Like you saw, you saw that he jumps off, uh, he accidentally jumped off the one of the guys. That oh. can actually send them in a completely different direction. <laughs> I just uppercutted oh. that shield guy and he just decided oh, it was not his day. Poor man. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I can test something out. What's worse, the birds or the docks? I would personally argue the birds. What do you think, Bert? What, what, what's, more, what's the uh, more annoying enemy? Maybe she can take up some building records. That's actually kind of a tough one. They're both equally as annoying to deal with quickly. The dogs aren't actually that bad. They, they, they're surprisingly easy to web. They're like surprisingly easy to web to a wall or something. The only problem is getting them close enough to the wall. <laughs> so yeah, story context. Uh, we're infiltrating a base. This is where uh, Cra one of Craven's bases. He's just been chilling out here, and uh, Pete's going to investigate. 
Like what's uh, what's Okay, happening? I instantly got caught. Love yeah, to that, see it. That can happen. <laughs> I'll mention this here anyway, I don't know if Burke will get it, but uh, depending on how fast you can do this fight, uh, you can actually interrupt Craven's dialogue. Craven. Prepare the beasts. I... What's Craven yeah, to? there you go. Nice. Yeah, we got it. So, usually there's like a whole 20 odd seconds of Pete talking like, oh, they were they're spying, these are the, these are the, the things in the... They're spying on us or whatever, like on, on the blinds, and then he's like, oh, I'll send this to Ganky. The whole section is just like 20 seconds of him also, talking. Only event takedown in the game. <laughs> yeah, that, that whole section is just Peter talking about like whatever he talks about, you know? And then um, as a result of that, we're just like, Time to take my shiny new no, you know, just, uh, just we just do that fight quickly and we overlap the dialogue, which forces it to skip. So uh, doing this fight in stealth, surprisingly, is quite fast. So that's exactly what Burke's going to do. Going to do the funny strat? He's going to do the funny strat. I love this. It is so silly. So the hunters can die to their own traps. <laughs> A research lab? Which is just hilarious. <laughs> It'll be more prominent in the next room, actually. So, uh, earlier I unlocked Webline. That is actually an unused thing from, uh, 2018. Hey, I'm Very nice. I have another name for you. I actually didn't know. Did I know that? I think I, I think you told me that Seems at one point. Like he's the boss of these guys. He's yeah, in this next room, uh, I know some runners like to do this stealthily, but... Yeah, I, it's so weird for me. Yeah. That didn't actually count as a stealth takedown either. That like you just yeah, I had to do it again. I'm yeah, gonna now, try uh, to pull some people in. All right, I just triggered it myself. I mean that still works out, I guess. There's still like two or three in there. So yeah, it's more prominent in this room. The uh, especially okay. I'll, I'll try and explain it here. So the enemies they take damage from their own traps. Those poison traps you will see quite a quite a bit in this room. There's another one right there to the left. Uh, once the re get being getting caught in this room, we'll call reinforcements in. But once they come into the room, right uh, here, right here, you can take out a whole bunch of them by just doing that, and they're all gone. So, <laughs> yeah, very very handy. Quite that that learning that strat actually saved me over a minute on one of my PBs. And I got a pretty good gold for it, so that's like really cool. That's also uh, you see there what I mean with the Pete, um, the Peter air takedown. Uh, he he jumps in the air and then Webb uses the webs and just instantly slams. Where Miles like does like a flip and then flips him around. I think Miles' uh, finisher animation is quite a lot. It's it's quite a, slow. I think it's a tiny bit slower. Yeah, but I don't it's really still like the it's finishes. still the fastest animation yeah. for miles. All right, now we got the dog enemies that were mentioned earlier. The doggos, yeah, yeah, they are pretty easy. If you can get them close to a wall, they're pretty easy just to web straight to it. But these these things are tanky. I should mention, like, like even there, like how many punches that talk, and he's like still, still chilling. More uses of the web grabber. The web grabber is definitely the best uh, gadget in this game, like by far. There's no other comparison. And, actually, uh, uh, ricochet web is pretty yeah. good, actually. Uh, let's see. Okay, these guys over here. Oh, okay, he's just flying. Ignore that. <laughs> So, you also probably noticed I'm not using the Omanux ability, it's just not good for us. It's not that great. I mean, it can be useful in certain sections, like for example on the boat, like the boat mission from earlier, like you can um, you can knock them all up in the air with the L1X ability and then just like fling, you know, f like fling them around. Alright, so we just get the cutscene where um, Craven just actually kills Scorpion. <laughs> Damn. That was a shock in um, 
cash away, I was like, oh my god. It's what I really respect about Insomniac. They kind of take um, lower level villains in a way. Like, I wouldn't say lower level because Dr. Octopus is like one of the biggest villains in Spider Man comics, but. Craven, for example, one of the lower level Spidey villains, is just like. Wait, what? Immediately made this super menacing threat in this game. Which I, I really love Insomniac for doing stuff like that. They, they've made like a relatively. Not unknown, but they've made like a relatively uh, lesser threatening, less known villain from the comics. They made him terrifying. It is like. My god. Yep, these are some uh, extra tech crates that Burke is going to grab on yeah. the round. These are the last two, I think, that you ever grab, unless you get like that RNG. Well, I got 25 and 21, so it was actually pretty decent. It's not too bad, I suppose, yeah. Also, I just grabbed those tech grades because I have to wait for Peter's dialogue anyway. Yep. Because I don't want to interrupt him um, while doing this. Yep. We're also doing a hunter blind. Yeah, there's a very important reason to do for doing so. It is for red parts. It is the fastest and most efficient way to get red tech parts, and this... Okay, they just can't get webbed up there. That's good to know. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, uh, we use this for rare tech parts, and we choose this one in particular because it's quite convenient, and also it, uh, it is relatively quick to do in stealth. Like, if you're good at stealth, you can do this within, like, less than 30 seconds. It is that quick. And it's, still nice. kind of fa it's still kind of fast without stealth, because there's not a lot of enemies that show up. Yeah, for sure. And they all pull. They all pour out of uh, that one door. They won't be able to call for backup. Yeah, so you just web grab them and just get it. You get your punch up and just punch all of them in a row, and they just all take damage from it. Just ooh, very satisfying. Yep, that is mostly just for the XP and for the um, the rare tech parts, which are going to be used for upgrades a little later on. It's the fastest and most efficient way to get rare tech parts. And here's the ganky call from earlier. Actually, this was uh, this is what we interrupted when we did that uh, palace dash earlier on. Be there soon. And Burke okay. is going to menu very soon to upgrade a certain thing. Hint, hint. Uh, skills. Yeah, I was literally about to do yeah. that. Uh, getting aerial escapades, which um, replenishes our um, spider dash or spider jump uh, with air tricks. And that's going to be mostly our movement for this run. Yep. So we would web wings, then we'd do a, we'd do a dash, then we'd open the wings again, you know, do a little zip, open the wings, do a lot of tricks in between. And then I think there is actually a fast pattern to it, but let's see if I can remember it. So you dash, open the wings, you do a trick, three alternating tricks three times, right? Then you do a web zip to keep you in the air. You'd open the wings again, do another three or four tricks, and then you have the dash again. And you continue that chain. That is the fastest way to like move around. And this is why I adore this game's traversal system. It is very fast, very efficient, very clean. Me gusta muchas. So. Fun mission. One of my personal favorites, actually. That's not even a meme. This is actually one of my personal favorite missions. It's a pretty uh, good you, one, yeah. You will see, I'm not going to say why until it happens, but you will see why. Just have to isolate the That's all I'll say. Of the metal I found. And okay. science puzzles. So this is still technically a tutorial for these puzzles. There's normally one here, but because I haven't done one of these yet, I have to go through uh, two extra. Cobalt. Yeah, I um this is this we thought that it was always free that you just had to go through like for story purposes like oh we're isolating different parts of like the metal or whatever. Okay, this is what's happening. But uh no, turns out if you do one beforehand, there's only one that you need to do because it's forcing you to do the tutorial at this point. Which is very sad. She was grabbing something from that box on the wall. Okay, so I'm that, gonna stand up here as well, so I can get a good height for this slingshot. Very nice. So, yeah, the, the um, second dialogue. 
is exactly yep. why the city needs to be warned about the hunters. Very cool. She could have. Very cool. So yeah, the uh, the idea is if we can somehow find one of those science puzzles, like the the remember those like uh, that walking segment that we did earlier today, or earlier like ten minutes ago, whenever it was, right? That introduced us to EMF experiments, which are um, very cool. There are some there are some of those science puzzles in some of them. Pardon me. So there's a uh, there's a few in there that we can use, and realistically, if we could do one of those relatively quickly and then go to this mission, we'd only have to skip one of those puzzles rather than all three of those puzzles. So it's uh, just just a little thought that might be a little bit faster for this mission, but like it's trying to. It's it's like the dilemma of this game at the moment. Is this going to be faster to set this up, for example? You know. But it's, it's not always the case, unfortunately, yeah. so like, is it really going to be faster rather than skipping the free? Just skip the one if we have to go out of our way to do a lot of stuff beforehand, you know? Of the Arcana, like, is that what's going to happen? I don't know. We... It, it's a bit of a dilemma in a lot of places and a lot of routing, like, oh, we could do this, but it's slower. Like, sure, we get this. But it's slower to like set the whole thing up, you know. Miles. Let's just stick to the plan. And this whole fight will be in stealth as well because it is just faster. We like it when fights are fast. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, I have a weird theory. This game is very segmented in its enemy placement. It sounds strange, but I'll try and tell you what I mean. So each enemy now are on completely different rooftops. I don't think any of the enemies are connected. Like usually in 2018, I believe, Burke can correct me if this is wrong. 2018, I believe if you kill a guy and like someone sees you, everyone else is alerted. Like in the, yeah. in the area. But in this game, you take out one of the rooftops, only that rooftop is alerted. And like no one you saw then no one else was alerted, so we could quickly just take out all of these. I think the way around that is if the bird that's floating around sees you, then everyone's alerted. But like This is why this is yes. Recon's favorite mission right here. This is why this is my favorite mission in the whole wide world. Because of that. The portals. So for those who don't know Insomniac also developed a little game called Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, which just so happens to be my most ran speed game and one of my favorite games of uh, the of recent memory. This mission borrows quite a lot from that, and when I saw this mission, I was like a little kid on Christmas, bouncing up and down in my chair, like, oh my god, it's so cool. Also, that is very dangerous <laughs> right there, just sudden train. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you, this, this mission, like, the technology that Insomniac have created with these portals is so, like, nuts. I would argue that this is better, like, technology now that they've learned from Rift Apart. Like, it's better version of the Rift Apart tech. And um, here's my question to Insomniac. Doctor Strange game win? Smile. <laughs> like, think about it, right? They have portals like that. How cool would that be? Oh, yeah, we're coming to the. Okay, not in one dude here. Yeah, we're coming through uh, the to the end of this mission. It's just a long fight section that we're just gonna have to uh, deal with. Okay, there let's we go. Let's hope you don't get. Let's hope you don't get trolled. <laughs> so I should mention as well. Um, your ally here is Black Cat, and uh, sometimes. She can be a bit of a troll. And by what I mean by that is uh, when you're taking out certain enemies, the um, the game will try and force like a duo takedown. It's the same with all of your AI companions in this game, but sometimes like when you're punching an enemy or like you're trying to like deal with an enemy quickly, Black Cat will like do a duo takedown and that would force you to um, that will force you to like lose a bit of time to it because you're, you're stuck in an animation you can't hit anyone else you can't get to a better position 
you know, you can't like prepare for the next Probably wave now. of enemies that's spawning, for example. You know, like, um, or even there, you I think there was, there was one of the enemies at the very start of this section here. That she just, she just jumped out of a portal and yeeted. Like, and things like that, they, she can troll you a little bit. But overall, the AI in this game is much, much better than like partner AI in the, uh, the old ones. And Doggo. <laughs> yeah, this is just a really long fight section, but this should only be once these two cars appear. That should be the last few enemies. Oh, there's the dual takedown. Yep, so now Burke can't prepare for the enemies that spawn from this uh, from these vehicles. He won't be able to like instantly one-shot them. Because the idea here is you pull them all next to the car and then blow up the car. And because of the duo takedown, he wasn't actually in a decent position to start like getting prepared for that. That was still pretty fast though. Nice. Jeez. Alright, time for is... my favorite mission. <laughs> This is the, uh, that's the end of that mission. That's the end of one of my favorite missions. But now is a very cool mission. Also, nice door. Door. Before we get into the mission, did you want to take a quick break here? Well, you should mention that this mission technically is a three minute break. Because yeah, this is a three minute break right here. Yeah, so I don't know if this is something that we want to like showcase and then do a break or something. But what we're gonna what we're gonna do? The game plays itself at this point, pretty much. So. And feel free to visit one of the many mysteriums now open around the city. We can play this out if we want, or we can. One of you needs to tell me right now, though. It's up to Burke. It's up to you. I don't. I don't mind. Aaron, you can just have this play out. Don't worry, I'll be watching and listening. Like, I'm just gonna start stretching right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, this we, is three uh, minutes, ten seconds of nothing. <laughs> we'll, uh, I guess uh, we're gonna go take a. We're gonna go to. Uh, oh, to uh, nice. one, yeah. I, uh, does somebody else want to host for me? I can't do it apparently. We're gonna take a quick break, everybody, so everybody can get stretch, get some water, yeah. uh, anything they need to do for All the right, long man. runs here. We'll be back in just a few minutes. There it is, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Picks. We are in the middle of a Spider-Man 2 run. We have taken a quick break, but uh, we're ready to get right back into it. So uh, whenever you're ready, if you just want to give a quick answer. Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right, so nice. after that three-minute um, break, now we have to do a combat segment. Also getting a new ability. Which you can actually save. Yeah, there's a, you can, if you spam triangle, uh, Miles will web zip to Martin Lee sometimes instead of using the abilities. So as a result, you can save your ability for the next part of the, of the fight, but like the, the game like just gives you it back quite quickly anyway. It can be quite useful. So uh, a lot of a lot of our section here, we're just going to be punching enemies off the ledge, webbing them up the walls, things like that. It's just a lot faster. It is a little bit like scuffed, though. Basically, yeah. these all of these arenas are moving around you, so you have to be really careful of when how you kick them because sometimes they won't fall off the edge; they'll just fall onto the other arena. And then there's just a guy, you're wondering why the section isn't ending, there's just a guy in the corner halfway across the room. Like on this one floating platform. Like, yeah, like that guy, I'm just gonna web him up and toss him. And then here I'm gonna do the web grabber. And bonk, yep. God, the, the abilities was definitely the best addition to this game. This is so cool. Here's the mixer, get to it. Fast. I think if you finish the song, you might hit a breakpoint in the program. There! You should see an exit! Make nice. your way and that's the end of that section, and now is Coney Island. <laughs> also, enjoy those couple frames of uh, Harry, MJ, and Pete just in a weird pose. Welcome. Just chilling. <laughs> Step right up. 
up. You have no idea who you're up against. <laughs> Good luck. You'll meet it. Now, Pete, you got this. Yeah, right, players? Fingers on the trigger. Let's go. Now we have to do some carnival games. <laughs> we should totally not rigged, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is the, another case of uh, autocomplete the The game is. Uh, the game's doing all right so far, isn't it? Like, oh, it's destroying right now. Yeah. I wonder if there's a way to actually lose this. Champion, you probably just don't do anything. Yeah. I wonder what happens if you lose it though. Like, I, I believe it or not, I I was good enough at the video game to not lose it when I uh, when I first played it casually. That's quite funny. Yeah, so uh, this section is a little bit so kind of similar to the uh, the healing the world healing the world uh, section. So just we're just gonna walk around for a bit. It's a lot of like they're not QTE stuff, but there's a lot of like waiting around for a little bit. You know, they're just letting the game do its thing until the next combat bit on this mission. It's only three rides that we have to go to. There are a lot of optional rides which we are not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna go, uh, <laughs> go on. <laughs> they are very cool, though. Oh, yeah, um, hands up, everyone. Woo! Okay. I should take this from my hands up. What are the chances the person Harry gave his prize? Yeah, this is, uh, for something called the Speed Demon, by the way, this goes horribly slow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna hold back on the analog stick. Why? Oh, okay. Pete, don't raise your hands, please. Okay, well, he's not doing it because his hands are up. But if I held down the stick all the way, oh, almost like that, uh, you can almost break Peter's neck. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can't be Spider-Man if his neck is broken. <laughs> all right, fearless leader. What's next? Sorry. Restarting yes. checkpoint there. Yeah, that that will put you quite close uh, to the next mission. So instead of uh, having to walk 123 meters, I think it is, you only have to yeah. walk 80, which is very nice. Also, Harry just being a cheater right here. <laughs> just vaulting over that when we can't. Pete, come on. Let's go, Pete. Is he gonna hit the bell? Nice. Bing. Nice. <laughs> Take it easy, Harry. Don't hurt yourself. The only thing that's gonna hurt is your Parker. Pride. Weird for me that he says like the only thing's gonna hurt is your Parker pride, but he goes for the same one instead of the fifty on the right. Yeah. Because like Pete already hit the bell. Like, are you also hitting the bell, Harry? <laughs> like... Sorry. <sighs> Do you think that's possible, IRL? I think someone's done that. <laughs> Just yeeted the bell with a pure right. strength of the So, um, here I like to, uh, really call year. this corner up here the timeout corner. Because sometimes, like that, uh, MJ is now in that corner. <laughs> okay, how about we do something more chill? I've gotten both of them in that corner before and it's a bit, um, a bit sus. Alright, yep. now we actually get to combat. Yeah, but this is... Fun. I like this. No, I don't. I don't know. Do I like it? <laughs> I really tried to web him up to the hot dog stand, but the hot dog stand moved. Whoa! <laughs> oh my. Jay, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Video game physics. <laughs> yeah, the the one I wanted to pull, but yeah, the video game. Uh likes to send a lot of enemies at you in this section, so this is where we can kind of just go ham with uh, the blood of stuff. We just knock them up into the air, slam them down, and it'll instantly whip them. The, uh, the problem is, uh, the game is very, like... They, they like big health bars, this game. The enemies take quite a while to, to kill if you're just punching them, so... Webbing them up and then throwing them on the floor like that will just like instantly kill them. Usually, a good time to exit this area is just before MJ calls, or like sometimes you can even get it just uh, 
just as he goes, oh no, Harry, and he tries to call Harry. Sometimes if you're fast enough, you can get the, you can get to this section before that, which is really nice. Yeah, this is just go on load of enemies. Web grabber in action, it is beautiful. Whoa, okay, there's some weird things going on today. The physics are uh, all over the show. More of our doggo friends? You know, I will use the L1X here. I, s I still think you're sleeping on that ability, you know? It did just get rid of one of the other dogs for me, like, instantly. That guy didn't die. He's dead. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Now this is uh, the longer part of the mission. There's a lot of enemies that like to spawn in here, so it's just a uh, just a case of clearing out all of them. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Okay, we're going all the way over here. I got these guys, Tombstone. You just worry about. Yeah, the, the the game loves throwing throwing enemies. That you. You and me both, Lonnie. Good thing this is not on ultimate where enemies like <laughs> don't take a lot of damage. Like even here they don't because we don't have the upgrades. Once we get damage upgrades, fighting these enemies becomes so like so much easier. Okay. Ooh, that actually kind of worked. That did. That worked very well. This time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pete just chilling in the fire. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you all right there, buddy? <laughs> Again, I'm just getting bullied today. Oh, you're not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, you could. Kind of quickly see what we mean. Like these enemies can take a beating. Now the fun section. Now my question is: the roller coaster gonna do the thing? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> That's just the QTE autocomplete thing. It will always happen. It's so weird. It just like disconnects and then reconnects itself. It's funny. Yeah, this this whole section is just like QTE section. It's a long, like three, well, two-ish minute segment, I think. Two and a half, something like that. Right. Yeah, I have no idea. Probably around two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and what's even funnier, none of it is skippable because this is technically gameplay. Well, there there is one cutscene that's gonna come up that is the only one. skippable part. It's not like that long, it's... Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's about two and a half minutes-ish, but like... Sitting through it a lot. Quite long, you know? And here's the skippable cutscene, and now we just chill again. And now you wait again, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. But after this Whoa, mission, geez. the run w will actually start picking up a bit because of a collectible that's going to spawn in. Yeah, yeah. No, this poor lady. I'm sorry. What's up, Harry? Pete? <gasps> I like he instantly knew from the voice. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go, the segment is over. Yeah, two back to back bathroom breaks, nice.
Now we're just gonna head on over to uh, the science lab again, the EMF, where we were at before, and we're gonna have fun. There are a few missions in this game, actually, that are just in the mission, so uh, this this is one of them. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. Yeah, in a, in one of the previous iterations of the route, uh, we used to get fast travel a lot earlier in healing the world, which was the mission that you saw before. Um, as a result, we could uh, fast travel to the thing after the call had ended. Like this this place that you're um, that Berg's heading to now, you could fast travel directly outside of it. Which was really useful, but because we didn't grab the photo ops, nice jump. Just because we didn't grab the photo ops in uh, in this area, in this uh, in this area, we don't actually have fast travel at this point, which is not very cool. However, remember how I said we couldn't 100% the district because we hadn't unlocked a certain collectible. This is that collectible. Introducing. The spider bots. These are some of the your best friends in the enemy sense speedrun. There we go. Fast you, travel is unlocked. Very nice. I will tell you exactly why these are the your best friend in the speedrun. For the enemy sense speedrun, Robert, you get 100 tech parts for every one you pick up. There are 42 of them in the run. Not in the run. In the game. <laughs> There's 42 of them in the game. There's 42 of them in the game. There's the JJJ one. Funny, I like that one. As a result, you can get up to 42... No, 4,200? Is my math correct? Yeah, it's I don't know. 100 each. Yeah, 4,200 peg parts with just all of those alone. And if I remember correctly, we grab... for 7... 11 of them. Right? In the about, whole run? About that, like maybe 13? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we I think we got like 13 or 14 in the run, so that's on its own is like a thousand odd uh, tech parts. This is what we replaced the crimes with. This is what we replaced the crimes with. So I mentioned earlier as well, like there was one split that we didn't uh, do crimes in anymore. This is why, because like these are much faster just to like swing by and grab you know and uh we've come up with our own little route for it come up with our own little route for it like uh we'll grab the free in greenwich which we've just grabbed here that is for fast travel purposes and 100 percent the district we will get two hero tokens for doing so and because of uh the hero tokens are very, very useful. We can use upgrades. We can use them to purchase certain suit upgrades, certain other things like that. So we're gonna we grab those free. We're gonna grab these free on the way. These this is Chinatown. We're gonna grab these free on the way to Williamsburg, which is where the next mission is gonna spawn. So the idea is we take this pathing, we collect all the things that we need to collect in the way, and by the end we should have about seven hundred. Just put this one away. Something like that. Seven hundred to eight hundred ish. Yeah. The uh, tech parts. You gotta, just you spare. gotta count the tech crates in too. Yeah, we'll have a fair bit of tech parts, and this is very important information because we are going to do a very big menu at the start of this next mission that will upgrade pretty much everything. Our gadget upgrades, which are, you're going to see why the web grabber is classed as the greatest gadget in video gaming history. Well, not actually go that far, to be honest, but yeah, it's a pretty good gadget. So um, we collect that spider bot just as a quick one. We should have collected about eight by now, I think. So we should have about 800 from the spider bot alone. And at the start of this, the mission has also spawned here now, so we can just go straight into the mission. And now there's a really big menuing segment where we're going to purchase all of the skills and not go under two. But <laughs> just a friendly reminder. Oh. Yep, there get you go. Get one web grabber and get one. three web shooter upgrades. 
Yep, you can see on the side there, this is what the tech parts are being used for. There's the rare tech parts, the seed tokens, all of that that we've been collecting throughout the run at this point. The focus also includes tech parts, and now we're left with our 500, 400 tech parts. We're yeah, gonna collect 499 right now. And we're going to collect a whole lot more. Hey, and collect a whole lot more tech parts, because it's going to be very fun. <laughs> We'll find In this section, we can do completely stealthy and um, clear it quite quickly. Well, except for this one enemy. Yeah, you can, uh, you can, uh, nice. you can also web grabber those two dudes, and I think they both like insta die to uh, the web grabber upgrade. All right, all right. This is the fun bit. This was found very recently. That was a long load. I just want to yeah. add. Uh, oh, yeah, and restart checkpoint. Yeah, a soft soft lock. Lock. <laughs> yeah, restart checkpoint. So uh, this was found very recently. Well, I'm assuming you're going to try it. But this yeah, is this uh, Burke accidentally went out of bounds at one point and found a way to skip this fight. And then we just found a way to do this. Uh, just do it this method, and this first fight is completely skippable as a result. I don't know how it works. I don't think I'm going to get it. Probably not, that did take a while. I don't know how it works. I don't know why it works. It sometimes just works. It, oh, I did get it. Okay. Yeah, that just skips the first fight. And there. This <laughs> is the guy pointing a gun at Harry. <laughs> Then you restart checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah, it'll close the door. Well, it'll despawn all the enemies in that room, but you can keep the enemies in this room active. Oh, okay, Harry, you're just gonna do that. So yeah, this is why Web Grabber is okay. Because <laughs> it just yeah. throws uh, just objects. Yeah, it just throws all the objects. It deals so much damage. It's actually underrated against bosses as well. Like I've dealt so much damage to bosses with it for no reason. Just like there's a bunch of throwables around the area. I just throw it next to a boss, and like just eight, like eight projectiles come flying towards them, and there's like half health their health bar. Well, not not that much, but it, it, it deals quite a bit of damage. It's very useful for like big areas, and this is exactly why I love this gadget. Yeah, so that skip, no idea why it works. It was just found, beat up, found a way to just do it that way, and then I messed around with it, realized you just have to fall next to the checkpoint, and it just works. So. The magic words of Todd Howard? It just works. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you'll quickly be able to see just how useful the web grabber is right now. Like, pulling in all sorts of like objects and throwables right onto like a whole big group of enemies would deal ridiculous amounts of damage there is also one of my favorite things to do the hunter like the guys with the crossbow the hunter guys who like they put those guys who fire those uh, those like explodey arrows if you fire a web grabber when those explodey arrows are on the floor it will pick up a whole bunch of them and throw them pretty much exactly like that throw them at the enemies. It is really fun. It's really fun to do, really useful. It deals so much damage as well. So you just kind of have to hope you get lucky with uh, with uh, when they fire them. Because if they fire them at a really good time, there's a whole bunch of enemies. It'll just fire a whole bunch of exploding arrows at enemies, which is really, really nice. All right, nice. I have a, I have a focus bar here so I can do a finisher to get my... Uh, yeah, I should mention as well, we did upgrade a lot of stuff. There was the skill point menuing there, we upgraded quite a few things. That was uh, important to do. <laughs> okay, uh, Harry, just taking all of my enemies. Yep. Yeah. One of the upgrades that we got was something called combo resupply. So after you've hit uh, an enemy with four punches, there's a chance that the game will just give you a free gadget. So you can use a free gadget for no for no for no cost, and uh, it's very useful in situations like that. There's uh, also a um, a I can't remember the name of it, but every time you use a finisher, it will refill one of your gadgets, which is really nice because we can build up focus really quickly in this game, which is very very cute. 
There you go. Can you see what I mean now? So useful. I love it. Just getting hit with a barrel? Yep. <laughs> nice. That was a relatively quick fight. It wasn't that bad, yeah. Are they getting bigger? Now to do barrage on the brute to get rid of him. One more time into the fire. I should just do a finisher. Yeah, I'll give you a web grab back for the next part. You know, just yank him off. Where do they keep coming? That guy is dead. <laughs> Some sort of pushing agency. Yeah, this uh, you have to wait for a certain line of dialogue there before you can interact with that console. I found that out the hard way. So, uh, yeah. Getting hot in here. So I'm gonna try to take out a couple enemies here because I do not want my animations to get cancelled. So I'm actually gonna really try to take out the uh, bird enemies because I'd say they are the most annoying here. I think they're just some of the most annoying in the game, to be honest. Yeah, we can. St we, can we don't actually have to kill any of these enemies here. We can just like run around and unlock the cage like this, part the sports for the cage. But we have to be. You have to be really careful with all the like birds flying around. They can't just like knock you off your path. And now one of the coolest segments in the in this mission. I love this segment. Fun fact: we actually found a way when we found a way to clip out of bounds. We found a way to. That was cool. Oh my god, the speed. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we found a way to like get into this tunnel early, but the way the, the game developers designed the game, uh, there's no way to break it without hitting like most of the checkpoints first, and that's just not possible to do out of bounds, unfortunately. Yeah. So. Also, delayed audio here. Incredible. This always happens. Yeah. Uh, Lamo. Ah, I should mention, uh, this is a flashing lights warning mission. Or at least parts of this mission is flashing light warning. So just, uh, just yeah. be wary of that. Just as, uh, just as a little caution. It's not much, it's not like in your face or anything it's just it's just a bit like just in yeah, case one, just to be you know. cautious my buddy harry he has some sort of power suit he's kicked all kinds of butt with it very nice where am i headed harlem cultural center did we see this is, the, is really fun in this game I would say it is probably some of the most fun I've had with movement over the rich part. That's a big, that's something, that's saying something. <laughs> I love the movement in Rift Apart, but the movement in this game is so satisfying to pull off correctly. Need to find the control panel. There we go. Uh, okay. Lamau. <laughs> yep, so this section here is the flashing light section. Not like this, this part, but this part of the mission, like the whole bot part, there will be a few flashing lights here and there. The reason for that is because, well, we're, we're sneaking into the, to the, uh, we're sneaking into the museum pretty much, uh, because there's a whole bunch of guys and we need to, like, cause, we have to find out what's, like, causing all the problems. Because we're on friendly neighborhood, we mentioned before, the spider bot can't die, so all of the goons will just unload bullets into you completely and that's where the flashing lights is going to come in here because every shot is just like a yeah. big flash of light and they're going to spam with it basically starting right now yeah yeah this this is flashing lights warning so just be beware nice yep there you go <laughs> zax and drum are already in the truck right Yeah, so um, friendly neighborhood, we can just ignore all of these guys. Which is really nice. Miles, everything okay? Just do this section relatively quickly, just, you know, 
We're chilling. Get you ready for college. Ma, I'm going into music tech. Computers are my Okay, I just couldn't pull that for some reason. Their instrument and their soul. Mm -hmm. When you're mixing or sampling, you have to listen close. What do you think of this mission? It's fine. Computers can't do that. It's a cool mission to do. It's a bit silly it. right now because I'm just ignoring stuff. Oh, just wait for the next mission. <laughs> <laughs> also, these guys are just floating. I never noticed that one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Very nice. And that should be the end of the... Yeah, there too. yeah, the warning is over right now. Spider Man, the front door's finally open, but there is a bunch of stuff missing. It's all up back in the loading docks. Yep, all right. This, this, uh, with the web grabber upgrade, this fight is kind of a joke, <laughs> as you may be able to see. Yep, it's already done. That was really quick. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna spam. Uh, the Mega Venom Yo, Blast okay. here. Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get it. Ah, uh, rip. So, the plan there was you uh, you would spam L3 and R3, or in Berg's case, because he put a button. He uh, made it a shortcut. You would spam those buttons, and then it just wouldn't use the Mega Venom Blast for whatever reason. You can keep it for a later mission in Glad's coming up very soon. Also, with Chase Assist, these guys just uh -oh. don't move. Little movement mishap, but we're fine. Yep. Yeah, so with uh, with chase assist, these guys just don't move, Woo! and uh, you can instantly attach to the vehicle. Oh my god! <laughs> you just instantly attach to the vehicle rather than having to wait to like catch up to it. So nice little speed tech there, I suppose. I actually have no idea if it's any faster. It's just more convenient, you know. But I definitely think. Um, Chase oh, Assist web. will be... Ah, that's funny. Yeah, I definitely think Chase Assist is useful later on. And that is the end of Funky. This is a very cool mission. Hey bro, you have a sec? Of course! Uh... And now, Actually, I would like to cool. introduce you yeah, in this mission oh. to the most overpowered uh, character in video gaming yeah. history. I'm at EMF. No sign of Doc Connors yet, but I could use an extra set of eyes. On my way. Have that is all I will say. Jay? You said she's stopping by his house, right? Nothing yet. She told me she'd call when she got Almost there. overshot that. Oh, nice. That looks cool, though. All right, everybody. So, <laughs> I would like you to meet the most overpowered character in video gaming history, MJ Watson. <laughs> so, this is... Quite hilarious. On FN, you can completely ignore every enemy. You do not need to uh, attack them. You do not need well, to attack them. Except for that first guy. That first guy is actually tied to one of the uh, triggers in the mission. Yeah, strangely enough. But uh, funny enough, on Friendly Neighborhood, uh, MJ cannot die to these, uh, to these arrows, so we can just tank a whole bunch of them every time we get shot. We don't actually need to sneak around, we can just run for it. I see MJ gets shot there, MJ got shot there again, you know? If she just doesn't die, you can just tank them and run away for days. Yeah, so if I didn't get rid of that first guy, I'm not able to pick up the cell phone. Would you get the thing? No, I didn't, oh, I didn't get the thing, Sedge. Need so there's a thing there. I don't know how it works. It just does. <laughs> so uh, the idea is uh, when you pick up that cell phone and skip the cutscene, sometimes that like second cutscene, you would have seen that Burke the he like he restarted checkpoint so he didn't have to watch that cutscene. Sometimes that cutscene just doesn't play at all, and it saves us doing a menu so it's a little bit faster. It's happened to me a few times, and I. Don't know why, I don't know how. <laughs> no. But yeah, MJ is a little OP. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> they actually, um, the latest update to this game actually changed a bit of these missions, because um, 
on the older patches, uh, if you were playing on Spectacular or Ultimate, just it was a one shot for MJ, but they just uh, changed it kind of to where it's a two hit on both of those difficulties. Good stuff. Which I'm kind of not a fan of. I, I, I don't agree with that person. I think it should be on Ultimate, it should be one hit. At yeah. least on Ultimate. Like, that's supposed to be like the big, hard difficulty that you unlock at the end of the game, you know? Because apparently it was a bug that it was a one shot. <laughs> Insomniac tire try and try to not make Spider Man too buggy. Challenge impossible. <laughs> Nah, uh, Insomniac, if you're watching, I love you. Right. Move Please make Ratchet and Clank it. Rift Apart 2. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is all. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> anyway, onwards. Don't know why MJ didn't just check this whiteboard in the first place. The giant camo over it might give it away that there's something of use underneath that, but oh well. Off she goes to the next section. Yeah, there's, a, there's another MJ section a lot later on, which does this, but it's a lot more, you know? I'm gonna restart checkpoint to get rid of the aggro. That's kind of smart. But now these two are gonna start shooting me. So I'm gonna try to preemptively dodge. Okay, I dodged one. Nice. Oh, dodged yeah, another. So oh. If uh, if we had the aggro there, if we had the aggro there, um, there's a chance he just gets stun locked to death pretty much outside the uh, outside the enclosure. So that's definitely happened to me. The, the the only downside to running straight through it is if there's like a whole bunch of them looking at you and shooting you at the same time, you can kind of like get knocked back and stunned quite a lot, which is not very pleasant if you're trying to go fast. So you'll see every time she gets hit, she like staggers and all that. It's like yeah. Yep, back to Spidey Man though. All the MJ uh, mission haters are very happy right now. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't have to just doing its thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't actually have to um, clear out every enemy in these sections. You just have to clear out a large majority of them, and the game will still continue. Oh, pardon me. The game will still continue. Which is very nice. So Harry takes out that guy, you know. I have actually, fun fact, I have softlocked on this mission. Which is very fun. Yeah, you know, I'll just do that because I need a web grabber back. Yeah, annoyingly doing, doing finishes to the birds like that does take quite a little bit. It's not the end of the world by any means, but it's like, not great, you know? <laughs> that was a pretty solid fight. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Faster than I do it. And Peter's been stabbed. <laughs> I love how, I, I actually kind of love this section, you know, Harry's going ham on Craven. This is just, this is just like a walking section. Harry's going ham on Craven, and then uh, MJ's carrying Pete to safety. I love I love the like I love I love it. Like I, I, there's a lot of things I love in this game actually. I can't see. Surprisingly, you know. <laughs> Focus, Pete. One foot in front of the other. I've played it enough times to love it. <laughs> Sorry. I was always so busy. <laughs> yeah, there's not I I don't really know what to add to the six you are just walking. <laughs> I'm just taking all this in. Yeah. Watching Harry beat up Craven. Uh, now we have the uh, symbiote suit. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good suit. So uh, the webs, if you can't tell at the moment, will uh, instantly stick anyone to any surface that it comes in contact with. So this includes brutes, by the way, I should mention. 
and killing enemies in the air like that will uh, stop it well, will stop the animation from playing out. Which is sad because it's a cool animation. However, it is slow. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Yep. Just web them to the wall real quick. And very nice. And that, in my eyes, is the end of Act 1 of this video game. It's very cool. Now we have the studio suit. Yay! Now is the most fun mission in the game. That one was sarcasm. Good thinking. Weirdly enough, I feel energized. It does. Did that for me too. Just gliding over water like this. Totally not breaking physics. I'd so satisfying though, you know. Okay. The flames have been lit. Dude, they really did a good job on the movement in this game. Yeah, the traversal team is like kind of nuts. I should have been. Wait, really? Positive. Hey, let me call you back. Got some bonfires to crash. Uh, okay. I'm surprised you don't actually get. Um... Thank you. What's this I hear about lighting some fires? I know you get it I, later on, but like probably should have. I mean I can get it. It is pretty useful for this fight. Cause I, I like to web grab her and then like uh symbiote yank them all. Looks like it's for I could probably just buy it now. Pretty rude. Flames have been lit. Flames have been lit. Gondor calls for aid. Oh god. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are funny. Still staying above two skill points. Don't pull a recon. <laughs> That's what we're calling it from now on, by the way. Okay, I went to get that dude. That's fine. I, I love the way that fall. guy still didn't notice you. Just pull these guys down. And then web grabber. Ah, uh, it's not a balanced ability. <laughs> so broken, man. Look at that, ugh. And that was that fight. <laughs> Let's see what they were up to. They're shipping in more luggage. Yeah, the flames, they have been lit indeed. Event? These shipments have to be coming in nearby. Now we gotta go find these shipments. Maybe something there can lead me to crazy. And we get another encounter. <laughs> this is a uh, cool mission, I think. Have I said that about every mission in this game? No, I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm actually no, gonna I, I do, like, get. The whole thing Sir, are you okay? Why? Have you noticed the web grab is kind of strong? <laughs> this is with one upgrade I should mention as well. Yeah, a single upgrade to web grabber doing all of that. And I'm gonna wait to symbiote punch that guy and uh, the vehicle just explodes. Very nice. did a number on him. Easy, easy. That web was attached to me. Let me help you. <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. around this way. Don't question. Yeah, we're carrying another civilian. Okay. I thought they were going to kill me. What did they want? Ah, Simeo Pete is so nice. Where's the drop off? Seven eighteen, Kent. I think I'm gonna. Uh, okay, I didn't. I thought I was gonna hit that post there. Anybody? How you feeling? I'm fine. You're close to him, though. What's happening? Craven or yeah, you can kind of see, like, the movement chain in the air here. It's, like, so satisfying to pull off. This is also the mission of unskippable cutscenes, as well. Uh, so, for this segment, I always love to make a, uh, a reference to the 90s animated series. 
tuxes at the dry cleaners. Oh, I'll leave that one to you, friend. Yeah. So, uh, how about that guy from Aerosmith? I have, I do not know what you're talking about, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure I've seen that one, and I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, someone would have got that. <laughs> Because I, I didn't even know it until Bo <laughs> pointed it out to me like the other day. Hey, who are you? Come over here. Take this to Mr. Kravenoff's bodyguard. His bodyguard? Dima, move. Well, sounds like your shift's starting. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Better go find Dima. All right, Spider-Man's uh, just arrived to his 9 to 5, so off he goes. Yeah, we have another job now. Also, a silly restart checkpoint here. Swanky. Swanky. I clean up pretty nice. And I'm feeling great. Yeah, this, this one's another one of those uh, walking simulator missions, I think, you know? Just a bit uh, unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so I should mention uh, Recon the other day told me something about these doors. <laughs> Yeah, I can't unsee it now. Um, <laughs> so you see these doors up here, right? They look like chocolate. <laughs> I just want to eat them. <laughs> do do they, they do, right? <laughs> oh my god. Craven isn't here. I want I want to eat them. I want chocolate. God damn it, I want chocolate now. <laughs> we don't have any in-house though. <laughs> So we didn't get a good look on that one door. There's a, another chance right up here. Must be him. I can't picture like what kind of chocolate though. Like milk chocolate, but like what like, 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 like brand, you know? Like if that's just the shield bearer, what the is Dima gonna be? It's too scary. I don't wanna serve him food anymore. I must remind you something, Burke. I know. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I need to do. Find Craven and his weird lizard serum. Easy. Something in that study might help me find Craven. That hunter's right there. Hey, I don't know how anyone just calls out like webbing here when we're just doing all of this. <laughs> Yeah, hmm, what's this mysterious webbing on the floor? Hmm, that's, that's not, that's not supposed to be there. Oh well, must be nothing, <laughs> you know? So, Bert, after this, you must do it. <laughs> I'm deliberately trying to be vague here. These drugs are for late stage chemotherapy. We gotta sit through some dialogue for a tiny bit. Pick this up, put it down. And Burke, you must pet the kitty. Here's what I need to do. <laughs> you must what's pet also, the kitty. What's also funny about that is it also skips the dialogue that you need to wait for for this door. I know it's a tiger, but it's kinda cute. I wanna pet the I wanna pet the tiger. No good demon. <laughs> wow, you just okay. You're being bullied by a robot dog. I know. Boston Dynamics be like. Wait, where are they? Okay. <laughs> like, where are the enemies? I swear there was more down there. Yeah, this is uh, one of those load. Um, this, this is one of those, like, eat a whole bunch of enemies real quick missions, you know? Okay, I this, got really lucky with that. That is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> the dude just webbed to the wall as it's falling down. Yeah, the whole point of this, uh, like they're sending a whole bunch of enemies at you, I believe is so you can just go ham with the symbiote suit. Like, you've unlocked a new ability. Uh, the symbiote surge. Okay, Which the is... here? Yep. 
The Symbiote Surge, what we saw at the end of Good Men, it will instantly web up anyone to the wall. If there's a wall. If there's a wall. Or you can if. jump and web them instantly to the wall. <laughs> uh, where is... Okay, all the way over here. I got a bit worried there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not to give you PTSD or anything, but oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that poor dude. <laughs> bro, he's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> oh, so one of my favorite lines is coming up. Just chucks this dude out this window. <laughs> it just says... You should ice that. You should ask that. <laughs> okay, so, funny thing here, we have found a soft lock for uh, this mission recently. I mean, we also should talk about uh, this insta kill. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So, um, that guy's dead. Next question. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's the, the for some reason that just pushes him into the, the geometry of the level. There's gonna be another one like that literally in the next level, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, there's a soft lock here that we found, which is annoying to say the least. Uh, for some reason, the checkpoint flag doesn't always update for the end of this mission, and it doesn't spawn in the next mission. That guy just dodged all of that. I just want to add. Based dudes gaming. Yeah, so it doesn't actually um, finish the mission for some reason, and you are locked in this like really weird limbo state where like you can't really do anything. Like you can swing around and stuff, but like nothing will happen. So I'm but, also saving my abilities right now for later. Yep, yeah. but for the start of the, well, so two minutes. Let's go look at team. Let's go. Um, purposely waited there for a tiny bit. Yeah, if you um, if you restart checkpoint for that soft lock, you will have to watch this entire cutscene again, and it's completely unskippable. So that's fun. So here's another good time to maybe get some stretches in. Excellent, because I was actually just about to ask for a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Literally perfect. Uh, during these uh, longer runs, we like to take breaks, so everybody can head up, stretch, get some water. So we're going to take a quick break, everybody. We'll be back in a few minutes for more of the run. All right, I'll pause the cutscene, too. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. We are in the middle of a Spider-Man 2 speed run, and uh, whenever you're ready, you can uh, get right back into it. Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. Just mid cutscene still. If you have the strength to finish, it's actually a good time to pause it. Yeah. <laughs> knife. The <laughs> instant knife. Yeah. Craven's so cool, man. Hm. Not really much we can add to this. It's just fun. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I'll let you guys watch it, you know? You guys get to enjoy the story, too. Isn't that cool? Why don't you set it free? I'm just here to save my friend. I'm glad the only weakness for the symbiote in this game is the uh, high frequency sounds. Because there's like, there's like five different weaknesses <laughs> for symbiotes and they just only have this one in this universe. Yeah, it's just to keep it basic. I think they said that in an interview, right? Final. Yeah. yeah Craven in this game is so cool, man. They, they made him so threatening, actually. 
Alright, let's see. Soft lock. Oh, okay, that was really fast. Yeah. That that was part of the soft lock. You, you may have seen on the side there, it still said that um, the previous mission name flames have been lit. Wait, what is that? And then there's this. That will interrupt some dialogue so you can instantly uh, transport over to here. Very nice. And you can only do that once, by the way. for Because uh, I just did it with the rooftop fireworks. If you try to do it with that specific request again, it will not work. Dang. Yeah, this, um, the reason we're here and not going straight to the next mission is because uh, this is a Mysterium. And the Mysteriums actually give some pretty good rewards. Which is very cool. Restarting checkpoint there will just get us in here quicker too. So um, these rewards, quite important. So we, uh, Burke needs to make sure, like, really make sure he gets gold on this challenge. Otherwise, it uh, is not going to be very good for him. Because we need an extra four hero tokens, and doing this will give him four hero tokens. Getting the gold, rather, we'll give him four hero tokens. So if he doesn't get the gold on this, then he's going to have to do it again. Because we need six, we have two from 100% in the district. Oh, that was really close! Oh my god. <laughs> it's very stressful, this mission. And uh, remember we said before as well, at the end of Funky, when we tried to do that like uh, glitch to not use the... Uh, the Mega Venom Blaster, this is what the Mega Venom Blast would be used for. We could use it on this mission. That's it. Nice and speedy. Very clean. That was kind of stressful. I just, I need a minute. There you go. And he gets the 4 plus the 900 XP. These will be used for upgrades later on in the game. Which is actually not that far from now. Just this mission, then like a lot of another mini mission, and then that is... It's the big mission. That's like when we do all the upgrades on that big mission. So that's really cool. Now we just head over to um, the next mission it's called Stay Positive. I should mention, by the way, I definitely didn't forget to mention. Uh, most of these mission names are actually said by the characters, like in the cutscenes or in the missions. Like really cool. Yeah, just quick little fast travel. Get there a little bit quicker. Very clean. I don't think I can sneak in a level up before the mission. <laughs> Sad. Yep, so just getting here will insta spawn as Peter and we're fine. If you can destroy the atoms block. There. Huzzah. 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 The structure look unstable to you? <laughs> Yeah, so in this uh, in this cutscene that Berg just skipped, they say the one of the cornier jokes in the game, but it is kind of funny still. Be a good proton. Oh, Stay positive. And that, believe it or not, is the mission name. So I will try and call out all of the mission names that when they say them, because it'll be funny. But yeah, I, I I like that though. I, I do like it. It's like it's like the Family Guy. Family guy joke. Oh, he's at the thing. He's at the thing. It's, it's powering up, but the beams are at it. He's, that's the name of the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a cool little little thing like that. But this is a uh, particle accelerator that we are crawling in. I feel his head would have been ripped off by now. Like regardless of the symbiote suit, but uh, what do I know? I don't know particle accelerators as. Uh, well, you learned a bit about them earlier. Only a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you did it, Pete. We're home free. Come on out. There's, there's, there's so many corny jokes. You know, there's, there's the meme of like Bully Maguire from Spider-Man Two, and he's just like all angry and like kind of emo ish in Spider-Man Spider Spider Three. Spider -Man 3. Yes, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> Raimi free. And then, uh, yeah, in this one, Bully Lowenthal is kind of the same. That's what we're calling him, Bully Lowenthal, but he just makes corny jokes. <laughs> well, for now, at least. Yeah. 
Uh, there's, there's another one, like, ugh, you can't play it because it's in the cutscene, but it, oh, it's quite late in the cutscene. But it's, it's so stupid, it's one of the best jokes in the game. <laughs> it's actually in the trailer as well. There's actually back-to-back -back ones from that same cutscene. Yeah. Okay, upstairs now. And punch. Another fire's out. How you doing? Also, I have been informed. Um, nitrogen, I believe that is. Or like the really cold thing. That wouldn't put out a fire, I've been told. I don't know if that is true. What is it? What is it? It's not nitrogen. It's like nitri nitrous oxide, I think it is, right? I've been told that would not put out a fire, but again, I'm no scientist. Sorry, Harry. Why are you apologizing? I'm not worried. You've got the suit. Yeah, so this is actually another recent discovery. There's been a lot of recent discoveries in the few weeks, the first few weeks of, uh, of the game, but uh, turns out that this uh, this shield bearer, because we don't have any damage upgrades at this current moment in time, uh, if you just do that, he's gone. So. We don't have to uh, fight him and worry about like having to punch him like oh, 40 times to uh, to deal damage to him, which is really nice. Harry is just chilling on the stairs. Don't mind him. Oh yeah, he's also floating, <laughs> and he's also in that cutscene right there. Suddenly, oh, a new ability. This is the symbiote blast. <laughs> yeah, Burke is uh, going to be saving his L1 triangle and L1 square for this what, next what was fight. That? What was the dog doing? What the dog doing? <laughs> okay, that's early. There we go. Yeah, parrying in this game is really cool. Yeah, we're just we're trying to save our Extra abilities here. Webs. So you guys remember that guy in the graveyard, right? Yeah, we just do this, and he's gone. <laughs> that was accidentally found by like a casual player, and I think a few I think a few of us like told us about that like when we when this sort of casual player found it as well. They just they posted on the speedrun.com forum and like, oh my god, that works. <laughs> like, uh, this game's funny. But yeah, that cutscene that uh, Berg skipped there as well, like the one before, has the uh, the jokes in. Like, because uh, that guy's dressed in kind of like a bear costume. He's like, I didn't know there were bears in these woods. But then the <laughs> one that's around the internet a lot these days is the um, I'm all out of out yeah, honey. I'm fresh out of honey. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, I should surge here. Just a bit late, but yeah. You should be fine, actually. Oh, if you only you had if if you had symbiote yank here, you'd be like beautiful. One of my favorite parts about this mission is we get a um we get a skill called symbiote yank empowered. Which picks up about you can pick up like like I don't know I think it's infinite. But you can pick up so many of them of the enemies and then you just slam them all down at the same time. It is the most satisfying thing to like KO enemies like that. Hey Genki. Hey dude. So yeah, off the miles. Figured you might want to look into it. Maybe it'll lead to Lee. Sending you the source coordinates. Really appreciate it, man. Oh, so can I just say that voicemail is amazing? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got two level ups. Nice. Unfortunate crime spawn, though. Even though there's no dialogue, so it actually doesn't matter. Yeah, it just about ended the dialogue, though. Yeah, these uh, these are just two spider bots. We're just we're just gonna collect out uh, the kindness of our hearts. 
And also it's very useful. <laughs> so now is the fun part of the game. This uh, this bird challenge is actually relatively difficult. It's going to take us a little trip across the city and we're done. So... <laughs> I also want to point out, because it's supposed to be, like, a collectible, um, you can just do that for all of them. Yeah, 100% on those is going to be funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they let you do it for the story one, though, so, like... If there are more birds out there... I can decrypt them to discover the identities of the targets before it's too late. Should upload the data to the Spidey service. Yeah. So that, 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 that was just to introduce the, the like, palindrome where you chase them through the city. It's very, really cool. Hey, you with Pete? Hey. No. Listen, I saw you chasing that robot bird around on the news. Do you need now it's just a cutscene. Support? Like, hey. running the app or something? Actually, I got a friend doing that already. Someone needs to find a way to skip dialogue in this game. It'd be like one of the biggest discoveries. All right, we have a few dialogue skips, but it's just like we can't do it for every dialogue in the game. Yeah, it's the most annoying thing. Like if there's, if there's a way to do it, like every single bit of dialogue in the game, then without completely breaking it, then that would be like really cool. Thanks. And good luck out there. You too, man. Hey, Dad. Maybe some advice. Yeah, this one's just a um, just just a cutscene, a nice little cutscene with uh, Miles and talking to his dad. You know. But nothing's working. I know what you say. A hero is someone who doesn't give up, and I'm not. I just don't know what else to do. Maybe I should just. Ignore everything else and so uh my route is actually gonna be ending right before this next mission. If people need help, I'm I'm just gonna be grabbing two more photo ops and four spider bots, and then that's all I'm gonna need for the rest of the game. I'm Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> myself. So in this uh in this mission, this mission will be spawning in Astoria. Which is just above so, Queens, I believe, or Brooklyn, one or two. It's above Queens. one of those. Yeah, and um, what we're going to do, we're going to grab fast travel in Astoria, which only takes four spider bots and two photo ops, which we can get really quickly along the way. So what we can do, we can do all the movement over there, because it is literally like directly east from where this mission ends. Like, you can see the photo op, like, directly in front of us there, like, that big, that, like, little green glowy thing in the, in the distance there. We're gonna grab those, grab Astoria fast travel as fast as possible, and then this will give <laughs> us... That was cool. <laughs> this will give us uh, enough, like, tech parts, enough, like, city tokens and all that for full upgrades. I keep hitting the map by accident, trying to swipe up. Yeah, this will give us uh, enough upgrades for like all, all the stuff that we're going to purchase at the start of this next mission. But it, this is mostly convenient because the next mission is like right on this, well, not this island, but like right on this next area where that photo op is pretty much, like a, a little further down there. Miles, about the stolen museum I went to the impound yard and saw an old phone number on that truck you chased down. Alright, I'm slowing down a bit here. Yeah, that was some unfortunate movement. Any clue is a good clue. If we can't find that truck, the museum will have to close. Plus, I never turn out a chopped cheese. There you go. Miles' mum just called as well. A uh, little message just telling us about his side quest. That's really cool. Yep, so we know where all of these are. We definitely know where all of these are, so um, we've got both of the photo ops, we just need two more spider bots. One is in the air over there, and one is just slightly past where the mission spawns. So oh, this mission might be delayed by quite a bit. Uh, I'm a bit low. I think I can just slingshot from here. Yeah, you should be able to. Yep. 
Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I think I can get yeah, the mission's way. not spawned yet. I gotta wait for Genki's call. Yeah, so unfortunately, most phone calls will interrupt mission wait times. So if you're like sitting and waiting for a mission and someone calls you, then unfortunately it will um, interrupt the mission spawn time. They'll have to wait for the call to end and then like it'll do like a reset and then it's just a. Yeah. So usually, if you're fast enough, the mission will spawn and Ganky won't call you. And if Genki doesn't call you, you can just go straight into the mission after you collected the spider bot. But if uh, if he does, then it's just a bit unfortunate. <laughs> and here's that big menu that we were talking about before. We're going to upgrade all of our damage. So now hunters shouldn't be too much of a problem. Realistically, like we'll, we'll, we'll hurt them a bit. Connors was here all right. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, is it 140 percent damage now? Yes. What did Craven do to you, Doc? Yeah, I think. Oh, I can double check actually. I'm watching both streams. <laughs> I think it is 140. Yeah, it's 140. Hello. No numbers. Yeah, we know this code as well. Old McDonald. <laughs> so usually, casually, the game expects you to like go around the house looking for like this code, you know. He probably kept him and his family safe whenever he had an episode. I was unaware there was a restart checkpoint there, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So casually, the game probably expects you to go around the house looking for like anything for the code or whatever, and then like you listen to it, and then you like understand what the code is. But we've played the game far too many times; we know what the code is. You are glorious, Frank. Worthy of Craven. Let me tell you how this is all gonna go down. You leave Connors alone. He doesn't deserve this. But if you were Craven, keep going after it. Very cool. Yeah, you, you can see we're probably yeah, you, uh, you can see like we're dealing a little Whoa, bit more damage okay. to the hunters. We're doing a little bit more damage to the hunters, which is really nice. Uh, usually they wouldn't go down this quickly. There's a mostly the reason is, the reasoning is uh, for a boss fight that is coming up a little later on. We this damage is like too good oh. to like. Oh, pardon me. Does Craven even know what he did this damage is too good to pass up, so. so he can prove oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, land post. Okay. Okay, nice. Swept to the floor. I should have used Yank at some point, but there wasn't That's really a. Fine, I guess. There wasn't really an opportunity to. Okay, that menu was very laggy there. <laughs> oh, we forgot to mention as well, uh, this is the gameplay revealed mission. If anyone watched uh, the state of play for when the game was first like revealed, like the gameplay was first revealed for the game, this was the mission that they showed off for the gameplay, and I think it was a very cool choice. It is a very fun, fun mission. It kind of shows off pretty much everything you'd want to know about the game. Like, Shows off the symbiote and its abilities, you know, shows off like the fact that you can be two Spider-Men. Uh, uh, shows off some of the cool like movement tech as it used a slingshot. Looks empty, but I better check it out. It was like really cool. Guess I'll have company after all. Just gotta watch this. Everyone out, move it. How many unskippables? Like how 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 many put together do you think there is, like, time-wise? I think, like, 10 I, I, Yeah, I think we estimated, there. like, 10 to, like, 15. Maybe I can use them too. And you think that's bad? Get ready for Miles. <laughs> After <laughs> this. I can't let these guys find the lizard first. Gotta clear them out. I should have Venom Blast here. I do. Yep. 
I had a method for this. Like, what you'd realistically want to do is you want to take out as many of them as you can and then group a whole bunch of them together and then use the Mega Venom Blast. And that will, like, that will take out the majority of the enemies or it will, like, kill the rest of them that are there. I'm gonna have them get close to me. Right, then you're gonna web grab. Oh. There you go. Probably like one or two like ones who just about lived. Yeah, these uh sword guys just didn't go near. Oh, you too? Yeah, that's that's the only problem with this this part. You can lose quite a bit of time if you don't manage to actually take care of every 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 enemy. Cheeky little outbounds right there. <laughs> I'll give it a yeah, that's the, uh, clips. <laughs> yeah, Don't stress. that is the method uh, I was explaining earlier in the Hunt to Live mission, like we found an Out of Bounds. That was the method we found to get Out of Bounds, which is uh, really cute. <sighs> Unfortunately, we can't do much Out of Bounds. Not, not yet, anyway. We, we haven't messed around with it enough, but... Yeah, the run is going to start really picking up now. We've collected everything that we need to collect, pretty much. We have every upgrade that we need to upgrade, other than a few skill points. So the idea now is um, just kind of go mission to mission. Yep, just go, go, go. Like, it's NG+. Plus. <laughs> God, NG+, NG Plus isn't out for the game yet, unfortunately. But Insomniac did promise by the end of the year. We will have NG+. Plus. That didn't specify November or December, but I'm assuming mid-December. How cool is that? We get a GTA 6 trailer and uh, NG+, Plus in the same month. <laughs> there is a thing here as well. There's a shortcut that you can... Uh, that you can... put to one of the... one of the shortcut buttons. There's a shortcut that you can put to one of those, and what that will do is, um, it's a charge jump shortcut. If you skip that cutscene and then use the charge jump shortcut, you can jump part, well, partway through this mission, so you don't have to, like, you don't have to, like, slowly walk, but... Yeah. Our shortcut buttons are currently occupied, unfortunately, so... Yeah. It's just his skin. Doesn't that mean he's getting bigger? Oh, coming up is an instance of them having dialogue for the mission name. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, man. New threads? The building swarming with hunters. New is threads. That hunters? That's the mission name. <laughs> yeah. Genki's tracking them. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. They say it quite a lot, actually. Like, I, I never noticed just how much they say the mission names. <laughs> Like, in the, the first one, the first mission in the game is called Surface Tension. And he, he's talking about Surface Tension, like, what, what happens when the Surface Tension is sand? It literally or, says it at the end of that mission, too. Yeah. And then, uh, the, I don't know if he actually says one thing at a time, but I think during the cutscene he does, like, one of the cutscenes that we skipped. Uh, Show Me New York, that's one that he says. Uh, Roll Like We Used To, I don't know if he says that. Uh, then not on my watch. I don't know if anyone says amends. Technically, in the phone call, like, oh, let's make amends. Uh, healing the world, maybe in that cutscene. I don't know. There's a few that they they say like that. It's really cool. Anyway, really badass chase sequence coming up. So, <laughs> well, I say that chase assist makes this a lot less epic. <laughs> I'm actually ahead of. Uh... Yeah, yeah, ahead of the ones that you need to be ahead. <laughs> and just get flown up in the air. Yeah, so this boat should start aiming, and then when he dodges the boat, he will automatically jump to the next jet ski. We think Chase's sister's faster here because you can grab the vehicles a lot quicker than you would be able to without it. 
Yeah, it should be around here, but because I was too far ahead of the uh, first one. Yeah, you lost a little bit of time on the first one, but that's, you know, it's yeah. still pretty fast compared to normal. I've got the metal murder bird. I warned you about so I gotta get my uh, dash up again, because uh, I believe it, it resets. resets it, yeah. yeah. I don't know why, but it does. Let's see if I can get this to happen. Ah, uh, you didn't. If you're low enough, uh, he'll just kind of clip through. <laughs> Alright, now we just, uh, we just chill. Because we cannot die on FN. <laughs> they took that from Rift Apart. You can't die on the easiest difficulty in Rift Apart either. Well, in 2018, you can't either. Can you not? I'm pretty sure it says that you cannot die in combat. I'm pretty sure I found a way to die in combat in there. If I do. This poor dude fishing, and then this is like all this going around on random. Okay, thoughts on the lizard design, though? Because I think design. it is incredible design. Alley, you on free. Laggy cutscene. <laughs> And onwards. You gonna do the uh, the slingshot across Central Park? If I can find it, yeah. Hey, any luck at Connor's house? No, but tracking him right now. Which means I'll probably need to get some height. Meaning something. Yeah, it's like on that building to your left, I think. There, right? I'm sure he was just trying to help. Yeah, up there. Because this is a straight shot to the mission. We just really need Connors right now. For Harry. Delay my web wings a bit. Yeah, I, I think we have a theory that delaying the web wings will actually preserve a lot more momentum. So you can get there a lot faster. I can get into the sewers up ahead. Do, which is really nice. And then into the sewers we go. Whee! <laughs> also, if you didn't catch that, when he opened up that uh, manhole, the inside of that said Insomniac Games. Five. It did? Yeah. <laughs> you can also you can also spot it during the Silver Lining DLC in uh, 2018. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Let me know when you find him. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! And somebody like shouting themselves out in their own game. <laughs> so now we just have Harry. All upset, not having the uh, suit. Oh, he has every right. And <laughs> also, EMF just completely destroyed. Totally wasn't awful. Lead pipes are messing with the tracker signal. Where is he going? All right, uh, let's see if Peter does the uh, spinning here. Yeah, he likes to spin. Ah, uh, no spin. Nah. Through to a decommission. Don't think that was an accident. Connors doesn't want to be followed. That's a Why really good tip. Why do I never think of these things? <laughs> I'm like, well, that seems so obvious, right? And it's like, oh, that works. All right, now um, for actually. Yeah, no, the second boss fight of the game. Yeah. No way. First one was Sandman, now we're about to start the uh, lizard boss fight. Set this place up for Connors back in the day. Must be off the books. Wait. This is our particle accelerator at the foundation. Very cool. Connors I think I'm going to do Surge first phase here. Yeah, go for it. I got this. So, this is Dr. Oh, Connors. 
Never so, mind. Uh, I have to do it third phase. <laughs> yeah, and that was uh, unfortunate. <laughs> But uh, basically surging on this phase, uh, it, it, it'll just help you deal like quite a bit more damage to the lizard. And this is why we get a uh, double focus as well, because uh, with a double focus bar, you are actually able to use finishes on bosses like and bang. Look how much oh. damage that dealt. That's Make me miss my strike. So the, uh, the strat for most bosses, realistically, is just build up focus as fast as you can and then use the finisher because it will, it will, it will hurt. <laughs> I have the antidote! Let me help you! Look, look at this damage! Uh, bonk, yep. <laughs> The idea is to pretty much use it as as much as we can, build it up as fast as we can. So we use, uh, we actually gain, well, we actually uh, get a few skill points that will allow us to build it up a little bit quicker later on in the uh, in the game. At the moment, we can't. We uh, there's some skill points that we're we're saving up for at the moment for the that next be fight. Two. It deals so much damage, man. Now the uh, the lizard chase for the city. This is really fun. I like this. Really not in the mood for the rampaging lizard in New York City thing right now. This is yeah. So uh, in this um, in this mission, in this uh, like this chase, using chase assist, I think is definitely better because uh, you're able to catch up to the lizard much faster as a res like just as a result. And that is very good because catching up to the lizard faster lets you grab him a lot quicker. Like, like that. Much as soon as the game tells you to, you know. As soon as the game lets you. So that's really you, cute. You also have to be a certain distance. It doesn't just automatically do it. You just have to be like yeah. 40 meters at least, I think. I tried to do an air trick there, but uh, I guess I just did a left. <laughs> he did a left. <laughs> yeah, just looked left a bit. Checked out some buildings. They're very nice buildings. New York is a very pretty city. You know? No, I don't want to do this. Right there, just instantly grab them. Yeah. Right in range. So uh, there's something that can happen there. Actually, he threw in my run yesterday that I did. He actually threw that, the lizard actually threw that car at me and I dodged it, but the car's physics, like, and like, the car's hitbox still existed, so it knocked me backwards and I couldn't catch him instantly. Oh, I got that thing to show off. Hey, nice. I think you can keep that momentum going as long as you don't go too far away from him. Yeah, that's why I slowed down. I don't want to be too far. Yeah, so that drop ship coming in you can get that consistently if you know where it's about to come in from like the exact path thing but it's not oh like, I, I landed not just crazy. a bit too early <laughs> that's very sad this is such a cool thing in the uh, casually yeah so I instead of dodging this. I'm just gonna start just jumping now so I don't have the uh, slowdown happen also, he clearly clips through the car sometimes. <laughs> Fine. If I have to hurt you, I will. Beat him up. Move him up so he doesn't move, and then I'll just do this. Yeah, notice how like the surge isn't really doing as much damage. Uh, his last phase, he actually um, his last phase, he's uh, a lot tankier than he is on the first phase. So if Burke had surge on the first phase, it would have uh, given him much more uh, thingy. It must would have uh, chipped his down the health down a lot more. Oh, like even now, early. like even now, the his, his abilities and his. Uh, Punches that are not dealing as much damage. And you know it. 
So I'm actually using upshot because it will um it will just stun bosses. It also knocks him off the wall as well. So you yeah, don't have to which be is what I did earlier. Really. He's actually not going on the wall right now. Surprisingly enough, yeah. And there you go, that is Lizard down. See if you can get any double cutscene skips here. This is a prime section to get some in. Oh, got one. <laughs> There's <Nice>. your example. <laughs> Yeah, my very first run, I accidentally skipped the cutscene too quickly, and the box still appeared, and I, it let me skip the next cutscene imme immediately. We call that the uh, double cutscene skip. Yeah, I know, it's a fitting name. <laughs> yeah, that that's really cool. It, it just saves us menuing, especially because the menu is like quite laggy in places as well. I don't know exactly how it works. It's something to do with like how fast you can menu to the thing and how like fast the cutscene skips. It's weird. It's really weird. But yeah, we're on our way to Astoria for actually another one of my favorite missions in this game. Which is really nice. Really cool. You may be but asking. When I, uh, when I land, I'll also show off the suit because the suit actually did change. It did, yes. You might be asking as well, right? You're going to a story, didn't you get fast travel for a story? Just before. Why are you not fast traveling? Well, during dialogue and phone calls, you are not allowed to fast travel. Unfortunately, the game uh, forbids it. <laughs> so, we just kind of have to, you know, wait and just go to where we're going to go. It's a very cool suit. You go in the light a bit more though, no? Yeah. I mean, there's not really some good lighting because it's nighttime. Chief Clark, everything okay? But it's got like you can see there's like some veins going on now. Uh, the spider logo is connected on both sides. Yeah, the symbiote suit looks so clean, man. I love it. We'll keep working until you get here. This is like uh, the symbiote is starting to slowly get a grasp at him, you know, it's slowly starting to take over. Which we like. You know, I'm gonna try to get in the house. <laughs> and first try. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not yeah, normally this... supposed to do this, but yeah, this is the uh, the out of bounds yeah. clip we were talking about. Well, not the clip, but that was the out of bounds method we were talking about. We we can clip in through that. It's like oh. really cool. <laughs> and then that happens too. <laughs> Jesus. Chicken top floor. like it's not just Can I? We don't. Can... We don't actually have to. Uh... Oh. That also uh, showed something off there. If you um, do that square prop on someone, and you get shot at like the same time, it skips the animation. Yep. Also, a uh, fun little fact: you don't actually need to um, be near them. No, sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> you don't have to kill the guy on the stairs. You can just kill the two guys and then restart checkpoint. You'll put people right next to the door, which is very nice. We like it. Now this is one of my favorite missions in the game. I love the atmosphere of it all. I love how like dark it all is, and I love especially what's happening to Peter in this mission. Because uh, what's happening to Peter, the symbiote is kind of fully taking over, and he's kind of going on a bit of a rampage, you know. I mean, but also one thing to mention is that uh, he is currently just sleeping. Yeah, the symbiote is just kind of taking over his body and sleeping well, while he's sleeping and it's doing whatever it wants. Oh, that almost worked. I tried to do the, uh... The shoulder tap. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, so if uh, none of these guys see you, you can go straight to the door. That was the idea there, but the guy saw him, so what we had to do is just 
go say hello to him. <laughs> Wait till I restart checkpoint and then uh, it puts us right next to the door anyway, which is really nice. So we just distract them really quick and then just go through. And that is the end of the first part of the MJ mission. All right, Miles, are you going to be nice? Okay. Sometimes Miles will just go straight to the floor. Are you going to menu as well for the stuff? The yeah. Me. Like right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so skill points. Uh, this is what we were saving most of our skill points for. So, um, well, we can't afford it just yet, but this is like... We're almost there, we need one more level. But uh, we might as well get Miles as, uh, as upgraded as possible right now, so we can have a grand old time. It's another instance, actually, of um, Peter's abilities and Miles' abilities cooldowns being connected. At the end of the Lizard fight, Burke used a Symbiote Punch. And now Miles didn't start the fight with a symbiote punch. It was like Air no punch, cooldown. Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, unfortunate. It's weird the, the way that works, but it, it just does. You know, the way the game is designed, <laughs> I guess. That car looks like it uh, got hit with the web grabber, but that was just um, the symbiote <laughs> with the car. Okay, I'm going to start using my finishers. Yeah, do you see kind of what I mean with like the Miles finisher? Like he grabs them and then he throws them downwards where Peter just like kind of webs to the floor and kicks them. The, the animation is a bit slower, so I don't really like using finishers as much as Miles personally because it's, it's like a little bit slower. Oh, just you two? Okay. That was a really clean fight actually. Oh no, more respond. Yeah. I was gonna say, if you could get this fight before MJ calls, that's like kind of a damn good fight. The Venom Punch is so good for its upgrade, actually. There you go, very nice. Now back to the most OP character in the game. <laughs> this section, I love this section, like how like dark it is and like. Creepy. It's very creepy. So you can see me dodging the forward because uh, I'm forced to a walking state. So just trying to get some extra boost in speed. Stop! You can't flood the tunnel. We got another double cutscene skip there. Very nice. Any updates, MJ? How's everything going in there? I found Bonk. Peter, but <laughs> he's asleep. Is that good? I don't. I'm gonna try to. I was about to use the uh, dash, but I decided against it. Because I might as well do it here. Okay, just you know my... same dude. No, oof. Do you know my strat here with the car, the turret, probably? You web up the turret and then throw it at two birds, and it'll like one shot the two birds. That's my strain. Whoa! Um, that was. Oh my god. That was uh, unexpected. I am sorry for that. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Like, I saw the frame rate dip, I was like, okay, what's happening? <laughs> and I just go for a spin. Oh, did they all fall down? Or something? Like... I know, I think they're all spawning in now. Like these guys. Ah, the web grab is a god. Oh, oh, okay. Huh? Yeah, I... What? Oh yeah, that can happen. 
Uh, okay, that's news to me. The game for some times, uh, the game sometimes just thinks those dogs are still alive. Yeah, with that, with that um, big guy, I think a finisher and then a double venom jump will kill it. But I could be wrong. We don't have venom jump either. The venom dash, like the meow meow, you know the double. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's what I did in my PB, I'm pretty yeah. sure, and he died, so... I saved my venom blast. It's pretty cool. There. That's my exit. I have to take a sip of my tasty beverage, because my friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we get a little break here, because the next mission is a cutscene mission, but most of it is unskippable. There's only one part in this next mission that is skippable. And why does it feel like I had the I don't know sleep why. of my life? Weird dreams though. Harry left another Okay, I didn't get my dash in time. I really need that suit back. Go around this way. Dad's working on a new cure. But Also, Peter, you have low battery on your phone. You should charge that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> MJ, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mary Jane? Hey, buddy. How you feeling? Yeah, all of this is unskippable until um, one like little camera change. Pete, at least we get to enjoy this. What yeah, about mostly. <laughs> I just remember feeling tired. Pete, you're not yourself. Uh, this is where the the bully comes out. I'm still alive. Yeah, it's pretty great. Bully, you, you, you <laughs> low and full. Pills and say what you really feel. Hey, don't. I'm busting my ass out there trying to save you, and this is what I get. I said don't. I saw your story. I tried to tell you about that. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? I can't lose this job. You're bad. I can almost quote this line for line. <laughs> I did. The truth is. I'm the hero here, not you. And there's the, uh, the mission hero. name. Yeah, I'm the hero here, not you. All right, so we gotta watch Peter slam this door. Now we can skip that. <laughs> and that's the only skippable in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's only about 40 seconds from here anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, Harry isn't very happy at the moment. Please. I should mention. <laughs> if it isn't blindingly obvious, he's not very happy. <laughs> I said leave! All right, on to the next mission, No Escape. And as usual, looks like I gotta do it myself. And that's when Miles' full potential will be unleashed. Peter, Hell yeah. He didn't come home last night, and he's not I really do like this mission, dude. Hello? I love this game, man. Tell him to come see me now. It's a very cool game, would recommend. Yeah, there's some good lighting on the suit there. Very pretty. Oop, on me. This place has tight security. Do a simple puzzle here. Yep. Maybe one of the others will. There. That cleared a small path. 
Hello? Who was that guy who knocked me out? So... Video I'm gonna video. buy it now. So... Yeah. Getting um, Venom Blast self care. Um, what that does is when I do the Venom Blast, it gives me um, all my focus bars. So for a boss that's coming up, uh, we can literally have two focus bars going into it, and then do a finisher, and right after Venom Blast to get our two focus bars back, and then we just do another finisher, and that will completely wipe out one phase of a boss fight. Yep. It's very fast. Poison! I have to get out of here. Those generators look like they power the fans. My abilities aren't that good right now, actually. Like Venom Dash being on cooldown like that. I mean, you could uh, uh, you could build up pretty quickly, I guess. So for pulling down that one thing, you actually can't be on the ceiling like that. Or else it just doesn't work. Ooh, I'm out. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot of big fighting in these areas. There's a lot of like a lot of fights that are uh, that are in here. Not that many, actually. There's just the game likes to throw enemies at you quite a lot, in uh, especially in this part of the game. Even more coming up as well. Like that. It's not grabbing a lot of enemies right now. Not many have spawned in, to be honest. Yep, here's the big guy, the shield bear. I'm actually gonna do some damage, and then... That... He's not down, so... There. Nice. That's all of That wasn't that bad of a fight. This place never it seemed pretty... pretty clean. What if the hunters know who I really am? What if they took off my mask? What if? Now we just gotta crawl all the way. Can you Can't speed it up. Please. Which is very so, unfortunate. I'm purposefully not engaging these enemies because I'm gonna go into the next room and start combat so I can get the guys from the first room to come in here instead. There's also an ability, there's also a skill point he got for the Venom Smash that he just did there. If he presses it again, it will also launch every enemy that it hits up into the air. Which is really uh, useful. Nice chandelier. <laughs> you know, honestly, I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, it's it's really useful, especially when you have a um, Bio Siphon, which you don't currently. But if you did, it'd be very nice. What do they need that for? <laughs> the double parry there. I think both of them had the uh, parry prompt. Nice. So I'm purposely just saving my abilities now. Yep. The boss fight's in this next area, so we're gonna uh, even save the finisher as well, just so we don't have to uh, don't have to waste it. Come on. There we go. I also have a web grabber. That looks like an exit. Nice. Yeah, these guys, they uh, they don't go down easy, even with our damage upgrades. Okay. Craven has a lot of shield bearers in his army. And they look like the exact same build as well. <laughs> Alright, so now against Mr. Negative, you'll see the uh, amount of damage we can just do as Miles. Are you going to do uh, Venom Blast first phase or second phase? First. And nice. there we go. Basically, all that phase is over. Just have to hit him like once. Watch it. <laughs> if he'll let you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, I almost forgot. 
I need a blue ability. That would be helpful, yeah. <laughs> Gotta wait again. Now, show us your full strength. Do you feel any regret for what you've done? Whatever I did to you in the past, it's never been personal. Yeah, you actually have dialogue here as well. Yeah. Which is really nice. Which might sound weird to, to say, but uh, for some yeah. reason, dialogue sometimes just doesn't play here and it can uh, actually make you lose time in the next section as a result, because all the dialogue is playing like on top of dialogue that's supposed to be playing. So I'm actually going to save the finisher for next phase. Yep. You can see how powerful Miles is. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's got to do the scripted thing. Oh, come on. Dodging the tornadoes is really weird. Just trying to get like a perfect one. Especially in this phase, because they like actually move and curve. Oh no, that's the next one actually. Right. Oh, camera kind of spazzed out there a tiny bit. Nice. Yeah, you punch him a few more times, you'll have Venom Punch again, and then Venom Punch will finish him off here, which is really good. Yep, like that. You should just be in the scripted part now. Unless... Okay, I need to hit him, like, yeah, two yeah, more once, times. Once more, yeah. This is friendly neighborhood, to answer that question, there. Which we can't die on. Yay. You don't know anything about me. No more negative energy. My powers are back. It's, uh, it's easier. Enemies take less time to kill. We physically can't die, so it's... Very nice. I need to keep my head in the game. Yeah, so usually uh, you'd restart checkpoint here if you didn't get the dialogue, but it's some weird bug. Like, dialogue just didn't, doesn't play all the time in that fight for some reason, so you'd restart checkpoint just to, to get it. It's because um, here oh, okay. it would be completely silent. Whoa. Here it would be completely silent, and then in the next section you won't get any of the required dialogue for that section. You'll get, like, part of the dialogue that was supposed to happen ages ago, you know? Everyone has a breaking point. Even Spider-Man. It's just a matter of finding it. And I have all the time in the world. Is it... I don't know. I'm kind of seeing Miles, like, model disappear a tiny bit. I wonder if it's just me. Out of your head. But there's so much to I do not know. Probably just me seeing things. Also, Lamal. I love when that happens. Bruh. <laughs> so now it's just a dialogue based segment, but I'm still gonna be attacking because I want my abilities back. Yeah, this will be useful. Uh, I, I've said a few times now, but the Spider Man share ability cooldowns for whatever reason, so doing this will get some abilities for the next Peter section. Which is really nice. And then... Okay. Maybe I should do a finisher for a uh, web grabber. You want to end this? Let's fight. I'm not listening. Yeah, I'm not right here. Because all that matters is you. I said almost have Venom Blast again. Yeah, Venom Blast comes up really quickly. Especially uh, with an upgrade that we're going to get after this next mission, I think. Am I correct? I think I'm correct, yeah. It depends actually what level you are. I have three skill points right now. So technically one skill point. Yeah, if you level up after I need this. To wait. Is that a keyboard? What's up? That's a keyboard. <laughs> Never noticed that. This is the... Okay, so I'm just not gonna do anything here because I don't need anything else. You're going to get yourself killed. So we're just gonna wait for the just gonna wait for the dialogue now. I should 
never have let you try. All it's ever done is make me more alone. Put me oh, so that guy just course. missed. No, I want to protect you. How? <laughs> I have no idea. Mean it. Not from you. On the day he died, Mom. your father told me just that morning. Missed again. Everything he does. I'm gonna try going more in the middle here. Lee. Miles. I said that's enough. Because now all of them just perish. <laughs> yeah. And on to the last part of this. New ability too. Not yet. Very soon though. <laughs> Gotta wait for all this dialogue first. Morphine. Spider-Man came oh, It's so out. long these sections though. Will. Like they're cool and all, but like You're more than just There's no really way to speed them up, that's the thing. Like you just have to wait. Ass, but I know who you are. And what you stand for. I've been watching you. You have? And it hurts. What happened to the boy that I raised? You okay that much? Spinning a circle. <laughs> I'm doing that. Just to do something. Yeah. Yeah, just still waiting. I probably could just jump in here. Like, yeah. Always will be. No, you never say that. None of you would. I'm not. It's time we give up. Give up, Miles. Yeah, the Mar the Martin Lee sections are so cool. Like in in any of these games, actually. Like in Spidey One, they were like really cool. Give up. Give up. Like Collision Course, I think the mission was cool. Like where you fight them in the air. And it's like All a right. realm. Now Miles gets a bit more powerful, we get Reverse Flux, which just pulls all the enemies in. It's like another web grabber for us. Yeah, so you can web grab it and then Reverse Flux and then they get, get pulled in. Then they get flung, flung out and then pulled in again. Like, it is so satisfying. Oh, so I believe the cooldown is adjusted for that fight there. Yeah, I don't think the, you can punch someone three times to get it back almost immediately. Okay, I'm gonna do a, a cheeky fast travel here. Yeah, normally you're not allowed to fast travel just after this, but just as the checkpoint marker comes up, the game just the call was supposed to happen, but it lets you um it just lets you fast travel really, really quickly. Uh, before we get into the the next mission, would this be a good time for a break? I think there's like an hour of the run left, right? Uh I think we could do a break. I think it's a good time. It's up to you. A little bit of help now oh, yeah, whenever you're ready. Alright, yeah, we'll do it now. Yeah, so just during these longer runs, we like to take breaks every uh, hour or so, so I can get up, stretch, get some water. Um, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the, the rest of the run. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hot Fix. We are showcasing Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Uh, we are nearing uh, the end of the game, so uh, whenever you're ready, you can get uh, yep. get right back into it. All right. Three, two, one, go. Miles is safe. Lee's going back in a cell. So uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the uh, symbiote, because uh, we are about to lose it. How about now? Now who needs the old Spider-Man? Who so doesn't nice? The new Hi. Spider-Man <laughs> Yeah, very cool. They destroyed the EMF. It's gone. Destroyed oh, my life. I'm going to lose Maze House. Yeah, but don't do what I accidentally did. Yeah. So, little fun story. There is a uh, there's a skill point. I told well, him briefly. I wet that guy up before the <laughs> <laughs> Little fun little fun story. So I I told it a little the parts of it a little early in the run, but um I was doing a speed run, right? You know, I was about a minute ahead of world record pace at the time, you know, just chilling. I, I got up to this mission. There's a, there's, there's a boss fight that's going up in this mission. Because I have digital deluxe version, I am not allowed to go under two skill points. The uh, skill that I went to purchase, I forgot, cost two skill points instead of one skill point. So I went under the two skill points by a single skill point. 
And as a result of that, my world record pace run became invalid. And oh, I was very oh, sad. No. So this mission now makes me cry. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I'm like doing it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the Craven fight's really cool. I actually put a fair bit of practice into this fight myself, you know? Pardon me. I don't know why you needed to know that, but there you go. That's some cool information. <laughs> So you know then. Then you know I will. I can like it seems like I can only parry on like the third attack that he does. Maybe it's just me. Rip me apart and parade your achievement. Well it's not a full parry, it's like a hard Oh parry. wow. Whoa, camera. I hope you're enjoying it. It's like a hot apart hard parry, because he attacks you again. Okay, Craven. Just Okay, fun fact here, I don't think Burke will do it, because he doesn't have two, but if you uh, have at least one of the focus bars filled and then restart the checkpoint at the start of this fight, or the start of this like section, you will get given two focus bars. Also, we got flashbangs in this. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot about that, that's a bit of... Mm, not, well, it's for the cautious side. I don't know how often you'll do it, but if he does it quite a bit, there will be a tiny flashing lights warning. Just in case. I don't know how often he will do uh, the flashbangs, but... Uh, oh, okay. There's gonna move away from me there. So many years. I just ate that spear. <laughs> In come the doggos. I'm surprised it doesn't deal as much damage to him. Yeah. Are you gonna save the finisher for uh Yeah. Yeah. What me? Very nice. He's one hit. No! Don't go! <laughs> yeah, Craven's uh, randomness here is a bit, like, annoying for runs. Because he's, he's not as predictable as you'd think. There you go. And All now, right. the best fight in the game. I think I'm going to do it second phase. Yeah, that's fair. Peter just be parrying a lot right now. Yep. And there's the bell. Yep. You have your abilities here as well, so you can just like. What? Speaking of abilities, I'm going back to Venom Dash. Yep. The double Venom Dash deals so much damage to him. If you can, if you can actually like pull it off, it's it's weird. It's weird how it works. I don't exactly understand how the double works, but. All right, time to time to delete this phase of Peter. Yep, there's half his health bar and then Venom Blast. And then a finisher will deal the rest of it. And bang, he's <laughs> gone. Can you see why Miles is a little strong? <laughs> We're webbing up Peter here as well to build a focus. Uh, I don't think we mentioned it, but the third, the uh, one of the focus a bit, well, one of the uh, web shooter abilities that we oh got. Oh gosh, the, like one of the uh, one of the things that we got for the web shooter was like every shot will uh, give us increased focus gain. So we got that like quite a while ago. That's what we'll be what we're using. We'll be using um, webs on bosses quite a lot. Because not only does it stick to them, and they can't move for a few seconds, we can uh, also build up a finisher really, really quickly with it, and then, as a result, you know, just casually half health a boss's health bar, like, bang. Okay, it's he's moving around a lot. Yeah, it's fights like this why we wish there was a lock-on ability. Or like a lock-on button. Unfortunately, there is not. All right, and. Bye-bye, Pete. 
Yeah, it's such a cool fight that we just delete. Say goodbye to the symbiote too. Bye, symbiote. Okay. Onwards we go. So, question before it comes up. Are you going to do the thing? Of course! He's going to do the thing! So, this is something I experimented with roughly. Not much, but roughly. And it was recently, like, looked into again. This is stuff that we found, like, week one of the game. Or, like, the start of week two of the game, you know? Like, we, we, found, uh, we found a few, like, really cool, really cool things with this. However, it was recently opened up again. Like, people have looked into it a lot more. And we have found a consistent way to do what Burke is about to do right now. We just hope he gets it, because it is hilarious. I have all the time in the world to get it. Just tell me right away if you feel any changes in mood, behavior... it's off me. I'm cured, right? So I will try to explain it when he does it, but I cannot confirm that I would be able to do a good job of that. So... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've been ignoring the city for too long. I promised the game. Oh, well. There you go. We changed the miles to Mysterium. Don't worry. We're not going to do it. Actually, change the time of day real quick too. <laughs> yep. This is um intended. We are we are doing this for a reason. What do you resume activity to do? Is that a power stash? Yeah, but all it does is it just marks it on the map. Ah, okay. Like so. So I have the uh, Mysterium stored. So normally I won't be able to uh, um, leave it, but now I can just fast travel to Greenwich and the Mysterium is still active. It is daytime. also uh, It's also daytime when it's not supposed to be. And this, All the is going headlights to have, are on. this is going to have some side effects in this next mission. A little later on in this next mission, but yes, this is the setup that we have done. Um, yeah, so, this looks very cursed, like, all the lights are on and all that, like, you know, you're just down in the city and, like, all the headlights and all, because it's supposed to be nighttime and that, but it is not. Ow, Miles. <laughs> so, now I'm just waiting for the mission. Get moon gravity. We can do that after. Uh, <laughs> I love that. There's actually a trophy for that. If you do it, if you do a trick and then land like poorly, you'll get a trophy. I accidentally did it once. It was kind of cool. I was like, oh, a trophy. Sorry. All right, there we go. Searching to Peter. And nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly nighttime. Let's go. All right. And now is the actual best mission in the game. Because look who it is! Game of the year. Anyway. <laughs> we are playing as Venom. But this uh, probably won't last as long as you might think. Yeah, this is uh, sadly going to go by a bit fast. But yeah, enjoy this while you can, because it's going to get very cursed. What is that? Run! Run! Also, when I can, right here, restart checkpoint so I can get the uh, slam ability back. Positioned correctly as well, this ability will kill every one of these guys. Yeah, I missed three of them. That's not too bad, actually. Okay, there we go. Do it again here, 
to get my ability back. And then we also get another ability. I'm just going to use it here. Yep, so you can do that and then you can, if you do another... Okay, like, I'm trying position. to... You just kept parrying. That guy jumped high, by the way. Did you see that? Yeah. That not it? Okay. Does this one do? Very huh? clean. Nope, Less never mind. Clean. There's another one. <laughs> and he was hiding. <laughs> God, this section was so cool. So right after this cutscene, we get another ability, but it's not an L1 ability this time. Now I can pick dudes up. And just... Be a guy with another guy. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah, it deals so much damage, actually. And throwing enemies into, into another enemy will one-shot said enemies. So you can pick up an enemy, throw him into the other enemy, and both of those enemies will die. Or you can just pick up an enemy, throw him into a wall, and that enemy will die. It's like... Yeah, so I can just do that. It's very useful. I think I still think throwing them into another enemy is like faster and like kills more though, personally. But I I what do I know? <laughs> so it's sadly we're almost to the end of this. Yeah. I was gonna say, hope you enjoyed what you saw with Venom because uh, Also I'm just ignoring all of these enemies. Yep. All I have to do is get to the top and get rid of the uh, guys at the top. So these guys right here are going to start pouring out this one door. Slam. They're all gone. Yeah, one egg. Get by one square. And then, and then I can go here. L1 circle for the uh, AOE. And we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So... You are all not prepared for what's about to happen. I hope that you like. I hope that you like Finn. It's very cool. We love him, but you are not prepared for, for this because the first time I saw this, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'll just let it speak for itself. When it happens, yeah. it happens. <laughs> so now I just need to run up to the end of this segment now. Uh, I also noticed something in this one segment. If I just keep moving. So like these guys, for example, like I can look back at them and they just keel over. <laughs> and it's like, Ugh. Venom too spooky for them. I'm gonna wait for these guys to drop down. Pick up the dude and bang. All right, here we go. Yeah. This is where so you are not prepared. <laughs> I'm just not. Yeah, we're just not gonna. So I'm gonna open the map, replay, enjoy. And then that means we can do this. Phase one is done. I told you, you're not prepared for it. God, I was we not prepared have, uh, for it. We have the restart checkpoint on second phase because Craven just uh, goes to the ground. Oh, he tried to go away from me there. But yep, that's the Craven boss fight, just like that. <laughs> that would save us about a minute and a half, probably more. That is... So, another thing, cursed. because it was also technically Peter, um, there's some side effects. So you might have noticed, um... Where's Venom? <laughs>
And then that also causes Peter to be invisible. I can use Oscorp satellite dishes. Oh no. Please be wearing it. was a floating phone. Great. Getting a strong signal that way. Time to move. Then I could if I just do my movement, just like that, I'm gonna fix it by going in and out of the map. This signal is moving around. Gotta still be on That is so good. That's the uh spaghetti. Uh, yep. You missed. <laughs> I missed? Oh. How did I miss? <laughs> I was such a jerk to How did I miss that, actually? Was I just not near the building? <laughs> yeah, you were not near the building. Uh, I thought I was. Maybe I'm just going uh, crazy. Hang in there. Slender spider out to get you, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was, um... That was that. That was stuff that we experimented with a little while ago. That was called Mysterium Storage. And, uh... That is what we have found out how to, how to do it. We have found out how to do... Uh, oh, wow, that was a really good zip. just his badge. We found out how to do to do that recently. That was the, what we like. We reopened the investigation into Mysterium Storage a little bit, but um, yeah, the original version. I was shown the original version by Sans Goku, I believe that person. Yeah. Uh, and I was experimenting with it during the lizard boss fight. And when I experimented with it during the lizard boss fight, I actually managed to deload the final phase of Lizard. Which you may think might be faster, but just the setup alone, like going into it, abandoning it, going back into it, closing, oh, pardon me, closing the game, you know, all of that, like finding time to do that in the open world is a bit slow, you know, like a bit slower, and like we can do the sec, the third phase of list quite quickly anyway, which is a, uh, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe it'll come out to be like a few seconds faster and everyone will start doing that in runs too. But um Yep, everyone is now a symbiote. So Harry is uh Harry is Venom, for those who didn't who didn't know. We did skip that cutscene. Yeah. But uh yes, Harry is Venom and uh we are gonna go and deal with him. Probably. We've gotta stop him. Okay. When you under the influence so yeah, this is a notorious soft lock mission. <laughs> also, Peter did say um the mission name during that last fight. Yep, trouble with her. Nice car. Dude, nice car. What's up, Yankee? There you are. Your mom and I are looking for you. I'm going to restart checkpoint to uh, skip the dialogue, or else I'd have to wait through all of this. Yep. I'd have to wait to scan. So there's a notorious softlock spot that happened in my run, my world record run, as well. Um, four symbiotes are supposed to spawn. Four of them are supposed to spawn, and you can just pull them into the... Yeah, Burke didn't get it. Yeah, so four of them are supposed to spawn, and he can just pull them into the water like this. It's really quick. Uh, there's a there's a chance only one or two of them spawn though, and if you take those out, another one or two of them spawn. So you just take those out, and you think, oh yeah, that's it though. Nope, another one or two spawn. Then another, then another, then another, then another, then another. Okay. Then another. You get the you get the idea. <laughs> the movement right now is a oh, bit sloppy. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much oh, infinite numbers of them spawn and you cannot progress, so you have to restart checkpoint and restarting checkpoint will do the whole like uh, spinning camera thing around again if I remember correctly, and then you just uh, you just scan the things again and then it's like you know Do you think you're going to get the, the, the helicopter thing? Let's see if I can So, sometimes If you go fast, uh, if you go too fast, I think it is Oh, I did get it. You see how he's just stuck on the top there? <laughs> <laughs> it is so cursed. All right. Just have to be a bit lower for that not to happen. Yes, got it. 
Yeah, yeah, now we get... Well, we're gonna be getting a new gadget after this fight. Go for me. Okay, you're just moving over there. Yeah, this is the fastest way to uh, to take care of these guys. Just yeet them into the water; they will insta die. But the, uh, the the only unfortunate downside is the targeting in this game isn't like too yeah. great. So like sometimes you'd be uh, so like you you may have seen it there actually. Like sometimes you pull them into the water and then like you go to pull another guy, but they swap and pull the guy that you've just pulled into the water. So like it's a little bit cursed if like. Because of that. There it is. Yeah. This is definitely the fastest way to deal with them because these guys are tanky. They take a lot of hits. Yeah, especially without the uh, the certain ability that we get later in the in the run. By later, I mean like two missions time actually. So. Uh, where's this last guy? I think Miles is taking him to the netherverse. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, and yeah, they just, um, okay, they're just in the container. The Ignore that. <laughs> take care of these Good they will, um... The yeah, totally that's, that's that. <laughs> uh, you, you, put, you saw there as well, like, Burke is punching him a little bit. That takes a lot of time because they don't take damage because for some reason symbiotes are made out of like indestructible metal. Well, except for like, except for a type of symbiote that's coming up right now. Yeah, I did forget about those. That so there's the different colored symbiotes. These green ones, um, you can just web them, or if I can get one, you could charge jump and ground slam, and it gets rid of them as well all of them in the air and like so many of them spawn here so you can just do that a few times and just like i don't know which ones are the take the longest to kill uh oh that was um something that was, that was supposed to be a unique animation but like it was a bit bug there's gotta be a central nerve somewhere yeah we're gonna need time to sync up how much time does it- Alright, now we have um, a two-minute <laughs> auto-scroller, basically. Oh, you uh, skipped a the dialogue there, too. I did? Yeah. So there's this dialogue there, like, um, oh, the, like, we need to find, like, more of it, or more of the nerves, or whatever. And then uh, they go, like, whoa, what is that? And it's like, you think not a single sonic blast wouldn't kill, wouldn't do anything against that, but could we do multiple? And then Miles goes, yeah, but they need time to sync up. And what you got there was, yeah, but they just need time to sync up. So you skip like a whole four or five lines of dialogue. So it was really, really nice. I think it depends on how fast you can get though. Yeah, even even there, just seeing these yellow symbiotes, just punching them a whole bunch. Just look how uh, long that takes to kill them. Until Miles gets a double takedown. With yeah, him, so but, that's yeah, four hits, three. five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. That's ten hits. That takes, with, yeah, uh, takes far too long. <laughs> with 140% damage. Unfortunately, it takes a while. So, best to, to not punch them and use finishes, use abilities, use gadgets, yeah. things like that, you know. Yeah, also with the green dudes, uh, just one web grabber around a lot of them just also gets rid of them. Yeah, the green dudes are kind of a... Well, they're, so easy. they're really easy to take down, but the uh, the thing is you can't punch them, so you have to use gadgets on them. I'm actually going to use that new gadget, Sonic Burst. So, there is another gadget, which was Concussion Burst. And that actually gets upgraded to the Sonic Burst, but because I didn't buy it, I just have Sonic, Sonic Burst, Burst now. Burst immediately, yeah. Yeah, Berg's gonna uh, save some of his abilities now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I used the L1 square by uh, that, accident That would be unfortunate for the next uh, mission, but yeah. So, 
we're gonna set up another glitch. And it's a very cool glitch. Well, I'm looking for Harry. I should check in on some other things. We like the cool glitch. Just gonna start heading over to where the next mission is. And I'm gonna set up a Go web up. line here. Yeah. Mr. Osborne, are you okay? I'm worried about You'll that. see why this is important now. I'm also gonna go to skills. Do you have ultimate assist? I don't remember if you bought it. I have four, I have enough. Yeah. Just just making sure, like Yeah. He's <laughs> Those are the last skills I'm getting. Right yeah. I just wanted to make sure he didn't like buy anything else without getting that first, you know. I knew something My mistake. Off, I was just happy he was back. Yeah, we well, we like to stay about I like to stay personally about forty meters away from this. You'll see what we what we're about to do. I appreciate it, Peter. The music in this section's really cool too. I really like like the, the somber piano, like the do, you know, it's like oh Well done, composer. Very, very cool. Oh, that was a crime, not the mission. I thought that was a mission for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what this could be. Yeah, okay. Now, for those who don't know, this mission is uh, you're supposed to be Peter for this mission, right? So we've decided we don't really want to play this mission as Peter. Ah, uh, can't swap characters. I'm gonna have to checkpoint it. And then abandon. And uh, sometimes it just doesn't want to do it. Yeah. I think you were too close to it. Maybe try standing a little further back. From there, from the umbrella. But the idea is, I may have spoiled it a little bit, but we don't really want to play this mission as Peter. So there's a little thing that we can do with this web line. So we shoot the web line. Might be too far. Nap. Yeah, just wait for a second. Should be good, I think. Now. Yep, and guess what? We're miles. No so now. Instead of doing this mission as Peter, we can do this mission as Miles. And you may be wondering why we may want to do a certain mission as Miles. Well, for those who don't know, this mission is a boss fight. And as we demonstrated before, there's a certain way to, to do the boss fights. You know, like there's, there's a certain quick way to do boss fights if you have Miles. He's really hurting. And that is what we exactly what we're gonna do. We're going to use Miles to do this. Also, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look really weird right now because Peter's dialogue is going through Miles. Also, Miles just has Peter's phone. <laughs> Harry, what the hell? It looks very cool in this next cutscene, though. I wish I should say. Oh yeah, I'll have it. For like a tiny bit on there. If it's important, just, you know, next. Another level up. Please be okay. Nice. Spider-Man. How are you feeling? Anxious? Panicked? I meant uh physical symptoms. Soreness? So um it's not just miles that we're gonna be using for uh for this next boss fight, there actually is an out of bounds we can do. Collective consciousness. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll have this play for a tiny bit. You got the Miles suit, but it's Peter in there. How cool does that look, by the way? It looks so <laughs> cool. Like, look at that. He's just chilling. <laughs> I'm sorry. And now the boss fight. So you may be, uh, you may uh, ask why we would do 
uh, this boss fight is Miles, because Miles deals a whole bunch of damage. Burke doesn't currently have Venom Punch, so he can't really do Venom Punch, but Venom Punch deals a lot of damage. Do you not have a used finisher like a little earlier and built it up again? Or... I'm just trying to be safe right now. So yeah, there's Venom Punch, look at all that damage. Bang, and she... yep. We're waiting for second phase to do the funny thing. So, okay. there you go, there's the second She's phase. She's one hit. Now it's into the second phase, and then remember what we did to Martin Lee, right? So, finisher, there goes a quarter of a health bar. Mega Venom Blast, there goes another quarter of a health bar. Also, that looks very finish. weird. There goes another quarter of a health bar, then you can maybe double Venom Dash? Yep, and then that's basically the whole health bar right there. Yep, that's the whole bot that fights. <laughs> now it's just a little bit of this fight. Gonna pull her in. Aim this way. I almost have a finisher again. There we go. Big damage. Nice. Bang. Feels so much. Playing as Miles in this particular mission is a glitch. He is supposed to be Peter in this mission, but playing as Okay, I just chucked her there she... out. There she goes. She's also Venom stunned, so you're gonna have to like pull her back in, yeah. Very nice. And now the uh we don't really feel like playing the fourth phase of the mission of the fight, so we're just gonna go through this really quick. Okay, he's like not wanting to There we go. There you go. And off we go to the stratosphere. Actually the high school, but you know. No! You aren't! So I'm just gonna sit here, and then if we watch the health bar, three, two, one. Now, hey, <laughs> ta-da! We have successfully deloaded the boss. Go us. <laughs> So now we have to go all the way down to Financial District, but you might have already noticed I'm going north instead of south. That's because I can get rid of this dialogue by going to a symbiote nest. You think this is Harry? It has to be. I just saw him in Queens. Yep, so entering this nest cancels the dialogue, and by canceling the dialogue, we can just fast travel to the edge of uh, Greenwich. Trying to go the other way, game. There we go. She's okay. She broke out of it. Luckily, faster than I did. Connors thinks I had the suit on too long, and now some of it is left inside of me. You really meant it when you. Yeah, this is a this is a really cool mission. We're gonna unlock some cool things with this mission, actually. No sign of Harry. He has to be here. Can't you tell me there are a bunch of civilians trapped inside? I'm gonna get rid of a couple of them and then move up. I think you have to anyway. I don't know if the thing actually spawns if you. I could be completely wrong. Yeah, this is another instance of the game where it just sends the army of Gondor at you. Like, I couldn't think of an army. That'd be a. They just send an army at you. There's a lot of people. Oh, okay, just dodge my swing kick. <laughs> yeah, does anyone actually know the law of Scream? I don't fully know the law. I don't fully know Scream as a character. I know MJ's not the original host. There are a lot of symbiotes in the, uh, in the comics. Yeah. There's so many. <laughs> that ladder just hit that symbiote. <laughs> it fell down. That was comedic effect. <laughs> All clear. Let's 
get him out of there. Hello, Martin Lee. Where did you come from? <laughs> so, at this moment, uh, Peter still had the symbiote, like part of the symbiote with him. So, uh, it's kind of reactivated at the moment. And Miles and Martin Lee are inside of his consciousness, trying to get rid of it. I still think it's pretty cool though, that they, they actually, yeah, they actually um, included Scream in this though, right? Like, I'd love to see, in DLC for this game, I'd love to see more, like, symbiote offsprings, like, Toxin. There's the theory, if you've played the game, there's the theory of a certain one. God, there's uh, the Carnage theory, but... I I'd love to see a fair few. Uh, okay, that web grabber just was super delayed, and it only grabbed one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this section is used to build up a lot of uh, Mega Venom Blast as well. So with Ultimate Assist and Mega, Mega, Mega Venom Blast Recharge, you can pretty much exactly like that, you can build it up incredibly yeah, like, quickly. I already have it again, so I'm just use it again. So you just use it in the middle of the room again, yeah, all of them just And then Reverse die Flux, and, and then that's that plate. Symbiote. He killed them all. The problem solved. That's not what Pete thinks. No. So they're crawling here. Feels. There we go. Villains. Nice. That? Me. You caused. Yes, pain. there's Noll as well. <laughs> I will spend. Noll the symbiote god. Kind of already hinted at, because uh, if you pay attention to what the symbiotes look like, they have the um, spiral on their yeah. forehead. Yeah, they have um, his logo, I guess. Well, not his logo, but like, yeah, they have his um, this symbol on his, on his head, yeah. He's, uh, I can't remember, did he create the Necrosword? Yeah, Null, Null, or whoever it is, right? He would create, he, I'm pretty sure he created the Necrosword and beheaded nowhere, right? Built my life around this place. This will probably be the that's, uh, that's what I, what I, that's all I knew about him, really. The heat. He did that. Why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. God, the symbiote's they're so cool. Like, oh, so, I don't know what this perch point is, but it's just clear this out. We just might be able to save him. I don't know. Yeah, uh, you can build up your, with a lot of finishes and a lot of like fighting here, you can build up your Mega Venom Blast so quickly. You can, u I've used this, I've used it like five times in this fight. Oh, pardon me. Five times in this fight. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. I'm going to wait to use it until a bunch of them show up. I'll just do it here. Yeah, it can it can deal a lot of damage to them, and then it'll force the next few to spawn. So you can then just use a finisher, get gets it like a quarter of the way back into a finisher. We'll get it just over halfway, you know, and then just pull them in, reverse flux, you know, just. There's a lot of things you can do, and it's basically up again already. So what you can do, you can just do it again in the fight if you so desire, you know, just. Uh, bonk. <laughs> it's Basically, almost, almost have it. Yep. I am gonna save it though. Understood. I think these are the only two left anyway. Yeah. Okay, I just cancelled my um, zip.
Now we're done within uh, Peter's consciousness. And you may ask, what did that do? Like, what was the point of that? Yeah, you removed the symbiote. What happens now? Yeah, if you're also kind of familiar with comics, this makes sense. Hello, Anti-Venom. <laughs> this is the e the most OP thing in the game. Uh, why not? <laughs> Miles, Miles comes first. But, uh, this is very OP, as uh, a lot of the symbiotes take, like, four hits. Well, as we discussed before, ten hits to kill the, one of the yellow ones. You put, apply a tiny bit of anti-venom to them. They die so incredibly quickly. There you go. Very nice. And then instead of Yank, we get Tempest now, which does that. Yep. Corrals everyone into an area and it will one-shot every symbiote around you. It is like the greatest ability ever. <laughs> The symbiotes are now a lot easier to deal with as Peter, but as Miles, they're a bit like, they're still a bit annoying. Okay, come on. Alright, so we got a mini boss here, but all I'm gonna do is go into Surge. And he's done. Yeah. Yeah, so from the comics, I believe, Eddie Brock uh, interfaces with Martin Lee, and um, some of the some of Lee's powers kind of get messed, mixed up with the symbiote, and he briefly becomes anti-venom, I believe. I don't know much about the comics, believe it or not. Despite being a pretty big Marvel nerd. Ran into a speed bump. I think Miles just saved my life. What, what happened? So now we have um we have three missions left. One of them being a cutscene. <laughs> Which is this one. Yeah. That's incredible. MP Like I can't really I, I'm a movie nerd, not a comic book nerd, you know. I got my byline pulled off that RC. And my landlord notice. Does that mean it means the world is going to get turned into an alien wasteland. So this is like a two-minute wait, I want to say? Yeah, something like that. The feeling's mutual! <laughs> Keep an eye out for Harry. So I'll this is the building I need to be at. Okay, while I look for Harry, I should see what else needs some Spidey help. I'm just going to mess around for a tiny bit. <laughs> You know, I still need to actually do an ultimate playthrough. I haven't done one yet. It's because uh, my first playthrough of this game was on Spectacular, so I didn't really see a like a reason to do ultimate. All right, mission, come on. <laughs> oh, you're over about another minute. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all of them just walking down there, not knowing what's about to happen. <laughs> Do they know? <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> I'm, I'm a pretty big Marvel, like, Marvel, like, movie lore. Like, movie nerd, you know? Marvel movie, Marvel show nerd, you know? I, I, I like that kind of stuff. I should read some of the older comics, though, definitely. I know my uncle loves them. Okay, there we go. And that mission's done. Very nice. <laughs> now and we now enter... the city looks like this. Now we enter Web of Shadows. 
I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these. Yeah. So this is the second to last mission in the game. Which is unfortunate, because I, I would have loved if this game was a lot longer. But for speedrun purposes, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, anti-venom is uh, your best friend against these symbiotes. So usually in the ten hits that it would have taken last time, they're just gone. <laughs> Everyone all right? Just to be safe, I recommend going home as soon as you can. Just wait for the next one. There we go. Those civilians are in trouble. I have to be a yeah. bit careful with movement here because uh just me trying to do air tricks. Uh, sometimes Peter will just um, gravitate towards a symbiote. Yeah, he likes to swing kick because uh, air, air tricks are square, like the square ability, uh, the square button, and uh, the swing kick is also square. I think got a lot of them there. Yeah, you did. That was really clean. That was almost all of them actually. I think that's there's one more, right? Yeah, this this one. Clean. Miles. Now off to Miles. It's the same with um, using the dash, because uh, if you use the dash sometimes, like when there's a symbiote nearby, he will just... Instead of... Uh, oh, yep, instead of that's an example right there. I tried to do an air trick. Yep, just kills all your momentum. Oh, there we go again. Somewhere. Yeah, it's a bit oof. And now is 2 minute 30 auto scroll. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Also, this suit. Oh yeah, the Adidas crossover that they decided to do. <laughs> Countdown begins. But yeah, this is two and a half minutes of just defending. Which is usually fine, but this this one's a bit dull, I am a, yeah. You see how I just tried to punch a green one there and they just uh, dodged it completely. Yeah, dodge just and mutes for a bit. <laughs> I don't mind this, but like... I'll tell you something very sad, right? I used to do at least one run a day of this. I have been for like the past week. It paid off in the long run, I guess, but like... My god, I hate seeing some of these missions now. <laughs> Uh, this this one's just a bit like dull, oh, in my opinion. Yeah, you can kind of go ham on this one, but uh, uh, towards the end, you can kind of go ham on this one. But towards the end, it is probably recommended to have uh, to like save some of your abilities for Pete because, uh, like we've mentioned a few times, the abilities transfer between characters. So. Keeping the cooldown of all the abilities is really nice, especially in the next section with Peter, because it's just a really big fight. Oh, okay. They just jumped up in the air. Okay. <laughs> yep. Only 40 seconds left. Yeah, that guy a couple times so I can do the finisher. I'm just gonna build up focus now. Yep. Me and you think the same, wow. This is exactly what I did in my run last night. Ten more seconds! This better work. Yeah, this one was an Adidas crossover. Very nice. 
This this suit was an Adidas crossover, I believe, so they decided just yeah. to... Oh, so this is a cutscene, but I'm gonna have it play. Still here. Because of uh, uh, this segment here. Uh, if you skip it, you'll be forced to uh, slow walk, but now I'm just jogging. Definitely be faster. Where you Is this what happens when people turn into symbiotes? You are safe here. Everyone you love is safe here. My head. I have to find a way. Can I just say the Venom voice in this game is just yeah, kiss. It is so good. This is like it's such a threatening Venom. This game, like for the Realistically, the little we see of Venom, it is really, really clean. I love it. I love, I love the Venom voice. I love how like brutal this is. How Venom should be. Oh, so another example of the double cutscene there. Yeah, this is how Venom should be. Marvel, make him threatening and evil. Don't make him Tom Hardy. Uh, uh, okay, bro. <laughs> That's not saying Tom Hardy's bad, by the way, it's just the Tom Hardy Venom films. It just shouldn't be what Venom is, you know, it's... They make it very goofy, in my opinion, and I think Venom should be, like, more threatening. Not evil, but, like, more threatening, you know? Because it's kind of just like a buddy cop movie. Okay. You see, you see the anti-venom there as well. Right, we apply anti-venom to some of the symbiotes, and then it's just a four punch, and they die. Anti-venom is definitely your best friend here, but uh, there's it, it's kind of important to save it in places as well because uh, of some of the later fights, or some of the late well, the, the later fights in this mission, rather. I don't like have the so important. Please talk to me. Have to get under ground. Oh, okay. I can't leave these people behind. Just gonna sonic burst. <laughs> Just ran right in front of me. Thank you. <laughs> Just make it a little bit easier. Two behemoths. Just do the same thing. Surge. Dead and dead. Just like that. It's very silly. <laughs> Someone once described it to me as a spider deagle choosing the webs like that. I can't unthink of that. That's hilarious. Okay, I sure. Well, I guess that kind of worked. Yeah, so fun fact, you don't actually have to... Um, Maneuver. Oh, here on... we go. But I know that's not oh, nice. Yeah, fun fact: you don't actually have to do any of the any of the crawling on that, and that's much faster. Your dream, our dream. I'm also just attacking here to be further ahead. I'm here. They should cook more with venom. I think if we're on the topic of movie venom. Like, Movie Venom's cool, I like, like, Lethal Protective Venom and all that, but, like, I think he should also be a frightening villain. Like, show off just how cool the character is and the character design is, you know? And then do all the, the Lethal Protectory stuff, like, once he's actually learned to respect humanity or whatever, you know? Yeah, there's just a big symbiote, like, rush. Does Venom reset your abilities on an exhibition? Uh, I am not sure. I was gonna say, you could probably just go ham in here. Like, uh... Oh yeah, I'll just do the search now. Yeah, but I like to save search for this room because uh, of how ridiculous... Like, look at this. Like, how quick he's getting the abilities back up. Like, he can... It's AoE. I didn't notice that. Yeah, then you just do that, and there's one last guy. That guy. 
<laughs> Not the red guy. <laughs> Harry! Harry, talk to me! Please help us. And we are going to be on our way to the final mission. I'm trying, buddy. I just need that meteorite, okay? Yep, the final mission of the game. So, all the way back, we picked up a story of fast travel. We get to use it here. It's the, the only time in the run. He's using it to transform the city. Guys, look at that. 3,000 meters. It's a bit of a trek, so... Yeah. See you guys at home. That is the ending of the dialogue, and we just do the fast travel. And here we are. <laughs> nice L1 R1 prompt. I have no idea what that's going to. It just looks like it's going to the house down the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, oh, this is the final movie mission. A hey, movie mission. Mission. And guys, meet uh, Resident Evil MJ. Or Ellie from The Last of Us. I'm doing the uh, dodging forward again because I'm forced to walking for right now. She could have made that. Get a headshot in there. So, on different, like on the difficulties, uh, it's a different amount for body shots, but on all difficulties, it's one to the head. Yup. So, I gotta get my uh, shooter skills in here as I'm currently missing all those shots. <laughs> Just gonna say, you used to speedrun Resident Evil, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just that one green guy really ran up to me there. Alrighty. I will respect Insomniac, by the way. They chose to have an MJ mission open the final level of the game. Yeah, I don't, uh, well, not really Spidey related, but I don't really get much of the hate for the current MCU. I do, and I don't, you know, the current MCU stuff. It's a Marvel property, I can talk about MCU. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Like, I, 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 I like some of the stuff, like Loki, the season finale for Loki season two. That was like one of my favorite oh. things I've seen as of recent. Did it? Yeah, blow it up on itself. Its <laughs> nice. Mini boss dead. And that's the end of the uh, MJ segment. Now we have the first half of the final boss. Hello, Venom. I'm not going to say the thing. <laughs> The meme, the Venom meme in this game. If you know, you know. Remember everything we've been through. Oh, I oh. knew he was going to do that. I really like the way he does that, though. He eats you to another arena. <laughs> oh, and now you want... Okay, dude. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was mean. I guess I did damage him with the uh, anti-Venom bomb. Yeah, the idea here is just uh, deal as much damage as possible, use finisher, you know, the, the, the normal shtick for this. Anti-Venom surprisingly deals um, not as much damage as you'd think to Venom. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know how that second one works, but we take those. 
Oh, his voice is just... He's so cool. I'm not the only one in this boat, surely. Right? Come on, Venom voice. Alright, now, phase two. Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a he gets rid of my abilities. So you just, uh, you know... Get him back a bit just by hitting him. And then you web grabber the all the enemies because they're all green symbiotes and they like, they all die really quickly. And then you can just use those. Should mention as well it happened just briefly before. Um, you can well Venom can cancel your ability if he hits you as you're about to cast it. So you that have goes to be for really any careful. boss. That goes yeah. for any boss. Venom is the most like peculiar of them though because he, he just does it a lot. Oh yeah, that's a uh, chip damage, so time to move. Also, that's a waste of uh, ability there. That's unfortunate. It's fine. Lethal protector. Okay, is it anti-venom time? Yeah. Yeah, Is he jumping over here? <laughs> we are playing friendly neighborhood difficulty, for those who don't know. That... Let's do Sonic Burst. That was satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be the end of phase two. Also nice, slightly clipping into the <laughs> speakers here. And Bob. <laughs> also, uh, Venom has wings now. What do you think of that, actually? I've, 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 I've never a few people were like, huh? You know, but... I know a few people actually also really liked it. Like kind of wings, like he's I got like it. devil wings. It's like really cool. Also, air marshal. Well. Yeah. Uh, suit tech, going to damage and equip air marshal, which increases damage uh, when in midair. Okay, I... Did I hit him with the... I don't think I did. I think you missed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, speaking of missing... <laughs> yeah, Miles will deal so much damage. Like, if second phase, if uh, if you're gonna use the yeah. stuff in second phase, yeah. It is ridiculous how much damage Miles can do. Yeah, we're gonna save this finisher for second phase because it's uh, useful. That looks really odd. Alright, final phase of Venom here. Yep. Time does not stop just yet, though. We have to wait a little bit before time stops. Yep, there you go. And then Mega Venom Blast. It doesn't deal as much damage as it did to the likes of Scream, though. Well, Venom it's, the a whole, it's half the boy. health bar. Yeah, Venom's a tanky boy. Also, fun fact, using a web grabber here will pull all of the Sonic things into him. Which is really funny. There's just so much damage. <laughs> it is, it is ridiculous. Oh, I just cancelled my dash. Yeah, he likes to do that. <laughs> I remember how I said earlier, some bosses can cancel your abilities. And then just you, we use finisher? Bro. 
Let me... <laughs> the game is not letting you. There we go. All right, so Bong. we have we have about two minutes of um, QTE stuff to sit through before time is up. Also, um, quite a few skippable cutscenes. I love this. This is so cool. Yeah. This shot is just wah boom. <laughs> we love it. All of the cutscenes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All of these are on different camera changes as well, so it's just like, oh, yeah. what do we skip? How do we skip? I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, like I have to wait for that. And then there's like a couple in a row here. Yeah, there's four. There's three. There's four. Then there's this next one, which is five, and then there's another one, and then it's the end. <laughs> yeah. Alright, time will be coming up. And... Time. Time. <laughs> GG's, but... GG. <laughs> that was... That was a long run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely had a lot of fun, though. But, like, this run is long, but it's super fun. Yeah, for sure. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it, like, <laughs> every day for the past, like... <laughs> <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah, I usually have to wake up early in the morning to do these. Very nice. Yeah. Ugh. I, I assume with runs these long, you just you just go straight through. Yeah. You don't reset. <laughs> you just keep going. Yeah. Well, I was that was that. <laughs> I don't really have anything to add. No, damn. Uh, we have a we have a couple things to show. Oh yes, we do. So I'm just gonna be skipping all the cutscenes now to get to the post game segment. But we somehow kept going. Some we Cataclysm. still have to sit through. Evil. Cataclysm. We are tired. Anxious, stressed, numb. That's something we can Lost talk about as well, actually. So, for those who don't really know, the, some of the cutscenes that we skipped here are um, set up for Goblin. And I think he's going to pop up in Spidey 3. Because I know they want to do one big final Spider-Man game, but I don't know if they'll have the right to, you know? Depends what Sony say. Okay, uh, best part, we get to listen to Otto say the final chapter. Yeah, he's writing the plot for Spider-Man <laughs> 3 right now. <laughs> the best song in the credits too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So. Can't open the well. app right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to yeah, swap the Peter right now. The prompt is probably stopping you there, yeah. Ta da What's up, Nate? So, um, for the first thing, uh, in post-game, you get your, uh, like, you get the symbiote suit back that you can wear. Very cool. And there are these symbiote nests. I'll go to the one in Astoria to show this off. 
can remember how to do it is the question. Oh, so, there's one thing, actually. Okay, go on. Do this, do this. So I'm just going to start the symbiote nest. Clear it out. And then, um... For some odd reason that we don't know, Let's clean this place up. Uh, when the timer starts, I can go into my suits and I'll just equip the black suit. And it's done. I don't have to wait two minutes. Yes. That's going to be a strat for Honda, for sure. And we're completed a nest. Yay! <laughs> so I'll also get to another one. Because uh, there is, um, that's one way to do it, but there is um, another method. I prefer this method. <laughs> I'm just going to have to. Do oh, actually, because I'm up in Astoria, I might as well show this little thing off. I almost forgot about this. I don't know what it is, actually. <laughs> Pretty sure you've seen it before. Probably. I've seen many things before, but I uh, don't should remember be, it all. Should be around here. Should be around here somewhere. I actually marked it right on the dot. Um I can just oh, get on this I can just get on this bike. And just go for a little ride. But um, there's only a certain distance I can go before the bike despawns. It's funny seeing this with Venom, actually. They patched it, but there's a way you can... Um, there used to be a way you can free roam as Venom. And just <laughs> seeing him on this bike is the most <laughs> cursed thing you've ever seen in your life. Should we do the Howard mission? So yeah, the there Howard we go. Mission? The uh, the bike is gone. Sag. Rip bike. Uh, is it? Yeah, I can just keep going west. West to the nest. That is right over there. That we can show off. I have two things in mind. Ah, okay, okay. So for the other method, uh, you don't need to be in the suits menu at all. Uh, I can also just use the photo mode. Now this method is cool. I like this method. This is the method I originally like learned how to do, Another and then mist. like turns out you can only use the blade. It only works with the black suit because the black suit lags the game a little bit, like changing into it. it and I think that's yeah. what's causing it to. So timer starts. I'm just gonna go into photo mode and just. Go to like either the symbiote or black suit, exit, and it's done. Mm -hmm. Finally. I love the way this glitch is still in the game. The Alright, for another thing, you might have heard Recon talk about um moon gravity. Ah, okay. So uh I'll try to explain it as I get over there. I'm going to be heading to Oscorp Tower, because it is high enough for us. For some reason, at a certain height, uh, you can do infinite air tricks. So there's Oscorp Tower. Okay. You could do it on any of these uh, poles here, but I guess the higher the better. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to zip, dodge out, and then just hold air trick. And then there we go. I'm just floating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just uh, I found this by complete accident during a run. <laughs> <laughs> Spidey just wants to uh, go to space, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, and actually, since I'm up here, just pull out the Rubik's Cube. Oh, building. <laughs> yeah, the building kind of messed with it. Spider that's Noir doing the Rubik's Cube is the best. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fantastic animation. 
So if you're actually, um, if you have that animation go on for long enough, he will actually solve it. That's amazing. But yes, Spider-Man 2. Very uh, good. one more thing if I could try to do it. I think Recon already knows what I'm going to be attempting here. No, you're not, are you? You, do you need to change your shortcuts? Or are you going to do it like... Sometimes it doesn't work, but what I'm trying to do here is um, sometimes when turning corners, um, Pete will spaz out. I'm just going to use the 30% game speed to see if that actually helps. I think it does. <laughs> it, is, um, it is very it is, inconsistent. Yeah, very, very inconsistent, which is why we don't do it. This works in the other two Spidey games as well. But also for those games, it is inconsistent. But you can see I'm still like getting speed a tiny bit. That was kind of one right there. Yeah, uh, you can go so far with it though. You need you need a lot. You're get you're getting a kinda. Yeah, uh, you can get launched all the way off the map with this. Even if you do get it, the distance you get from it is random. So it's random getting the trick, and it's random for the distance. So like I I just can't get a good one right now. What if it's the side I'm going on? Just go to the other side, see if that works. Okay, maybe a couple more tries here. Ooh. I guess we can we can count that. But I could probably just like You could shoot from like here. You'll get um put down here. And then uh, you'll be shot all the way up to Harlem if you can get like a really good one. Yep, that is an eagle launch. <laughs> they are very inconsistent, but they are very good. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? Hmm. You know, I will, um, I'll do the whole yeah. Rubik's Cube animation. I'll do the Rubik's Cube animation to send us off here. You have enough for the Spider Noir, so you can do it in that one. <laughs> I don't think I have enough for Spider Noir, but I can check. Sag. I do not. I need one city token. I mean, I could nice. act. You know what? Where is a photo up? <laughs> I'll just get this one in Chinatown. So you have to do it with Nicholas Cage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm scared. Sure. It's perfect. <laughs> just ruin that chess game real quick. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna head back to uh, financial district. Yeah. Because it is one of the tallest buildings here. Oh, I thought of something else too. I can do it down here. So they um in the most recent patch, Insomniac clipped out. Oh, or clipped out. Uh, took out a way to clip out of bounds that was down here so you would you could literally go into this spot and you would fall through uh i'm pretty sure it's still in 2018 in miles but there is another way of clipping out and that's by being in the water here and you try to zip to a point but you want to back out of it like almost instantly 
So there we go. Now I'm under the map. <laughs> oh, I think I'm too low, but I'm going to try. There's um, something really cool that's stored under the map here. I'm going to have to go to a different spot. Yeah, I'm really low now. I'm just going to... No, Peter. I need to be in uh, in the Midtown area. Where am I? Okay, I'm in financial. Where's the... Uh... Alright, here we go. Noir suit, and then I'll do the Freedom Tower thing, and then show what is under the map that's really sick where okay i'm just need to be over here it's a bit north now all right where am i going insane <laughs> there it is <laughs> it's spawned in <laughs> That thing was invisible. <laughs> so I'll just do it right at the top here. You're gonna do it with the Spider Verse animations. Hey, there it is. And it's solved! Nicholas Cage, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you probably saw it a tiny bit there, but because I was so high up, the animation actually restarted itself. Alright, let's get to the east side of Midtown here. So I can be closer to, I, to uh, what I want to show. I'm going to be clipping onto the map using that water method again. I need to be... I can just go this way. Okay, I need to swap suits again, because that um, low frame rate thing is... <laughs> very odd. Cool, though. Alright, so... You can literally do this if you have the water and a perch point. Nice camera. I think I'm almost getting it, but I'm canceling it. That's it's a bit cool. Yeah, it's a bit finicky. Okay, there we go. Now I'm under. So um, these green tubes are actually the Mysteriums as well. Ah, very cool. They're actually stored right, uh, right under where they are. Okay, come on. I think it's worth buying Spider Drum. You know, in a run, you don't need the two extra skill points. You know, what? you have a good shout there. Uh, Spider Drum. I did not buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> that was like completed there. The Upper East. I went too far. Pretend it should be around here. Unless they took it out in the recent update. I don't think they did. What is it you're looking for? Um, let's see. I think I need to be more down this way. Yeah, I'm not. I am not seeing it. But it was um under the map. Uh, you would have um, 
windows and you could see um, what they had for the pedestrians like inside of all the buildings mm -hmm. and there's oh, like okay. there's like 31 instances that they have but I just cannot find it right now for some reason I know it's in Midtown or at least it's stored under Midtown somewhere Maybe they removed it to improve stability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. Found it. Ah, that's cool. Looks like that took a while to find. I should check it out. Oh yeah, right over here. Also, there's going to be some lighting issues when I get to here. Yeah, here we go. Here's all like the different interiors that they have. And at the top. Alright, I need to get my height again. At the top, they have them numbered. Dang, that's cool. So up here is that's 31. I don't think Insomniac intended us to see this. No, but oh, okay. The lighting is going to be very messy. Trying to get like a good. You can change your air yeah. FOB to like zoom in if you need on photo mode as well. <clears throat> yeah, they just have all the different interiors. Like, it's just a guy. Someone cooking. at the kitchen. <laughs> That's pretty. Uh, like. Oh, there's uh, people in an office there. That's really cool. Like, it's really, it, this is really neat. <laughs> the lighting yeah. changes right now. Or... Well, geez. All right. Very, very <laughs> yeah. cool. I think yeah, that is so much for it for me. Yeah, uh, thank you both so much for uh, being here, for uh, showcasing the game, for commentating it. Uh, do you have any shout-outs you want to do uh, before we get ready for the next run? Uh, just the the entire Spider-Man speedrunning committee in general, and I'm talking all games, not just the Insomniac ones, all of the games. Very cool people. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't have anything else to say, really. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this was an awesome uh, run and a showcase, so thank you both so much. Uh, we are going to get ready for uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, before we do, just a quick reminder, Games on Quick is hiring. If you are a business developer or have experience in recruiting sponsorships and would like to work for GDQ, you can apply at gamesdonequick.com slash jobs. We'll be right back in just a few minutes with Spider-Man Miles Morales. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. We are showcasing uh, some Marvel Spider-Man games today and we are here with uh, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. I didn't screw up the title this time. Go me. <laughs> uh, I'll hand it over and let everybody introduce themselves. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Zojalix. Uh You've probably seen me on here running a lot of the Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, actually, I think that's the only thing I've been on Hotfix for before. Maybe. There might be others. I don't know. I run a lot of games, uh, but most recently, my main big thing has been the Marvel Spider-Man games, uh, thanks to Insomnia porting them over to PC. So, I'm really excited to show off Miles Morales. It actually is a... Aside from the unskippable cutscenes, is honestly gameplay wise my favorite out of the spider-man speed runs so um yeah uh i don't know if recon wants to introduce himself again but just stuck with me again i'm lucky <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we're, we're here all right i will preface as well i am not the most knowledgeable on any percent i did run ng plus quite yeah. a bit so that will be uh, my my go-to. Turn off it, those. 
Yeah, so honestly, a lot of the strats for any percent in New Game Plus are pretty similar. The biggest difference is we don't have... Um, we don't have... Uh, gravity gravity well i think is what it's called um which helps a lot for crowd control but honestly in this game there's still a lot of things that you can do to negate it anyways all right so we're gonna go ahead jump in right away just because uh we're gonna be starting off with a like two and a half minute unskippable cutscene, and we Wait, can start talking about music? the run when we get in yeah, is that the one with copyright music as well? Yes, so we will need yeah. to start with these game audio muted. So just a heads up on that, Ray, uh, because we don't want GDQ to get D DMCA'd, because that would not be good. That would be unfortunate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Ray, if you're ready. I think we're all good. Yep, we're all, yep, we're all, all right. set. Perfect, so we'll get started here in three, two, one, go. So how we're going to immediately differ from any percent is I'm going to go immediately into my settings and I'm going to shortcut bind uh, air launcher to um, air launcher slash swing kick to my left on my D pad, which right away is going. It's going to make no sense during this cutscene, um, but what it will be doing is it will allow us to do the main movement in this category, which is called bunny hopping. And thankfully, we have this cutscene for me to be able to explain it because there's a lot. So I it's my don't trust the grip I'm doing when it's backwards. But basically, I have it here on my D-pad to bind to do my swing kick. Well, if I get to the right elevation over the street, I will hit D-pad and swing and jump to swing kick in this like very specific rhythm. I don't even know how well it's showing up on there, but it's. And then I will be moving using the sticks. So it looks kind of scuffed like this. Uh, don't hold your wrist at this angle. That's not healthy. Um, but it will allow us to go absurdly fast. Um, and you will see that once we get through this cutscene. It is good such bunny a fantastic... Bunny hopping is honestly so good. Um and Recon, why wasn't it? Why isn't it a thing in Spider Man Two? They changed the physics of how the swing kick works, I believe. So it didn't act. It doesn't actually do the same thing. It's kind of oh. confusing. I don't. I don't know the exact reasoning around it, but it, it doesn't work the same way as it does in this game. So we can't chain multiple of them together. Like it only. It only like. I don't know. It's. I'm not knowledgeable on that. But yeah, it's weird that it doesn't. I guess it's it's like it, instead of chaining them together, it forces you to only do one instead. Oh, right, so. okay. Fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Plus two, I think just with the way that uh, Spider-Man 2, like just with how fast you can already go in that run, uh, yeah. it, it really doesn't that, anyway. even matter <laughs> too much. Um, so yeah, we're going to actually be getting into the game here soon. Uh, Miles is getting asked by Peter to go and help with... Oh, my game is kind of stuttering a little bit. That's okay. It will fix itself. Um, prison convoy. Hey. But he is going to help with the prison convoy, which follows the like end of 2018, where um, Doc Ock uh, caused a prison riot to happen as a distraction for the city and um so we're gonna go and help out spider-man by getting over here under the street and we're gonna run into a car <laughs> yeah. and a stoplight okay uh, good come, old on. come on miles come on and we're off oh the pt and there are a lot here already getting ptsd let's go there are a lot of so while bunny hopping there are a lot of like big trucks that can get There's in the way right like there. yeah that so you kind of have to be very careful so you don't lose like all of your momentum but that's about how that's gonna work right away uh 
Then we're just gonna head on up to this mission here. And sit and for another cutscene. <laughs> oh, I'll get used to these. <laughs> it, it's it's great. So one of the things that we did as a community, uh, this is actually long before I even joined the community, um, is since there are so many unskippable cutscenes, we were more interested in how much time you had where you're actually playing the video game versus not playing the video game. And, oh, hey, we can go ahead and unmute. I don't know if I actually mentioned that, but we are free from DMCA. Um, and so when you are... So the community times the game by removing the unskippable cutscenes from the final time, which is interesting because the run is... The any percent run is about two and a half hours, and the in-game time, which is time without the unskippable cutscenes, is about an hour and 35 minutes something like that so you're looking at at least half of this run being unskippable cutscenes which for a lot of people they don't really like it but honestly it really doesn't even affect like affect me too much because i just have crazy adhd and i can use the unskippable cutscenes to like talk to people or sometimes i'll go and do other random shenanigans that I think of because that's just what my brain wants me to do. Yeah, try running this game for multiple hours every single day with these unskippable cutscenes. That was what put me off it originally. Uh, it was that's like a whole fair. month of just... I, I just went for a whole month of playing the game every single day because I wanted to get the world record. And I was very close. I was within two minutes, but I gave up. And now it's like five minutes faster than my PB, so I just that was nah, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> no, that's fair. I I really like this game as like a um I'll run this game like doing like one no reset run a week or something like that feel is like super fun to do. Um maybe at some point I'll join Burke in the hundred percent is just the best category to play because he will swear by that. Um, oh, I can tell you exactly why you would swear by that. Uh, you can play the game for an extra hour. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, and so the cutscenes feel a lot more like a break. Yeah. So we're back here I, doing combat. Um, I should uh, I should say here as well. Uh, it, this is very different to NG Plus because NG Plus you'd you have a you have a uh, gadget called the gravity well. You just throw it into those dudes and then just do a venom slam, which will just kill all of them immediately. So combat is going to be much different for throughout the, whole, the entirety of this run, yeah. which is uh, very, very cool. Nice to see this is still a thing, though. <laughs> I like yeah. this. So for some reason, going up here on this building skips a whole bunch of dialogue, which is the only thing that actually matters for this mission, for this part of the mission is just getting all of the dialogue to go through. So we're just waiting for uh, Spider-Man to ask Rhino what his favorite holiday music is. Yep. And then we can go down. And we're gonna hit this guy a few times. Cause we don't want, so basically we're like waiting for- Wow, just wow. And then wow, just oh. wow. and. Then we're gonna hit this guy again, and that immediately yep. moves us on. It's the same in NG Plus. That that's the one thing I knew. I knew that. I knew that from NG Plus. Uh, yeah. There are about on PS5 current patch. I think there's about 52 minutes of unskippables, if I'm not yep. mistaken. Yeah, and it's the same on PC, which is what I'm playing on since yeah. I don't have a PS5. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sad. I wish I had a PS5, because then I would definitely be on the Spider-Man 2 train right now. But Join us. <laughs> I, I mean, if somebody wants to just give me a PS5, I won't complain, but I don't think anybody would do that. <laughs> so normally this section here, this Rhino Chase, the game would trick you into kind of believing that it's an auto-scroller, but you can actually like get ahead of Rhino through uh, bunny hopping. So, oh, hello. Just gonna, once I get around this corner, we'll start the actual bunny hopping because we can just get 
a lot of speed across Central Park here and get stuck on a newspaper thing. Very important that you have to. <laughs> and the newspaper I learned that, will save you time. Yeah. And I learned that hitting that uh, dodge thing is actually required. If you go too fast but don't hit that dodge prompt, it like if you hit the trigger but you don't hit that dodge prompt, then it won't advance to this section. Strange. <laughs> and you also can't go too fast, otherwise the game will soft lock. It but we already have like an insomniac game, all right? <laughs> yeah, but we already avoided the soft lock. Insomniac logo. And yeah, um, so what we've got here is we're gonna save a quick baby. So this section here isn't technically a cutscene. It's a quick time event, but before the run, we went into the accessibility settings and turned on QTE autocomplete. It's the same thing as same thing that you did uh, Burke did in Spider-Man 2. It makes it where all these quick time events just get completed instantly, and so we don't have to worry about. Uh, actually happen to be good at quick time events. Also, everybody say hi to J. Jonah Jameson and wish him a happy holidays. Um, hi, as Jonah. you can see, he's looking very festive this year. Very festive. So, hi, Jonah. And bye, Jonah. <laughs> and this God, is I, I love Jonah in these games. This is so funny. It's so good. <laughs> I think the only thing that would make him better is if he was voiced by J.K. Simmons, but oh, the voice 100%. actor for this even still did an incredible job. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and we're yeah. just gonna bunny hop again. Oh! Have you noticed the pattern by any chance? The fastest way to move in this game is the bunny hop. There was a similar movement in this game that I used to, uh, that I used to love for NG Plus, actually. It was, um... Spam, spammy, like, chaining, like, dashes together. Mm -hmm. Like using and the uh, the camouflage to refill my focus bar and then doing that over and over, that was like really fun. Yeah, and in NG+, Plus, if you're not bunny hopping, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Which is really great. It's actually super fun. Um, and honestly, like I highly recommend New Game Plus as a category. Any percent is great because I, I personally, I enjoy any percent more than New Game Plus because I am an RPG speedrunner by nature, so... Any percent has a lot cooler combat options, whereas New Game Plus is just Gravity Well Venom Jump. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, if you really enjoy the movement in terms of speed games, NG Plus has the best movement easily. It is so much fun. And we're going to get a very dramatic uh, rocket launcher dude here. And a lot of the strats for this fight here are going to be just hitting the guys, dipping underneath them, and smacking them again. One of the key things that you got to do in this run is commit to a decision. Even if it's a bad one, as long as you commit to one, you'll be fine. And then here we get our little finisher prompt. It's the same animation as Spidey 2. Nice. And then here, I'm just gonna swing kick this guy off. There was a time I actually did love this run. Oh no. It's all coming back to me. And then we're just gonna take these guys out. Just gotta. The combat will get a lot more interesting once we unlock our Venom abilities. Sure. I swear. So now we're gonna have the Rhino fight here. Uh, Rhino is actually a it's a really easy fight. Um, it doesn't always seem like it would be an easy fight, but it is. Uh, mainly because there's a nice little combo that we can do to take off to take out Rhino quickly, um, and that is going to be Venom Punch, Web Shooters, Venom or Venom Punch, 
combo with our attacks and then uh, web shooters and then Venom Punch again. Sounds very similar to NG Plus. So, so yeah. Yeah, that hasn't really changed at all from NG Plus. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys also have any questions, um, I don't have chat pulled up just because this game kind of, yeah, like, streaming this game kind of keeps, makes my computer, like, push push it to its limits. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, Recon, yeah, you can I go ahead and ask. Up, yeah. yeah, so I can answer as many questions as possible. Um, so, this is Venom Punch. We have it now, and we're going to punch him. Get this little uh, tutorial dialogue, and we're just gonna use our web shooters. And also, there's the uh, hundred combo. So if you guys have been struggling to get the hundred combo uh, achievement, you can get it pretty easily by doing this fight, doing the speedrun strat for this fight. Hmm. So it's nice and simple here. Um, Okay. We're just going to do this again after Rhino really does a number on us, like, ow. Yeah, uh, that would have hurt. Yeah. Like his and, spine is broken. Oh, just just a little bit. And also, like, his poor jacket. Yeah, for sure, man. He's we over here actually... just, like, trying to stay warm, <laughs> and his jacket's just getting absolutely destroyed. Yo, we do actually have a question. Okay, what yeah. is your favorite type of pizza? What is my favorite type of pizza? Ooh. I don't um, know if they were the questions you were expecting, but that is... that is. This question. is definitely not <laughs> a kind of question I was expecting. But hey, I'll take it. I will not complain about a question like that. Um, that's a hard one. Because there's so many pizzas that I enjoy. Um... I would have to say my favorite, my all-time favorite kind of pizza is a meat lover's pizza. Kinda. Mm, okay. I've always very... been a big fan of meat lover's pizza. I'm very basic. I just like a good old margarita, you know, cheese and tomato. Lovely. That doesn't sound basic. Margarita pizzas are not basic at all. Very nice, though. I mean, there's not a lot of many toppings on it. It's just a bit of cheese, a bit of tomato wow, in there, and just... it's just like... Wow. Chill. Hey, margarita pizzas are good. So this is Simon Krieger. He's definitely not a bad guy. Definitely. He's voiced by Troy Baker. Sorry. Oh, actually? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Actually did us a favor. That's, that's amazing. But yeah, he's, you know, definitely, definitely not a bad guy. Um... So one of the nice things about this run is it starts out like a lot of the unskippable cutscenes will go pretty much all the way up to the time to rally mission, which is which we'll get. I'll, we'll say when we get there, but like after that, the cutscenes really are not nearly as frequent. I noticed. I don't know. Maybe I just zone out so much because usually when if a run gets past time to rally, I get into pretty get high focus zone. mode. Yeah. yeah. I don't really yeah. notice the cutscenes too terribly much. Let's clear out. Yeah, so as you saw in Spider-Man 2, Miles was a very, very decorated Spider-Man at that point, where he, he knew what he was doing. And Miles Morales, this is the game where he needs to figure out what he's doing. Um, and... It's really cool. I love the way that Insomniac did this, where rather than do Peter's origin story as a game, they got to do Miles, like a like a poking at Miles' origin story in 2018, and then actually tell the story in this game, and get to see like how he does as a his own Spider-Man, and then you get Spider-Man 2, which is just very both of them put together, which is yeah. such a cool concept. Okay, so, so Mr. Z uh, Sir Jalex. Yeah. What is the longest combo you have achieved during your time speedrunning this game? Uh, I, uh, I honestly don't know. I don't pay attention to the combos. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, I think at least like 140, maybe more. 
I got a 200 once, I think. You got a 200? I was just, like, dodging everything. It was, like, one of the longer fights in NG+, I think. I was punching everything. I don't remember. It's been a while. My brain like was a thinking, whole like, oh, no, were you running on ultimate? <laughs> no, I'm the cop, no. <laughs> See... Okay, so, uh, Ray, just so you know, there's going to be another chunk of copyrighted audio coming up here, so muting, you can mute the stream at any time. Uh, oh, actually, right now would actually be a really good time to do it. Um, so, in 2018, Ultimate is, like, the best way to run it, easily. 2018 Ultimate is so fun. And then you have Miles Ultimate. Miles Ultimate is just mean, I have done a few attempts at an ultimate run. Uh, I have never actually finished one because it is it is a very, very, very mean run. Yup. <laughs> and it's not it's not great, but one of these days I do want to at least like try it. Oh, here's a little random thing where the dual sense doesn't let you actually get that ability you have to do it keyboard and mouse that's interesting yeah i don't actually run these on pc because i my, my pc doesn't support running these it doesn't like it very much what but interesting your pc doesn't like this these games no not really <laughs> oh it hates right. rift apart trust me oh there you go <laughs> All right, so what we're going to have here is our first spider launch. There's launching in, in the PC version. Also, we actually have an unskippable cutscene, believe it or not. So mm -hmm. no way. what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of focus here. Once we get to Genki here, I'm going to mash alt and enter. So this is forcing the game between full screen and windowed mode, and it launches us. Which, this wasn't the best launch, but that's fine. It was a launch. It's good enough. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, copyright sound should be finished by the time you get to that marker, right? Uh, copyright audio is done, so you can unmute the stream now. We just have the, the dope traversal music is back. <laughs> so, one thing that you'll notice if you watch me run this game in first thing is watching, um, watching me run, uh, hello, we're gonna jump over the rail there. Watch me run 2018 is in 2018, I use visual mods and audio mods just for funsies. In this game, I don't use any mods, um, mainly because, like, they're just this game just has like the vanilla costumes are really cool and the traversal music the traversal music is super sick so like i really don't feel the need to um do a to use any other mods yep fair enough so uh, this is the game teaching us how to do the swing kick. Still the tutorial stuff right there. Yep. Which we're just gonna swing kick these guys. Oops, that was definitely not a swing kick. Go away. Mm -hmm. And then we get this cool uh, disarm whip ability. We're going to be using it. Not at all. Love that. <laughs> And then now we get to combine our air launch, where we air launch, and then you yank enemies. Which is kind of a cool ability, like, for crowd control, but it's not really, like, that useful. But it's very useful in Spider-Man 2. Let me tell you that much. Oh, the Venom Smash, we love it. And so, a lot of this fight is just trying to get rid of enemies quickly. And thankfully, we have like Venom Jump or Venom Punch and Finishers and Swing Kicks to take out enemies. Wait, what? Oh, is the one stuck? Oh, he was what? in the heel. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have never seen that before. Wow. Oh, got another hey, I got a <laughs> take down there. 
another GDQ moment right there. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Never happened before. <laughs> There's money that's never happened before. And we're only 23 minutes into the run. We had one of those in Spidey 2 earlier. <laughs> As I, That doesn't surprise me. I would have been very shocked if you didn't have a that's never happened before moment. Yeah. But here's a question that I don't actually fully understand. However, I think I do. Which Spider-Man is the best Spider-Man? Now, is that referring to, like, the character or, like, the games, for example, you know? So I don't... Ooh, actually, yeah. I don't actually know that one. That is an important distinction. Um, by games, my personal favorite Spider-Man game is 2018. Um... In terms of Spider-Men, like which one is the best Spider-Man, uh, I would have to say my personal f Ooh, That's so hard. It's a lot of cool Spider-Men. There's so many. Oh, hi, garbage truck. <laughs> that's very cool. Uh, I want Venom Jump. Venom Jump, very nice. So Venom Jump is going to be... The, oh, wait, I'm going to answer this question first because I have a lot of time to talk about Venom Jump. Um, oh, man. Oh, gosh. I Miguel O'Hara is pretty cool. I suppose, you know. It, Miguel O'Hara is very cool. But actually, if I really think about it... Oh, oh, wow. That was weird. These bunny hops are not the greatest, but that's fine. Um, I would have to say my personal favorite is... I don't even know his last name, but it's Hobie. It has to be Spider-Punk. Ah, uh, Hobie Bryant. Or well, Hobie Bryant, I think his name is. Yeah. He is amazing. In ATSV as well. Like, oh, very cool. For sure. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, uh, there is one question I do kind of want to ask as well. Is the is this a digital deluxe like scenario where you cannot go under two skill points, or are we? Or is it not like that? Uh, it is. You okay. are not able to use it. I cannot go below. I was actually going to talk about that too. Uh, so. I don't think it's a digital deluxe in this one. It's a. Um, oh, oh, that guy got. Okay, that guy just decided he was ready to get knocked out in one punch, which I won't complain. Um, I already, like, completely lost all train of thought. So, oh, yeah, it's not a pre order bonus. You get two bonus skill points for. Um, just linking your game with the PlayStation Network. Ah, okay. So, even though, like, I don't know if we ever actually outlawed it or not. Well, I know that I just yeah, try yeah. not to go below two skill points just for safety. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not a Miles mod, so I can't, I can't tell you that. <laughs> I'm afraid, but... It would, it would make sense. If uh, if people who don't connect to the PlayStation can't use it, I guess. But I think it's just funny that I did that. Uh, even though I, the only PlayStation console I have ever owned is a PlayStation Two. Oh, based. He was the last <laughs> guy. Okay. That was a quick fight. Well done. That was a very nice fight. So as you can see, Venom win. Jump is a very very strong ability oh it's um, lovely the crowd control in this game is so good yeah because it just it launches enemies up in the air does a decent chunk of damage and uh does a de decent chunk of damage and just launches every single enemy and like suspends them up in the air for a little bit of time as well so enemies just get destroyed with venom jump and it's very nice it's funny because, like, in 2018, if you're playing on any difficult, if you're playing on Friendly Neighborhood, um, your strat is doing, um, is using drones. 
But if you're playing on Miles, your strat is Venom Jump. Venom Jump. <laughs> yeah. So it's like each game kind of has. Well, I don't know. Does, Sp does Spider Man 2 have like a one ability that you use all the time, or is it actually like quite well varied? It's a bit of both, I guess. It's uh. Hmm. I don't. I don't really know. Actually, there's there's some really really strong ability. I can tell you for a fact, the web grabber gadget is the most used thing ever. It is the most overpowered thing I've ever seen in my life. But, uh, oh, fair enough. A lot of the symbiote abilities as well are like pretty darn useful. So uh, yeah, there's there's a fair few, but it is it is quite varied across like what's best to use in what scenario, you know. Oh, for sure. Which I which I really like. Yeah. That, that makes sense. So right now we just got to get the apartment ready for Christmas. Um, so I, I actually have a question for chat. I want to know, are you guys a, I'm going to put my Christmas tree, my Christmas slash holiday tree, whatever you celebrate, if you put up a tree or not, maybe you are somebody who doesn't even put up a tree. Um, but are you somebody who does it like right after Halloween or are you like a, I'm going to wait and do it after Thanksgiving? I feel like this is a very important conversation because it is something that's always talked about is like how how early do you put up your tree if you even put up a tree at all but, oh. but thanksgiving is before halloween oh that's Sorry, true to, that's I'll, I'll true go back to canada now <laughs> oh that i forget that I forget that there that America isn't the only place that celebrates Thanksgiving. I'm so used to just yes. it being such an American thing. <laughs> no, that's totally valid. I mean, for sure. <laughs> no, my family. We are very like first week of December. Tree, you know. You know, we do it quite late. Oh, yeah. Oh, great in. That context, Late in I suppose, most you know. terms. Yeah. I think I, oh, I've i always done mine, like, my mom would always, like, unpack all of the Christmas stuff, like, before Thanksgiving, and so we just have, like, our boxes of Christmas decorations <laughs> all over the place, but we'd never put them up until, like, my mom would start Christmas decorating on Thanksgiving right after Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Like, wow. that's what she would do. We would eat Thanksgiving dinner, and then she would start decorating for Christmas. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. Okay, Mom. <laughs> we have a few uh, varied answers, actually. Okay. Yeah, after Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving. My tree has been up for two years now. Respect. <laughs> respect. That's I respect based. that one. That's very based. <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving is if early, I last minute, I gang. Yes, uh, tree shouldn't go up till after Thanksgiving, no tree, put, put up the lights, then never take them down. Yeah. That actually is a mood. I <laughs> did that one year at college. I put Christmas lights up in my dorm room and then decided, you know what, this is going to be my new uh, um, stream ambiance. It's just Christmas lights in the background. Fair enough. <laughs> so, Miles. Also, look at this, I guys. We had two uh, we had two skippable cutscenes just to go into an unskippable cutscene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, for, for us, uh, we put the lights out, like, you know, like now-ish. Uh, but that's mostly because in, like, two weeks, it's going to be negative, like, 30. Uh, and I don't want to be outside during that. <laughs> No, I get that. There was one year where my dad waited to put the lights up and he actually fell off of his ladder and broke his wrist, so... Ooh. Yeah. It, like, very that much helps. makes sense to do it early. Oh, thank you. So, in this cutscene, what is happening right now is Genki is developing the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app, which I think is used in Spider-Man 2, right? It is indeed, yes. Yeah, so you guys get to see the birth of this. Um... And so we're going to be getting to use the app, and that's how the game kind of like tracks all of your side quests, which is really cool. Um, but for this, we are going to actually be swiping on the um, the my Dual Sense because I run with a PS5 controller because trying to bunny hop up on anything else just seems really freaking hard. <laughs> so we're going to. 
zip over, and then I'm gonna actually open up. Oh, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna open up my settings menu, and I'm gonna bind open the app to my right D-pad, so that way. Uh, you don't have to swipe. So yep, I right there for you. Don't have to worry about swiping unless you're crazy like Rebel Dragon ninety five, and he just swipes. Rebel. Oh, come on. There we go. Game didn't want to skip the cutscene there for a second. Ah, good old Holland trains. So, we got more bunny hopping. It is, seriously, bunny hopping is like the one thing that like really makes this, like, really sets this game apart, and I love it. Oh, it's slightly very, missed time it's there. very cool, but I, I just, you know, seeing, Sp after playing Spider-Man 2, and seeing Spider-Man 2, I couldn't probably never go back to this, this kind of like game anymore. And like the speed you get in Spidey 2 is ridiculous. You know, that's kind of been what I've been hearing from like every single Spider-Man 2 runner. Whoa, that was weird. That looks very cool. <laughs> I, w I mean, I won't complain about like, you know, getting a cool little bounce there. Whoops, I didn't actually want to go up here, but we're going to commit to it. It's like you said, you no, know, commit to the uh, the idea whether it's bad or not. Exactly. The only thing I wish Miles had was a quick way to get down on the ground. So here we're going to restart the cutscene. Uh, a restart checkpoint restart after checkpoint. interacting. This like skips a little thing. And also, that was our first load in this entire game. That's so, impressive. For PC, that's uh, impressive. Yeah, so the only time that there will actually be any loading screens is in, um, uh, is in, um, restarting checkpoints. I don't think there's any, uh, I don't know if there's any cutscenes that we skip that go into a load. I think every single load is masked by, um, a cutscene. Yeah, I've uh, I've never loaded in this game. I don't know PS5. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Recon's are over here, like, huh? What even is a loading screen? I haven't seen one of those <laughs> since like 2015. Uh, I did play the original, the 2018 on PS4, so that was uh, a. That, that, that that's that's got some loads in it. That's got a fair few, yeah, and then. The, the stark contrast, though. I went from 2018 to playing Miles on PS5. I was like, oh my god. Like, there's no loading screens. It's beautiful. And then you played Spidey Remastered and went, oh man. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's so good. What's been really funny is I think there was somebody who ran like a backwards compatible PS4 version of 2018 on PS5. Got some updates. Oh yeah, and it's oh, that, like that, that still has loads. That still has loads. Yeah, like the loads are. I think they're still significantly faster. I could be wrong though. Oh, hello. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Burke used to complain a bit about those on the on PS5. It's like just, just, just run the PS5 version. <laughs> so, this is going to be our little stealth tutorial here. Um, I don't, because I know stealth is definitely not used nearly as much in Spider-Man 2, and it actually isn't even really used that much in this game. But the game is still going to teach us how to how to be stealthy. So we have to do like all of this here. To make no sure one that heard that collapse, by the way. <laughs> like, nope. Nice. Oh, we love it. And now we're going to take this kind of specific route here to hopefully take out enemies without being seen. There's one thing I do appreciate about stealth in Spidey 2, actually, is uh, I mentioned it in Berg's run, but the game is like kind of segmented a little bit. So like enemies will be in on different like rooftops or areas like that. If you kill an enemy on a rooftop, usually like only the people on the rooftop will spot you no one else in the area why why isn't in like this game and 2018 they will uh if you kill an enemy everyone in the area is alerted to you which is uh a bit unfortunate but 
web. Really cool. Yeah. It was re I really like the way they've done stealth in Spidey 2. Isn't it like hardly even used in the run? It can be for a few little like fights. Like a few fights are actually faster to do it in stealth because reinforcement. Every time you get caught, reinforcements will show up in certain areas. So it's faster to do it in stealth so they don't show up. Like there's right. uh, there's one of these side things like a hunter blind would be um would be done completely in stealth optimally because it's uh you can do it within like less than 30 seconds in stealth and then if you get caught you'll you'll have to deal with all the reinforcements and all that and it's oh, that kind of thing yeah 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 so that's a little train puzzle uh clearly it is the most interesting part of the speed run <laughs> Um, obviously the game would be like, ah, oh, here's a hard puzzle, and we're like, what's a hard puzzle? We don't, okay, we don't... We've done this so many times by now. Oh yeah, I have to actually look at the generator first, and then the train will go. Very nice. So, our webs are conductive, you'll see that a few times in the run of conducting electricity with the webs. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, I actually, I think it's kind of a neat little feature to make the... Um, wow, words are hardcore failing me throughout, like, a lot of this. I'm sorry, I passed on my curse. I'm like... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I'll blame you, I'll blame you, sure, that'll work. No, you, that, that's definitely fair, no, you, you, I'll accept that. Cool. So Peter is now just checking in on Miles, making sure he's doing okay. Uh, Miles is not going to talk about the bunny hopping. Um, I don't think he wants Peter to know that he cheats at his web swinging. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we can't do it in Spidey too, because Pete's watching, you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah Burke so wants uh, shout at me for not be hopping this round. This is funny. <laughs> So, yeah, one thing that we'll talk about is story-wise is Peter is overseas. He is helping MJ with a report on the Simkarian Civil War, which if you don't know what Simkaria is, that is the country where Silver Sable is from. Um, yeah, it's part of the uh, DLC from 2018. Yep. And that's part of the Silver Lining DLC, which is actually my personal favorite out of the three DLCs. Um, it's the only DLC I've had a world record in, actually. Fun fact. Oh, look at that. I'm almost there. Yeah. Um, and so he's like, he's going as uh, her photographer. So she's doing, oh, okay. Thanks, dude. So he's going, doing all, or MJ is doing all of the reporting. Oh, shoot. My ultimate... Uh, muscle memory is kicking in. So, one of the things I have to be careful of in this run is uh, because rather than having like a focus bar for our healing, we use our venom meter to heal. So, I have to throughout this run to help maintain my my venom, I want to heal as little as possible. Which, that's part of the reason another reason why ultimate is just a lot harder to run yeah because you have to um, choose whether you want to kill a bunch of enemies or get all your health back after it's depleted in like two bullets yeah and especially like in any percent ultimate where you only have one venom bar at the start oh yeah that sounds pain like new game plus might be a little bit better because you can at least like use one to heal oh i didn't actually have my venom bar full there but we got it full now which means we can venom jump our Venom is so OP in this game. In the Venom the abilities. I forgot about them completely, to be honest. It's been over a year since I've even laid my eyes on this game. And I'm, I'm the one, laid, but... me and Bacon Guy are the ones keeping it alive. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally uh, left my disc for it in, so every time I delete it and then reach to, like uh, load on my PS5 again, it taunts me by re-downloading it automatically. That's hilarious. <laughs> You want to come back, you know you do. It's like, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on, buddy. Ugh, God. Maybe, so, maybe one day. The game is going to teach us how to make suit mods, which is cool. I think I just 
unequipped it, but I don't think it actually makes a difference, so. Uh, actually, we're gonna put it back on. Which so, one is that? Uh, it did just decreases some melee damage. Oh, hello. Ah. So, this is our first forced wait section. Normally, in this, we would there would be some dialogue skips with Rio. We're actually there was a new route that was discovered and some cutscene swaps that were starting to be used. That we actually so we actually don't skip Rio anymore. Oh, interesting. Um, let's open this cache here. We just let her. We just let her talk about her food and then. We ask her questions about the underground and talk about our uncle Aaron, who is also definitely not Prowler. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do, I do remember you. You go to like the building and then you do you, you do the app, right, to skip the dialogue. Yep. Like the tail, you activate a side mission. I think there's something similar in Spidey too, actually. Come to think of it. Maybe there's something similar that we can do. We can activate a side mission and then it will skip dialogue and then we can uh, use the uh, enter a mysterium with it, which is really cool. Oh, that's, that is really cool. So yeah, we're going to be doing, we are going to be doing some dialogue skips, but we are waiting for Finn and to call us. I really hope I didn't overshoot this build. I definitely, nope, here it is. Nope, that's not it. This You're is close. like, I know I'm like right there. Yeah, you're in the right area. I think it's I think it's that one in front of you there. Is this it? No. I don't think it is. It might be that great uh, orange orangey one. Uh I think it's It's weird I know exactly what building you're looking for. <laughs> Even though I've not been there uh... not around this one in a while. I think it's further down south, no? Is it? We will we... find out once we do this dialogue skip. Oh, shoot. Got the camera here, it's a bit scuffed. Because of the dialogue skipping. Oh, I definitely overshot it by a lot. Never, never mind, okay, I was wrong. It goes to show what I know, hey? <laughs> it, th this, because we're looking for, th oh, that, that, there it is. We're looking yeah. for this. It's really hard to actually remember where in the, a oh, I got a turnaround glitch, that's fun. Um. I didn't realize this was Kingdom Hearts 1. Where... Oh, don't <laughs> quit. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's... Uh, all I knew was a red... It was a red building. That's all I knew. Yeah. Man, it was so good to see yeah, then you view the time yeah. capsule. And then you do yep. things. You this is a game telling fast us travel. how yeah. to fast travel. Good time to use this unlimited ride pass. Very nice. And look at this. We get another load. And it's over. <laughs> it's really funny because, like, we run with a load remover in this game, but the loads, I don't even think remove a minute. I It might be, like, around a minute that you save in loads with a load remover. That's hilarious. <laughs> so that shows, like, at least for my PC, which runs this game kind of like a champ. Uh, it struggles sometimes, but... Um, it does do its job. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, there's really not that many loads because they massed all of the loads in cutscenes. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, Insomniac are very smart with that game design. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. I love Insomniac. Please, hire me. <laughs> I have no skills, but hire me anyway. <laughs> we, as a speedrun, I feel like speedrunners should be able to get a job as, like, QA testers. I would love that, honestly. I would. I really would. Because like, speedrunners can just break games. That's what they do. So yep. like, and especially like, I know there have been some speedruns where like the devs will patch out speedrunning tricks. Um, but then there are devs like the uh, Kina Bridge of Spirit, uh, Bridge of Spirits devs, where like there was a there there is a strat that was found. There was a glitch that was found by speedrunners and then the original the devs patched it and then they were like well 
actually, we don't want to do that to speedrunners. So what they did is they, once they patched it, they then patched it again, where it was a lot harder to do that trick accidentally. Is this? Sounds okay, no, that one's not very, cool. Yeah, it sounds very similar to what Insomniac did with Rift Apart. Oh, the loose. I have... I always accidentally spawn in a hollow drone at the start of this fight because for some reason the game just defaults you to them. <laughs> Which is really weird, but, you know, it... Yeah. I suppose I should explain the, uh, the Insomniac thing because it's very similar to what Insomniac did. With, uh, Ooh, uh, no, there was no, no. The, the wrench boost glitch which sends you soaring across the cosmos. <laughs> in that game and uh, it was quite easy for casuals to find so what they did is they patched it out but they loved it so much they actually joined the ratchet and clank speedruns discord and told us exactly how to do it again like That's they were like so okay good. we patched this out just for a casual audience but this is exactly how you do it enjoy <laughs> like i love developers who do that i really do or um there, there was a recent indie game for, uh, called Ravenlock where there was like a bunch of really game-breaking stuff. So they were like, okay, I guess we just have to put in a speedrun mode now because we can't have this in the game, but we can't patch it out for speedrunners. Oh, hey, we're going to launch again here. Heat. We love that. So, yep, just like that. Whee! Oh, I'm going so fast I forced the game to load. <laughs> City loads of fun. I totally forgot about that second launch. Uh, so for those who didn't see the first launch, basically on PC, when you are launching, if you hold Alt and then mash Enter, it forces the game to switch from windowed to full screen mode. And then, and vice versa. So by chaining that, you generate a lot of lag. And the game is like, oh crap, we lagged, so we're going to speed up to try and catch up. So from there, then the... Uh, after doing that, then... Uh, the game then you stops lagging. Fast. But yeah. yeah, then you go fast. Thank you for <laughs> picking up where my brain fumbled. No problem. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I've done such cool launches there. There's the, I don't know if it's possible on PC, but there's the photo mode one. I don't know if you've seen that one at all. I don't think it is actually, because I think that requires like PS5 menu. But uh, yeah, that one was the way I, I did it. I managed to get the launch that landed me directly in the cutscene. Wow. It was ridiculous. I was so proud of me. <laughs> There are so many cool tricks in like every single one of these games. That's why people just need to run these games. They are. They're so cool. Spider-Man 2, especially. Smile. We need more rooms. <laughs> it's, it's very it's very barren right now. Join us. <laughs> they say uh, I think pretty much everybody who's running Spider-Man 2, there might be a f I there might be a few new people, but I think it's mostly just people who have ran 2018 or Miles before. Yeah, no, there's a fair few new ones, a fair few new faces, like uh, Rift Apart Runner, actually. I'm not going to say a good friend of mine, because I've never met the guy. But, uh, like, yeah, I, I, he used to help me a lot with Rift Apart. His name's b -Dud. Dude is actually a legend. b -Dud is... He got really good at Spider-Man 2. Yeah, he set five different world records. <laughs> like... <laughs> He's actually, at this current moment in time, fun little fact here, he is doing a blind 100% run without a oh, round. Oh, jeez. Right this second. That's crazy. Which is very nuts. So this is the bridge section. It's pretty much all a bunch of quick time events. Um, I do love this so, section, actually. It's really cool casually. It is really cool casually. Um, it's This section is really cool because it, it's... I feel like this is like Miles' like big defining moment where he's like, okay, I'm doing like real big things. Also here, this is an auto QTE, but the game still brings the R1 prompts. Because yeah. it can't quite keep up with the autos. Then we can pull this over. Uh, 
I remember all of this. And then, yep, and he pulls them all together, right? Oh, yep. this scene, this scene, Casho, is like so good. I'm pretty this sure I like, played, when I did my casual playthrough of this game, I did it with QTV autocomplete on. Based. And that was because I was already a 2018 runner mm -hmm. by that point, and so... that is the end of that. Welcome to the five-minute unskippable cutscene. Yeah, so this is a five-minute unskippable cutscene. Um, I mean, if we want to do the break now, or we can do it after. Either way, that's going to bring us up to right about the one-hour mark. After, actually, we'll probably do it after, because that'll bring us right up to that one-hour mark. But, yeah, this is... Um, this is the part where Miles starts to realize that Roxon, which is that Simon Krieger guy who I said was definitely not a bad guy. Uh, well, it turns out that the super Roxon security super soldiers are bad guys. Um, they they want to they want to shoot Spider-Man. Um, and we obviously don't want that. Like, he obviously doesn't want to get shot. Um, I don't really know exactly why they didn't like Spider-Man, but they really didn't. What did what did Spidey even do? Was it because of the new form blowing up? Probably. I just I think they just don't like Spidey very much. It seems to be that, the common yeah. theme with most villains. It's true. Where'd he go? And then the camouflage ability. Yep, and this is where the camouflage ability debuts, which is it's a really cool it's it'll be really cool it's really cool in new game plus when you use it because it's how you chain together a lot of the movement you're like venom dash camo take camo off your venom will refill which will allow you to immediately go into another venom dash so you just like go so fast what happened to Roxanne yeah there was one of the more fun parts of this game i will they admit shoot me. They i used to be quite good at it actually I'm not terrible at it, but I don't think I'm fantastic at it either. I know the PC world record holder is like insane at it. I don't know. But I think they chain it together with keyboard and mouse and it might be easier that way in some way, but I don't know, I could be wrong. The PC record holder. Yeah, so obviously this game, if you have a PC and are interested if you don't have a PS5 and are interested in running either this game or 2018 the PC leaderboards are split I highly recommend picking it up um currently right now where I think I am the only active PC runner across both games um my main focus actually right now is getting a sub three hour time in 2018 new game plus I still have a ways to go but I've been doing a lot of practice so if you guys want to watch 2018 new game plus definitely follow me on twitch because I really do I mean I speed run this game a lot um I speed run 2018 a lot if I had a ps5 I'd be speed running spider-man 2 a lot um so also, if you guys are Lord of the Rings nerds, that's also like my big home. I'm actually even planning on starting to hit the lab again in the Two Towers because that game has not had a world record beaten in over a year. And I kind of want to see what more I can do to push that game down. Um, the hardest part, though, is to crack the end of the game, uh, specifically the last level. And uh, I think I'm going to start trying to see what I can figure out there. So... Uh, Definitely, guys, drop me a follow on Twitch. I love I love hanging out with people. I have a very, like, in these, like, marathon performance kind of things, I'm a lot more high energy. I don't know. I Well, I'm a lot more high energy than I am on stream, um, which actually right now I'm a lot more chill than I normally am for most of these kinds of things. Uh, but mm -hmm. I definitely, like, I love just kind of relaxing and playing video games and hanging out with people like that's really the main reason why i stream my speed runs is because i just like hanging out with people oftentimes i'll be sitting in vcs with other runners and yeah, I'm, the, I'm the same it's beautiful it's so fun yeah it's just a way to hang out. oh hey copyrighted audio this is another section yeah you should meet the stream right now who <laughs> oh that was that's close i, I don't even think about it because like... i i like unironically listen to this song all the time so like, I didn't even, like, think about the copyright part of it. But now, Miles is going to be customizing his suit. And you'll see him testing a bunch of different materials to make uh, something work with Venom. 
so that way he doesn't incinerate his clothes. He's practicing the pee thing there as well when he tried to crank on uh, upside down. I think Pete did at the start of the game. Yeah. So actually, I just had a thought because right after this, we're going to have a forced wait. So after that forced wait, we'll take our first break because then we can get through all of this stuff and then we can get right back into gameplay. Because after this point, there's going to be a lot more gameplay and a lot less cutscenes. Ah, I forgot how good this so, song was in this game, actually. It's so good. I had always wondered, like, why I loved this song so much. And then I actually realized I unironically even listened to that artist. <laughs> nice. All right, copyright audio should be finished yep. now. We can unmute the stream now. And so we're going to be just heading over here to this building where our next mission is while listening to uh, the L-shaped building. Pete. The L-shaped building? Did I pass it already? No, it's that one right there that you're on. Well, it's not that building exactly, but it's around that building. That's how I always yes. remembered where the okay. is. No, it's right down here. Yeah, I took a different route I than I normally remember. took, so I was like, oh crap, where am I? <laughs> so, this is Miles' suit. It looks so good. It looks beautiful. Okay. Thanks. And apparently there are six different ways to say, well, seven different words for the word bathroom. Oh, hey, we have skills we can upgrade. I never even know where I normally do this menu. We get floodgate, synaptic breakdown, and energy siphon. And I think those are the last few ones. Oh, no, I'll have to get deep pockets at one point. And I'll have to get a few other things. But that won't be for a while yet, so... Um, so, now? yeah, so actually we can, yeah, we can go to a break right now and then we will, uh, come back and finish up this forced wait. So we'll pause the timer here in three, two, one, pause. So during these longer runs, we like to take these breaks just so everybody can get up, stretch, get some water, anything they need to do. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, if you have missed out on any of our hotfix shows, you can go check them out over at youtube.com slash games done quick. Back in just a few more minutes with, uh, more of the run. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. We are in the middle of a Spider-Man, Miles Morales speedrun. I'll hand it right back over whenever you're ready. All right, so since we're in the middle of a forced wait, we're just going to jump right back in in three, two, one, go. So, uh, yeah, we're we're chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cool. Uh, there's not a b-ball court here, so I can't shoot b-ball outside the school. Um, I, I don't know why the first thing I do is make a, a print, uh, not... Princess Bride, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. How did that? Wow. <laughs> well, it seriously is my curse. I'm hey, so hey. sorry. <laughs> I don't know how my brain went thinking Princess Bride when I was thinking Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but here we are. All right. So basically, at this point, what has been happening is uh, Miles's best friend Finn is the Tinkerer. The Tinkerer is the leader of an organization called the Underground, which are this criminal group that are basically trying to take over and be like uh, another mafia kind of thing in New York. They want to be like the head crime gang. Um, and obviously Spider-Man doesn't like that. But also, the Underground are using this thing called New Form, which is supposed to be this energy source. But... They keep stealing it from Roxxon, and we're trying to figure out exactly why and what exactly is going on. And especially now that Miles has learned that his best friend Finn is the tinkerer, uh, he is like, okay, what What the heck does Finn, why is Finn involved in all of this? Still want him in his new form. Um, and in this video that we're seeing in this wonderful unskippable cutscene, um, the... Uh, they broke ground in Harlem. It is now the I game know. is like showing that, revealing that new form is actually highly volatile and is getting people sick, which is causing them to die. And we obviously don't okay. want that as Spider-Man, so we're gonna we're gonna stop that. 
Your yeah, I'm pretty sure the CEO of Rockstar just Rockstar, Rockstar Roxon <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really care about the about the the fact that everyone's getting sick either. No, so, uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Project will be DOA. And that's uh, that's why Finn is not a very big fan of that man, and uh, she kind of wants to take revenge, you know. Yeah. There is also another reason, but I think that's going up in the later mission. I think that's revealed here that that her brother died. Yeah, her brother died in new form, and then like Simon Krieger was like, pretty sure he talked like in one of the cutscenes. Actually, he talks to him like, "Oh, what are you doing in the reactor? Like, you're an idiot or whatever, right?" And then uh, uh, he dies. Maybe I do know that like Rhino taunts Finn at one point. That's a thing. Um, yeah. I promise, Rick. Yeah. So that's the end of this little section. So you can see Miles is like, oh snap, things went wrong. So we're going to try and get everything that we need to shut Simon down. But oh no, the garage door is opening. <laughs> Miles and this is. Visible our tutorial on how to use camouflage mode so we're gonna go into camo and we're gonna chill up here these guys out can't stop these guys till they calm down they're too alert okay i'm sorry that is an amazing comment by the way i have to i have to repeat this easy mistake to make the ceo of rockstar is a comic book villain as well <laughs> Chad's just being unhinged, man. <laughs> and then we can... That's amazing. The game wants you to use stealth. Obviously, <laughs> Venom no, Jump is slower. much better. Yeah, stealth is slow. Oh, he tried to escape. He tried. All right, so this next mission that we're going to be going into is called uh, Corporate Espionage. And this is a very, very, very famous trick called Aim Clip. Uh, I don't know how I'm not going to be able to. I, Recon, do you know how it works? Because I don't know how well I'm going to be able to explain it. Yes and no. Uh, pretty much sitting on a wall and like aiming in the wall, I believe. And then if you're having enemy smack you like kind of at the right time, uh, Miles gets staggered into the wall and it'll push him in bounds, uh, like out of bounds. Ish. I think that's kind of the how it works. It's it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. So that that's the best I I can do. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's so. What we're going to do is we're going to lure this guy over to this wall here. And we kind of want to wait for him to do this very specific kind of attack. I don't think it's that one. Nope, not that one. Not that one either. Mm -hmm. And oh! Close. Oh, the game tricked me. Yeah, you kind of have to like... Okay. I thought I had it. Not quite. Yeah. There we you go. Kind of, you kind of have to time it really well. Yeah, there you go. Now you're out of bounds. Sip to the bend. You know, grab all the required okay. triggers. Oh, I don't, I don't think I got everything. Uh, I don't Are you know. Missing dialogue? I don't think so. I you actually, I think I might one. be. Because I got to hit this trigger here. We'll find out if we got it here. I think I missed something, but... Nope, we're good. We got it. We got it. Nice. I actually told someone how to do that once on stream. I was very proud of myself. Oh, so I got snacks for the uh, for the movie. So. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, I only hit two of them. Unfortunate. Oh no, I hit three. Oh, I hit everything except the guy who was on the ground. Oh wait, this is actually a skippable cutscene. Hey, look, there's Prowler. Wow. 
It's our uncle. He's very cool. And now we get these remote mines, which are actually super cool gadgets. Oh, these are so useful. Actually, I, lo I love these. Because we can use the remote mines for like very quick group stealth takedowns. And so you get to see that throughout a lot of these stealth sections. Mm -hmm. Like a new form reactor? It's what these schematics say. Yeah. There's, uh, there's one that um, I know about, actually. It's uh, quite late in the game at this point, but... Uh, so you're gonna tell me who's yeah, I, I believe it's Tinker Tailor Spider Spy. That mission. Yep. That, it's used yep. a lot in that one. Which is a reference to a book, I believe. Oh, really? I did not know that. Oh, but the mission name, I, I, I'm not too sure about, um, about what it is, but I heard that like not long ago, but it's... Uh, like, oh, that guy was not hit with that the way he was supposed to be. Uh-oh. That's not good. It's fine. See? Perfectly intended. Nice work. Oh wait, I gotta hit the thing. See, the nice part about this run is like, while there are a lot of different strats for it, like we've said before, there's a lot of just like... It's committing to a decision, even if it's a bad one. So, like, even though, yeah, we didn't get everybody the way we wanted to in that remote, with those remote mines, we were still able to get through that section really quickly. So, I'm still actually really happy with getting that the way that that was in the run. Yeah. Okay, so I have just uh, did a little Google search. It's um, apparently called Tinker Tailor's Soldier Spy as a book. So a Tinker Tailor Spider Spy, you know, it's uh, that's pretty cool. Hi, Just calling to make sure you're not. Uh, yeah. oh. So it was actually um, go on. You, no, I was just no. gonna say we got caught right away, so we're just gonna mm -hmm. venom jump. Oh, that was very unlucky timing. Oh, we should mention as well. These guys now have a uh, venom disabling abilities, so uh, that's very fun. Ah, this mission. Corporate espionage. This is probably, I think, like, the biggest run killer in the entire run, as if this run, oh, like, I, if this I mission fully agree. doesn't go well. I fully agree. I've lost many a run to not getting aim clip before. Not getting aim clip, and then you also have, uh... Why? You got your phone. Now let's leave. Like, the fights, too, in this can be a little awkward, so... Yeah, for sure. Help, and we're just gonna come over here, wait for Prowler to open this up. I don't know why, but my instinct is always to dodge back and forth in a bunch of different places. It's better than standing there doing nothing. Ooh, That's me. true. Doing nothing, I guess, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Ooh, God. Very burpy today, sorry. <laughs> you yeah, so, Miles just absorbed all of the power of this, uh... Uh, rocks on reactor. So as you can see, all of this energy is just like going through him, and it's not very stable. It, no. And then eventually he just. Well, apparently the phone melts, but you don't really see him it melt. Destroys the evidence accidentally, but you know. That's the only evidence that uh, that they needed because it, it, that's uh, Tinkerer's phone, I believe, yep. right? And that's yep. the evidence that the uh, new form killed her brother that they were yeah. going to try and grab, but he <laughs> accidentally melted it with vibes of the reactor. Doing the right so, thing and he lost the evidence. Oops. Yep. So basically, this entire infiltration was for nothing. <laughs> and yeah, you get some cool powers out of it, I guess. Uh, That's definitely not where that remote mine was supposed to go, but it's fine. You can, get, um, you can get gravity well for any percent, right? It's just like much, much later in the game that you get it. 
Yeah, I don't think I actually- I've never actually used it in any percent. Hey, fair enough. Because I know it's a, um, like an NG plus gantry, right? Yeah, it is very, very strong in NG plus. Yeah, it's with, on, with its full upgrades as well, it just pulls in like massive groups of them. So uh, what, what, it, what it does, pretty much, it's as the name implies, it's a gravity well, so it pulls in like a really big range of enemies, so you can just Venom Jump or Mega Venom Blast uh, a lot of enemies together, which deals a lot of damage. Yeah, you just, yeah. Uh, this this fight's pretty simple though, you just kill a bunch of people, wait for the train to come by, and then when it's, oh, uh, when it's done... definitely accidentally threw out a Hollow Drone, but... This might be really remember. weird. Get the wall to chatter after a few more enemies. Right now, and right? we out. There you go. And unskippable, yay. <laughs> this is, I think, the last like major unskippable cutscene, though. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot, and I'm going to be proven wrong, because I'm going to actually be like paying attention to these unskippable cutscenes. Versus well, like when I'm doing runs, I just completely zone out of them and I don't even pay attention yeah, to the fact I, that they're there. There's one that you are forgetting, which is a pretty long one. The cafe one's about three minutes. Oh, three minutes. yep. Yeah. And that's actually uh, the one right after this. It is indeed. You just told me don't take off the mask. Don't tell you, Spider-Man. Yeah, so here Prowler is like, hey, Lie to your friends. Keep secrets. Don't be a nice guy. And Miles is like, uh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, sure. sure, bro. Like you're being stupid now. Because I told her the truth. I told you. So yeah. Um, uh, can you like? I kind of feel bad for Rio in this because like. Your brother-in-law is the Prowler, and your son is Spider-Man. Like, if that's not family drama, I don't know what is. A little bit, yeah. I mean, to be fair, she came to, like, kind of accept it a little bit more in uh, Spidey 2, you know? That's fair. I mean, she kind of accepted it, like, right away. I guess she was just proud of what he was able to do, you know? She's heard of, like, how really cool spider-man is <laughs> yeah so we're in our next forced wait here um i'm going to be grabbing a few other collectibles and um i know i talk like it's really funny playing a, this game where there's snow especially being from minnesota and it's november right now so it's just like horrid foreshadowing to what i have Coming, mm -hmm. what I have to look forward to in like a week. How are you not dead? I love that. Kind of yeah, surprised it hasn't snowed already yet, to be honest. The UK doesn't snow. It doesn't snow in the UK. Actually, it hasn't for a good amount of time. Anytime it snows, it'll never stick either. That's crazy. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It is. It is what it is. Though you know, it's uh. The UK is a very uh, strange country when it comes to weather. Like sometimes it is hot as anything, and then other times it's just, you know, freezing for no reason. So fair enough. Yeah, it, it's it's like never enough. It always rains here as well, so it can never like properly stick. So here, while we're kind of waiting, this little I don't even know what you would call this generator, air conditioning unit, something like that. Uh, Miles treats this little lip here as a wall. So uh we can just wall run up it like this. Yeah, we don't want to listen Why? to the Danicast. <laughs> did you not turn off the Danicast? Oh, I definitely did not turn it off. Uh-huh. I always forget you have to hit it twice. But yeah, Miles just like Goes to walk on up it and it just looks so silly. And now we're just gonna listen to this really freaking good traversal music. Get her to let me in the underground. Hey Miles. You okay? Uh yeah. 
Okay. Oh, I definitely skipped that too early. Dang it. So, yeah, we do these dialogue skips with the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app uh, by opening it, selecting a mission, closing out, opening it again, and... Um, so we go and just, like, do it a bunch. And then we can then get into the mission really quickly. Mm -hmm. And now we have another unskippable cutscene! I was really glad you called. So, if you've watched, like, Pess run this game on PS5, he likes to play Sudoku during the cutscenes. On PC, we don't get that luxury because we cannot tab out of the game. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So, if we tab out of the game, the game pauses. Um, so, we just have to sit and watch the cutscene... Or if, like, what I'm going to start doing if I, like, well, I don't know how much I'm going to be running this, but when I'm doing, like, practice or something, and if I'm, like, in a wait section, I'm just going to set up my laptop and just practice another speed game using my RCA capture card <laughs> off of that. <laughs> I do know that there was some, I think, wasn't there a GDQ run where they were running, like, two Silent Hill games back at, back, really back to back? Where, like, one would be in an unskippable cutscene, so while he was in that long, unskippable cutscene, they were running another game. So they were doing the run at the same time because of that. That is based. It's, yeah, that was this event. It was uh, Silent Hill Downpour, which was... Uh, Homepour? It was Homecoming and Downpour. So they just did both of those back to back. It's so good. Like, the fact that that is what they've done for runs. I love how unique speedrunners have become in the way that they speedrun games. I say this as I'm just doing an any percent speedrun of a game. Like, it's nothing creative about an any percent speedrun. <laughs> but... Um, like I was at, I was at pace this week where, uh, they were running 16 star drum percent. So the guy hooked up a drum set and was running 16 star. Uh, I know that's actually in, is that in this next GDQ or am I wrong? I'm not as familiar with the schedule. I couldn't remember if drum percent was in it or not. I don't know. Let's find out because I have no idea. He was the best. <laughs> Like, there's drum percent, there's, I mean, like, I mean, I've ran a category for Return of the King that we call Second Breakfast, because we play as Mary and Pippin are the only characters you can use, so we decided to name it Second Breakfast. Because... 16... miles. Sorry. Why not? Go oh, go ahead. 16-star drum percent is in the marathon. Okay, cool. It is, like, 11 a.m. Friday. Perfect. So you guys definitely want to watch that run. Uh, obviously, you want to watch like all of AGDQ anyways, because it's going to be a great event, uh, raising money for an, an amazing cause. But yeah, definitely run, uh, you want to check that as, out as well. So what we're going to have coming up here is actually another skip. It's going to be Crane Skip. Um, so at the end of this little walking section where Finn is talking about joining the underground and all that kind of stuff, um, the, basically what happens is we're gonna, we're, we have to like prove how cool we are in order to join the underground. So we're going to, um, use a speeder and skip them. That shows how cool we are. <laughs> yeah, and rather than climb across the entire crane, which you can see here, we're going to skip this whole walk across the crane. And it's actually a really, really, really funny skip. And just watch me fail it because of how much time there is to build up. It's such an easy trick, but it is also so easy to just psych yourself yeah. out to yep, do yep. it. You have to do this. <laughs> uh, I used to get this almost every single time. Like every single time, but then I started actually starting to like try for world record attempts. I never got it again. <laughs> like so, basically, we have to uh, so go funny. down into this corner, and then I hold up and left, and we got it. We just fall, and now we're here. And it just works. <laughs> yep. And then Burke will say, "Oh, why aren't you doing the cool version? There's another version that saves like two additional seconds, but you have to like." drop onto the rail of the crane and it's like so it's like so much harder just for like a two second time save and i'm like no yeah but it looks cool 
How yeah, it does look cool, but like, it's so much extra work just to look cool. <laughs> Oh, we love looking cool. I'm not. I'm not much of a swag strat kind of person. No, oh, I definitely am. If it's pointless, I'll, I'll do it. It's hilarious. See, like there are a bunch of swag strats that I've gone for, but any swag strat that I've learned, I'll like learn it, and then if I don't get it, it's like a massive time loss. Yeah. <laughs> and so That's then I'm the like, I need to stop going for this. That's the trade-off. You do some swag strats, and then you just lose your speedrun. <laughs> like, How many times do I ugh. Explain yeah, one of my one of my favorite swag strats, and this is going to be really funny that this is a game that has one of my favorite swag strats in it, but it's in VeggieTales, Larry Boy, and the Bad Apple. Um, basically what it is, there's a section that we call Mario Simulator, and it's like this 2D section. It's a 2D platforming section. The community just named it Mario Simulator. Um, but, uh, basically what happens at the very end, you do a 2D Indiana Jones and we call it Indiana Jones skip. Uh, but what happens is when the ball starts to fall, you can like jump behind it. So that way you don't have to like sit and wait for it. You can just go behind it, but it is so hard to jump behind it. And if you don't jump behind it, you die losing like 30 to 45 seconds. But it looks so cool if you can get it. <laughs> we love that. Ooh, pardon me. So we're done checking out the underground hideout. Um, that's where we're going to be going as long as I don't get stuck on these guys. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. So yeah, we're trying to join the underground, but we're going to go watch them train. This part's really funny because you can just watch them disappear. See, look. Yep. Whee! They just despawn down there. They just despawn. Boop! Boop! It's so good. Let's see if they keep their secrets downstairs. And then we're going to hop into this vent. Nice. Did you find out where they're hiding the new form? Not yet. But I saw Finn head toward the basement. So I'm gonna try and follow her. Hey. Ah, no, I just remembered what this mission is now. Uh, oh dear. Yes. Yeah, so there's a really, there's a really tricky fight actually that we're gonna be coming up and doing. I'm gonna focus during it. We kind of just let this part kind of speak for itself sometimes. Just curious. It is a really cool fight. So hopefully I can get the stealth part of it down. I normally can't. You've left me to be the entertainment here, oh dear. Um. <laughs> Hey, I have to be a gamer, so like, come on. Yeah, true, I suppose. That's not good. I think I have maintained myself, though. I that was close on my days. Yeah, I think you can do this entire fight stealth. Yep, but I don't have any remote mines for some reason, so we are gonna break stealth now. Oh dear. <laughs> what is going on with like all of my damage? Actually, um, quite a decent chunk of the way into the game now, right? Yeah, we are. We only have about an hour left in the run, so... Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to think. There's this one, then there's... Uh... Okay, yeah, there's... I'm trying to think of all the mission names. So, Underground on the cover is this one, then the next one is... I can't think of the name, but it's the one in the theater. Uh, Curtain Call. Yeah. Curtain Call, that's the one, yeah. And then it's the uh, the Prowler tutorial, which is thick oh, yeah. a lot. Or is that oh, that one's later, right? Uh, it's sorry, what? Thicker than blood. That one's later, right? Yeah, and thicker than this... blood is the Prowler fight. Yeah, and then there's this next the Prowler one next to this one. Oh, well, it's like one after stopping is... the noise or whatever. Hit him. Yeah. Thank you. Something along those lines, Dude, oh. and then after, after So this is that. like a worst case scenario for the fight. All of the enemies have just gotten super spread out. Yeah, so you have to like physically go and find where they are, and then because they're not all right next to each other, for example, you can't just venom jump like each of them, okay. like or yeah. a big group of them. Still no sign of Finn. 
She must have gone somewhere. I read this yeah, and then oh no, it's Tinker Taylor after that one, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. After the prowler. Tinker Taylor is right after the prowler. They also found a bunch of secret And then I think it's thicker than blood after Tinker Taylor. Yeah, yeah, it is. Ficken and Blood, then like real scientists, and then um, Battle for Harlem. Yeah, so we actually don't have that many missions left, oddly enough. All right, is this run blessed? Yeah, we got the barrel. <laughs> so the there's barrel. barrel in this elevator for some reason that we can push around. And if we're really funny, it's a really funny barrel because you can just boop bye. <laughs> It just, <laughs> he's just pushing through the wall. As it goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. Section. And now, well, there's a fight. It's on the skippable in a fight, right? Yep. Yeah. This is where we'll learn our next uh, Venom ability, Venom Dash, uh, which is a really, really, really cool ability. It was used, to, it's used a bit in Spidey too, actually. Really cool. Because this, uh, this ability lets you double dash. Alright, got double dash. Oh. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah, we can uh, we can combo bosses with it. It's like really cool. And to answer that question, no, I do not believe Spider-Man PS4 slash remaster is being speedrun now. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Excuse me. Unfortunately, uh, this is all we had time for today. So it's just these two games. His powers but hey, up. I do run well, Spider-Man Remaster on PC, so if you want to watch that, follow me on Twitch. I'll be actually probably doing some runs of it Monday or Tuesday, so. Very cool. So if you guys want to watch it. What's the funniest thing, actually? My brother in NG Plus, I type in like my description for my NG Plus PB, it says this run is so fun, oh my god. That was the last time I ever ran that category. <laughs> so I've no, see, not touched it at all since. Okay, but Especially like, unironically, one of my guilty pleasures is going through on speedrun.com and seeing like, oh, this run is super fun. We'll probably do more five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's so funny to see those on speedrun.com. I like absolutely love it. I need, power. I need to go delete some of my speedrun.com comments real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I know who to go look up next. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so that sword that we got to pick up and put down, uh, this is what they do. And we can't just, like, hit them. We have to Venom Dash into them in order to actually start attacking them right away. So, I love how, like, lore-wise, Miles is like, Hey, I need to deal with these guys. And then, he just does it. Like, he doesn't, like, think about Venom Dash. Oh, hey, that was a really good fight. Wow. Yeah, that was quickly. Where's the door? There it is. Like the underground are squatting an old fist construction. Ah, the underground caches with the blues. Yep, so that's the game giving us more side stuff to do. And we're gonna very dramatically break out of this place. So that's my next stop. Very cool. Now it's curtain call, yeah. Really curtain call. Yep. So curtain call has a really funky strat in it. Do I remember the strat, let me think. Oh, uh, oh jeez. No, I do not remember the strat. That's when I can fast travel here. We're gonna fast travel here because this gives us a load and it is a little bit faster, uh, as well as it just gets us to the mission right away. Yep. Which is really, really nice. So now the strat that's going to be happening here, there are these generators that we have to shut down. And in order to shut them down, we can't be in like a combat state. So enemies can't be seeing us. So what we have to do is we have to get spotted by enemies, lure them all the way over to the other side of the area, 
and then we can go and uh, shut off the generator. Very nice. So I'm going to kind of focus here for a second while I get it because it can be kind of funky. Kind of funky. Ow. I just got sniped. All right. This is where we're going to do it first. Our generator is over here. So we're going to run over here. Make sure all these guys see me. And then we're going to dip back over here into this corner. And we have to, like, hope that all the enemies cooperate. So I need to wait for these guys to just keep moving. These two guys, those two guys that are up there are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, come yeah, here, I please. often forget, actually, in this game, uh, a lot of the enemies come to you rather than you having to, like, go over to them like it is in 2018. And then I can do that. And I don't have to actually fight all the enemies to take out the generator. That's very cool. Kind of a cool little way to skip that. I didn't remember Mega I... Venom blasting this uh, this area in Energy Blues. Yep. That hasn't changed. <laughs> oh. Very clean. Drain this one, and then we have one more we have to drain. Take out these guys. I'm actually going to take a heal here, because you don't need to Venom. Hi. I'm going to dip venom. over here. <laughs> I'm so like here when I think Venom. Just an Eminem oh, song. I... Fair enough. This is all I was thinking about, like, like Axe 3, Spidey 2. And boom! There we go! That went very clean. I very definitely clean. am happy with that. Well played, sir. Well played. Thank you, thank you. Ow! That was Venom Smash. <laughs> I don't get sniped a thousand- Oh, hello. Wrong buttons. Now it looked cool, you see, so... Yeah, it was a it was a swag strat. <laughs> Maybe there's a staircase. Hey man, I'm thinking. What if you told so, your Spider-Man? This is the theater. Uh, we have do. But I'm also the guy trying to. Uh, okay. Yeah. I already immediately like, once again spaced on everything that I was talking about. We have a quick little puzzle here. So there was that that whole electric. Oh wait, this isn't skippable. Yet. Now it is. <laughs> So, one of the obnoxious things about these electric webs is if you, like, let go of L1 too early, it will just disconnect the entire web, even if you, like, already shot it. We love that. I love how Genki's like, hey, uh, we're gonna make a pros and cons list for everything. It's one way to solve your problems, I suppose. Like, what are the pros and cons of this, you know? Maybe a very, if you're not very good, like, decision making, you know? Pros and cons, you know? Did I miss one? Yeah. Oh, I did miss one. Wow. Yeah, one Marza. <laughs> Whoops. I haven't done that in a long time. Rule of four. Which is weird. Usually the rule of three. <laughs> this is your introduction to Brutes as well, this mission, right? Well, so much for stealth in this section. Normally you would want to like stealth this, but I missed a remote mine and that got me caught. That is not based. <laughs> uh! yeah, remote mines can be a bit. Screwy. There's a sword guy here that's giving me some trouble, so we're just gonna Venom Dash and Remote Mine him. I do really like the Remote Mines, actually. They were, like, such a cool gadget. They're a very cool gadget. We replaced the Opshock and Spidey too a bit. <laughs> It'd be a lot more useful. Oh, there we go. 
like the only gadget we don't like we don't use in Spidey 2. And we use it sometimes, but it's like not as useful, anywhere near as useful as the other ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's a big guy. Group. Yep, they have shields. Shields are spooky. Uh, normally the game wants you to venom punch them, but if you actually just like remote mine them, as you can see, ro remote mine combined with a venom punch takes them out very quickly. Very clean. With two more, yeah. I remember enemy yeah. locations. This that's guy. not a good sign. That's a that's a sign I played this game far too much when I uh, originally like ran it. Experienced speedrunner is what that <laughs> is. No. Yeah, I just knew where uh, like how many enemies spawned when they spawned, how many of the way where they were, you know, like. I keep forgetting which cutscenes are skippable and which ones aren't. Just if, if it's in Miles Morales, assume it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Until I'm like, wait, I don't remember seeing this cutscene at all. So now we're gonna chase the Tinkerer because she has another thing in new form and we don't want her to have that. Tinkerer, stop. Uh, sure. So. Oh, I want to make sure. I'm trying to like, I just tried to do like new game plus movement there. It is the venom dash that you can do there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the that's the move. That's the only thing, probably anything that I, I remember from in this game. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of tricks here. Just so that way I can build up my Venom to use the Venom Dash. Mostly this section is an auto-scroller, so it's not anything too crazy. Um, you can't actually, like, you don't want to go too fast because you will fail the mission. Um, hence why we just kind of stick close to her. There is, like, a launch you can get there, and there's a launch you can get at the start of the mission, but it typically ends up causing more of a mission failure than anything else. Yeah, if you go too far away from her, she will just, like, escape and it's unfortunate. So, launching is probably not the best idea, considering you can go miles and miles, no pun intended, <laughs> away, you know. That took me way too long to figure <laughs> out what kind of pun you actually made there. I was like, what do you mean, no pun intended? And then I'm like, oh. Uh, yeah. You can also get a funny thing on that, if I remember correctly. As yeah, well, you right? like a they can weird just clip camera. into it. Oh yeah, there is that, where you can clip into the ship and then it just soft locks you. Yep. <laughs> I have yet to actually have that happen. It's happened to me a few times. So here, there's these death wheels. They spooky. They are very spooky. And now here we are. We're gonna get absolutely body slammed by Finn. Yeah, that would kill you. <laughs> but we're we're Spider-Man. We don't die. That is understandable. The Tinker's tech is so cool in this game. It is so cool. I love the programmable matter suit that you can get. My mom would be very upset. That line always kills me. Just like, give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. My mom would be very upset. That is a pretty damn good reason, to be fair. <laughs> like... Like... Do you really want to upset Miles' mom? No. You don't want to be that guy. I wouldn't want to upset Rio. That's for sure. You should probably be you. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Very aggressive Rio is mother, not isn't somebody she? I would want to be on the bad side of. So now we're at uh, breaking through the noise. We are going yeah. to head over and get some Spider-Man advice from Uncle Aaron. 
So this, I'm just doing this just so that way you guys can kind of get somewhat of an idea of what New Game Plus movement looks like. Venom Dash and Web Zip with a lot of tricks. Yeah, there are also a few of the camouflage stuff in there as well, but that's it. Is that NG Plus only suit mod? I can't remember. Uh, I honestly don't know what suit mod. I know we don't use it in any percent. Yeah, it's probably too expensive to, like, go out of your way to go grab, I suppose. Yeah, and since we can already bunny hop, like, there's not really too many options to go, like, it helps when you're, like, wanting to just, like, zip through areas like this where you can't really bunny hop, but we can bunny hop. That we can. Oh, the Danny can. Yep. Then we're here for this little wait, which I'm going to try and see if I can get... I, this is what I do during this wait. I try and see how much I can like loop around on this. Oh, there actually is a little menu that we have to do. Um, so we're gonna get Miles Smash, uh, Venom Dash Launcher, and then we need uh, there is a visor. Which mod is it? Uh, oh, deep pockets, which I can't actually get yet. That is edge. This is like the hard part about men about any percent is always just menuing. Um, sure. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I run the only uh, category available oh, to run on Spidey Two. Is something else? Oh no, I can't get those yet. Oh, because I need web yank opportunists. Because I didn't get that yet. Uh, and spread the love. Yep. And I can't get that one because then I will have used a skill point I am not allowed to use. You don't pull a recon. <laughs> what did you do that? I did that in a uh, world record pace on SM2 the other day. Uh, oh no. I forgot that a certain skill point costs two instead of one, so I upgraded it like during a boss fight because it's like, okay, this next boss fight coming up, I'm gonna really need this. But I forgot, and uh, I tried to backload, but it saved my skill point, and at that point, I wanted to cry, so I just gave up. Oh yeah, I mean, you know what? Was invalid just, anyways, so yeah, I'll just do it tomorrow instead, and then I did it tomorrow and. No, I didn't get any results, but the next day I got world records, so... There you go. Here we go. Perfect. I can now just sit here and hang, because why not? This is yeah. what I do during this wait. There's an assault happening nearby. Also, you get this, which is always kind of cool. That is very cool. Hey, Nip. Meet me at the dock, Hellgage. I'll be there. Do Meet me in the docks in Hell's Kitchen. What's up, Prowler? Somewhere. Dude's so chilling. Should head over to the bodega. See if I can find the people who robbed it. I gotta call you back. I activated the side quest thinking that that would skip the. I didn't think that was gonna go right, right into this. Spill it. Give me the huh. whole situation. Interesting. So yeah, we're actually near like the end of the run, and the game's like, hey, guess what? There's more side content for you to do. Seventeen. <laughs> Yeah, so it's Tinker Tailor after this one. Tinker Tailor's bad pie. Then it's uh, Thicker Than Blood. Then it's Like a Real Scientist. And then it is Battle for Harlem. And it's the end of the game. And I get yeah. to bed. <laughs> wow, I see how it is. You're just like, oh, I'm here, but I'd rather be in bed. <laughs> I've been here for seven hours. <laughs> Ugh. Nah, I love it. Fine, we're all fine. Everyone's happy. Honestly, though, guys, this Spider-Man community is amazing. I, we all like, like obviously Recon is here way late into the night for this, which I'm very thankful for because doing solo commentary with 52 minutes of unskippable cutscenes, I don't know how I'd be able to do that. Um, <laughs> but uh, definitely, guys, do help support our spider-man community because they're all amazing 
Um, Burke is an incredible runner. Uh, Recon is obviously fantastic. Um, and then we have uh, Jay Hobbs, you know, some random nerd named Jay Hobbs is part of our part of our community as well. I'm sure nobody has ever heard of him. Oh, never, um, never heard of him. <laughs> And uh, Pestilus, Rebel Dragon 95. Uh, there's so many cool people in our community. So, like, definitely. Uh, I want. Oh, I still can't get deep pockets yet? I need activity tokens. It might give you some for this, actually. It gave me some for that, so I thought it would let me just do it, but I guess not. Maybe after this mission. Maybe. Dynamics. Old man still knows his stuff. Cool right dope handshake there, from Miles and Prowler. I know what to For do. Sure. About Could you imagine That's like to just being like some random New Yorker walking by and you just see Spider Man and Prowler doing that handshake Change. randomly? Tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, what, what would you think in that scenario? Like what, I, what on earth is he I, doing? I don't know. You don't have to protect me. Someone should. Uh, so the one thing that i will give is my biggest pet peeve about this game in terms of the new game plus run and this is completely on insomniac is how could the game forces you to change suits during the new game plus run like especially since in new game plus you can use the bodega cat suit but you can't use it the whole run i guess just story progression and stuff right because i was because, i always use the uh the end suit i think it's called the one with oh, like, cool the suit. hoodie yeah the yeah, hoodie yeah, yeah. and like the camo pants or whatever it is yeah i always use that one and it just swaps to this one and like it will actually lose me like five seconds to like to swap, swap every suits. time yeah yeah because it's like two swaps right yeah because like, it swaps you to yeah. the with great power suit or whatever it's called yeah uh, which is the and then the it's classic one. yeah i always forget about this section and i'll be like thinking that this is all an unskippable cutscene but no they give you control just for you to open the window <laughs> just go into an unskippable cutscene <laughs> not right away technically a transition yeah it's a really cool transition actually and then, because we have well, to then, come, like, way down here. Yeah. Uh, to right here. Trinity Church. Yeah, yeah. that's Trinity right. Trinity Church is by the time capsule, I believe. Actually, I don't exactly remember where it is, but it, I know it's in uh, the financial district. So. And now I can get deep pockets, which gives me more gadgets. Which is very useful. Yeah, there it is, Trinity Church, and then you just have to... I know there's someone's dialogue you have to cut off before this spawns. It's Finn's. Yeah. I don't remember exactly when we're supposed to do it, but... It's after we need to talk, I'm pretty sure. So you can lie to me again, yeah. There we go. Yay, I was right, I remembered. <laughs> you were right. So now Miles is going to try and tell Finn that, that a destroying a company and man. killing a CEO is not really the best you. way. Do you want me to feel bad because you almost killed me? I want you to stop lying to me. I let you in the underground. It's not really the best way to get revenge, but there are better ways. Mm -hmm. What Krieger did to Rick? Rockstar needs to pay. Not like this. This is the only way I can beat him. I need you to look the other way. So, yeah, Please. we try and go all good guy. And I love how he stands up to say, I made a promise. It's so dramatic of him. Need some, like, so epic good. drama show music here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know. I don't know what drama show music is, actually. I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just like the little like theme for Peter or whatever. Like the <laughs> buh, buh. oh well that. <laughs> Stands up, I made a promise. That's yes, that's exactly what we do. 
Oh, That's a hundred percent. And here they are debating about countries that were at a performance. It's like seven choirs from seven countries. Yeah. And you guys remember Rhino? Guess who's back? Back again. Rhino's Tell back. <laughs> Tell a friend. Yeah. And this time, he's got red armor, which means he is invulnerable to our venom. Which is spooky. Oh, how did he get that? Ooh. We may never know how he got this. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how. Who else uses anti-venom stuff? It couldn't be Roxxon, could it? <laughs> Peter and Spider-Man too. <laughs> the anti-venom suit. Ugh. Oh, there okay. we go. Here's a skippable cutscene, and now we get Mega Venom Blast. We get our third Venom Bar, and then we get Mega Venom Blast, which we won't be using at all at any percent. Um, okay? oh, but it is sick. really cool in New Game Plus because of how many fights that you can just absolutely end by just like Gravity Well, Gravity Well, Mega Venom Blast, and everything dies. It is amazing. It is beautiful, I will say that much, yeah. <laughs> Let's find a way out of here. This mission is a very fun mission. Yes, this is also a pretty high uh, your run will probably die here mission. Oh, it's very unfortunate. <laughs> uh, but that's because there is a stealth section that we're going to be doing here that's like where you need to do the stealth section correctly, and if you don't do the stealth, kind of similar to what we were talking about with the stealth in Spider-Man 2, where if your stealth uh, is unsuccessful, more enemies will show up. And we obviously don't want that to happen, because if more enemies show up, then it takes a lot more time. Yup. I mean, well, to be fair, in Spider-Man 2, there's uh, ways around it, and uh, I think it actually gives you more XP. In some in some missions as well, if more enemies show up, so that's, that's always true. really cool for any percent. So that's true. And in this category, and miles any percent, what what is that point launch icon? Huh? I think it was something that you broke by the church. Could you imagine if that would just let me clip out of bounds? And just woo, right, right up to it, just skip the entire level. Dude, that would be insane. Uh, so this is not the stealth section. Do I remember remote my actually gravity well remote mining and uh, mega venom blasting in this room actually to clear like a whole bunch of enemies out? Yep. Uh, my old NG plus days. I was so close to record, man. I just gave up too soon. This game like annoyed me far too much. Is, is that is that a return I'm smelling? No, no chance. <laughs> Dang. So close. And every oh nope, that is not everybody. <laughs> dude just That's appeared. A scripted dude appeared like yo. He's like sup. It. Looks like some kind of record archive. Gonna access this little computer the here. There's a voice memo in here. Sir, the police are asking about Rhino. What do we tell them? Our man at the raft is setting up a special work release program. And this is where the police Rhino's doing the little community service. Uh they got away with this. Krieger is talking about how he was able to use Rhino. And we just have to come over here, pull open a door, which is oddly enough a skippable cutscene. Fun but fact. we also learn... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, fun fact, I managed to save so much time learning that that was a skippable cutscene in one of my runs. I never knew for like the longest time. And then when I actually found out, I just I suddenly saved like a minute. It's funny. But yes, you go on. That was like yeah. not that important. <laughs> so basically, we just learned that Prowler sold us out to Krieger. Dun, dun, dun. So, oh wait, I have to come over here first. I got a little ahead of myself. Generator first. Generator first. 
And then we pull the thing. I was like, wait, why can't I pull the thing? Because you have to do that first. I can't hotwire the shutters, but I can move machinery. Like that. Uh, we come over here and we gotta pull this. Come back over here. Pull it again. And then we gotta pull it one more time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, then you connect it all. So, like, then it's... Oh, I definitely started the wrong direction, but that's okay. Because we still got and through. The boop. Nice. And we stand and right here, waiting for the engine to show up that we can then... Just blow through this. And then it's a funny boss fight. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, which actually my NG plus PB has like an incredible rhino boss fight. That's our way out. Mine is a decent one. You're second on the NG plus plans, right? Okay. I am second. I have a 224. I'm still like four minutes behind world right. record. I'll take care of those guards. Nice. And I think I'm like three minutes behind on the 80% board. I don't 100% remember. Yeah, three minutes. And I had I had world record before. But I, my 231 was world record, but then Pterodactyl got actually a really good run and got that 228. Based. And then now Bacon Guy just got like a 220. We were like super excited because PC was like only 30 seconds slower than PS5. And then Bacon and then Guy bacon comes out with a 226. Yeah. I'll be fine, just go. Yeah, Bacon kind of cooked with, uh, with that. Yo, he bopped me too. I was fourth place and he bopped me. What's so sad? I'm now fifth on the boards. <laughs> I think that's a sign you need to come back. Oh. I want to. That's what I'm hearing. Seems hard. Probably millions of dollars in untaxed money. You clear the floor. So now we. This is the stealth section. So I'm actually gonna focus here. Whoa! What? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> okay, while you focus, I'll tell a very, very silly, stupid meme that's for some reason about me. <laughs> so uh, I run a fair few games, right? And uh, it is no secret. I'm, I'm I'm pretty decent at some of the games that I run, right? I uh, I got like I, I I'm like top four, top five in a lot of those games, right? But there was a meme that like a friend of mine called Eric started, and it was I am I go for top four in every game. So every new speedrun I start, I'm like, yo, he's gonna get top four in speedrun. Because most of my newer runs and most of my newer PBs were like fourth place on the boards, right? <laughs> so That's like amazing. every time, every time I do anything, like he even mentioned it the other day. Like I was, I was AFK in a voice channel on my own. He's like, yo, he's going for the voice channel world record, fourth, fourth place on voice channel percent. <laughs> That's like, amazing. God damn you, bro. <laughs> and that was actually a really good self section. So I will yeah, take that. that. Clean. Very clean. So how we do this fight here is we're going to take Rhino. We have to stand by these tanks here. And he's going to charge us. Break all this armor. <laughs> and he runs into the tank and then we can beat the snot out of him. Normally we want to be like really close to a tank, but that'll still work out really well. I guess normally you should two cycle that. I miss some damage, but that's fine. And now we're in the second phase where Rhino is going to be throwing uh, the tanks at us. We're actually going to get hit by them. And then, yep. then you we can, can then the charge them. Oh my, okay. Oh, that's, that's a rip. That was very unlucky. Wow. Yep, now you oh, let me throw. Uh, what is happening? And I guess now we're gonna punch his butt. <laughs> that is one way to defeat them, yeah.
There we go. And now we're going to go into the final phase, which is uh, we get our... Uh, his armor is disabled, which means we can destroy him just like we did uh, right back at the very beginning of the run. So we get to go and... But this time, we have three Venom Bars instead of just one. So you just beat him with uh, Venom Punch, Venom Punch, Venom Punch. Yep. Wow. That don't and by the, fully, but, yeah. yeah. And by the time that we have done one Venom Punch and a combo, we get our Venom Punches back, so we don't even use all three bars. I'll be right back. Very clean. Yeah. You know, now that I'm actually running this in a marathon and aren't doing, like, a PB attempt, uh, I, I feel the unskippable cutscenes. I never would feel them in PB attempts. You know, Krieger told me... I do love that. But I can feel them now. This is definitely my can of sparkling water that's a lot older, but that's okay, it's still water. <laughs> I am really bad at, like, recycling my cans right away off of my desk. So, like, I'll just reach over and just be like, oh, I'll take a sip out of this. I'm like, yep, that's like three days old, because it is flat. <laughs> Man, at least it's just water. Right, exactly. And honestly, I... I am become <laughs> such a sucker for good sparkling water. It's ridiculous. But that's what I did when I very much weaned out a lot of pop out of my diet. Yep. But I still love carbonation. <laughs> we love yeah, that. so Finn is like not happy that I don't know exactly what she's mad at us for. Uh, she's about to tell you. <laughs> oh yeah, we we did a lot, and she's not happy with us. Near me again. Come near me. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. But we're family. My family's dead. And now... My family's dead. Such a dramatic line. <laughs> yeah. And I'm surprised I actually remembered. <laughs> like, it's a sign, Recon! It's a no, sign! It's, no, it's... No, it's just... <laughs> and now, uh, we're gonna reveal to Rio that we are Spider-Man. Because we're very injured and we walk in in our suit. And she's like, oh. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> cool. But that makes so much sense now. Hey, I could use your help before you go. Why did she just thought it was a cosplayer or something? Like, <laughs> like in, like in a, a, across the Spider Verse. What is this? Like your Comic Con kind of thing? It'll take a while to down. It's all right. Oh no. That's that's exactly what it was. Gonna stretch my legs a little, then head out. Would now be a good time for our last uh, break of the run? Uh, yeah, that'll actually work out great. So we'll go ahead and go to break here. Uh, pretty much once this mission ends here, like once the mission complete sign comes up. So in three, two, one, break. Awesome. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, during these longer runs, we like to take breaks so everybody can get up, stretch, get some water, anything they might need to do. So we're going to take a few minute breaks and we'll be back with the end of the run. See you in a few minutes. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Game Done Quick Hot Fix. Uh, we are, I was going to say in the middle, but we're near the end of a Spider-Man Miles Morales run, so uh, we'll get right back into it and finish the run off. Whenever yeah, you're ready. all right. Yeah, uh, ready to get back into it. We've only got three missions left. We're in the final three missions of the run, so it's going to be about 20, 30 minutes-ish. So uh, it's going to be a great ending. I'm actually really excited to, not to end it, but to show you guys the end, because it's really cool. So three, <laughs> two, one, go. So... Uh, where we left off, for those who, uh, missed it, um, we got beat up by, um, by Finn, and now we are going to go, tr well, right now we're just kind of, like, patrolling through the city, this is where the game is like, hey, 
you guys, you should check on the city, you know, do, do side stuff. And we're like, nah, we're gonna go to where we need to be. And so what we're doing is we're actually going west here. And I am doing tricks, not just because they look cool, but because uh, we want to build up our Venom meter because we're actually gonna be going into a boss fight with the Prowler. Uh, Cause you know, oddly enough, it's been, he's been all over this run. Big shocker that we're actually gonna be fighting him. So we're going to come over here and this is where I am really weird and I like point launch over here and then just go away because we're waiting for dialogue to happen. We just kind of hang out here. Mm, I usually hang out in the water at the science center, actually. It's quite you funny. hang out in the water? Yeah. That's got to be cold. Yeah, probably. Do you, take, do you take like cold damage at all from it? No, no, no. You just, just chill though. Eh, <laughs> chill though. No, you just, uh, <laughs> you just chill though. I shouldn't have laughed at that, but it's because you didn't realize what you had said right away. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're just waiting for dialogue and uh, some events to happen, and then it's the, uh, the funny, unskippable cutscene moments. This is why y'all got to remember to bring snacks for these runs. And then you can skip some dialogue here again. Now, oddly enough, you can actually dodge that Prowler shot. But if you dodge it, you softlock the game. <laughs> Based. <laughs> I think that was Pest who I first heard talk about it. So yeah, Prowler's I like dodgeable and I I don't know. But Prowler's like, hey, you aren't listening to me. You're not you're being a good guy instead of taking care of yourself. So we're gonna lock you up. So we're gonna listen to Prowler talk about his thing. And what? Just hide down here? And we aren't gonna. I gotta stop Finn. No, you gotta survive. And we're going to. Uh, well, basically, we're kind of sick of Prowler telling us how to be Spider-Man. Wasn't a sellout. It'd be like that. And there's a specific combo that we're going to be doing against him. Uh, we're going to be doing a Venom Punch into a Remote Mine into punches and another. I think it's two Venom Punches in this fight. Yeah, I always used to Venom Dash him and he used to get away from me. Like, I, I always forget that, like, it's the entry punch that you need to do. Yeah. So we're gonna start out by Venom Punching into a Venom Dash on him. And then we're just gonna do this. Do a few hits. And that's phase number one. Very nice. And I'm trying to save everyone else. I got so used to new game plus damage because that's what I've done most recently. So I was like, oh, oh snap, this is weird. Yeah, Miles does get kidnapped a lot. That's like what his like. I don't know. <laughs> like his third time getting kidnapped or whatever. Like in this game alone, actually, yeah. Yeah, he gets kidnapped a lot. Throw yourself at enemies you can't beat. No one else did that. Don't say his name. So in the third phase here with Prowler, we're actually gonna start out with restarting checkpoint because the game wants you to fight these clones these like holograms and you can skip past having to do them oh by just restarting the checkpoint nice oh shoot i uh oh uh this isn't good what is happening 
My hologram skip has faltered. Chat. That is not a good sign. I'm so confused as to what has happened. You know what? You know what? We're just going to do this. Okay, got him now. Is there, there we go. There we go. Now we got it. There you go. Hello? <laughs> I'm so confused. What? Why is he not taken out yet? You soft there we go. Somehow? There we go. There we go. That, that was so strange. weird. That was another instance of that has never happened before. <laughs> I know I messed up. I let you down. What family? Family? That didn't stop you from lying to me, manipulating me, fighting me. Being family isn't enough anymore. Doesn't have to be like this. You, me, hating each this other. This is such a good scene. That's how it happened between yeah, me and Yeah, it's very dad. cool. I don't want to Miles that. just says, I'm done with you. You're toxic. I can't be the person you want to turn me into. I can't turn my back when people need me. It's so good. Have to be and bad. now that's the end of that. So now we're going to... So, this is kind of another, like, little bit of a pet peeve here. Um, so... Oh, not Harlem. Uh, Upper West Side is where I want to go. So, in this game, we have, like, getting very close to, like, the high, intense action. Uh, end of the run, and then... Uh, the game's just gonna throw... Well, first we have actually this really cool fight. And then... Uh, once we take out this... This section... Like, once we do this cool stealth section... We're not really gonna be doing anything for a while. But this is also one of those fights where a lot can go wrong for not really any reason. Also, I love that air stealth takedown. Mm-hmm. So we want this guy to see us here. Because the joys of this game is we can have all of the enemies come to us. Yeah. And I'm just going to Venom Dash him since I have to. Ow. Anyways. I'm surprised you can't, like, just Venom Jump them. Like, yeah, they, like, like dodge your Venom Jump. It's so weird. Oh, what the heck? They are very not fun to deal with the uh, the underground. Yeah, they're kind of weird. At least the damage is nice. You know, two punches is all it takes with a venom. Yeah, you know? and then in mine, Spidey two is like twelve on that end. Like, we love it. Oop! Oh, hello. Welcome to the fight. <laughs> there he goes. Bye. Thanks for coming. Now, oh, wait. I have question. to come over here. Kind of Do you remember? Oh, <laughs> that barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I, went to, I, I went to pull this, but I accidentally grabbed the barrel and it <laughs> just pulled man. itself over. What? Wait, did you Which see one? that poor man stuck to the like yeah. contraption over there? You'll see him when you go around. <laughs> He's just stuck over there on one of the poles. You're gonna be deeply looking for this one dude now. <laughs> I know, I'm so confused. Oh, this is gonna work. Oh, you'll, you'll see him. You'll see him. That's one. Feeling good. As to what what man you're talking about. This is working. I'm yeah, way too the, intrigued about this. It should be around the left generator, I think. It's on one of the uh, the, the poles on the side. It's like there's the big balls and then there's like the like weird like little circular poles. There he is. <laughs> I've just seen him. I totally miss him. 
It's on the left one. If you look to the left on that big, uh, the big ball thing, he's just chilling there. Oh, sweet. Uh oh, Time to break down the ground store. poor guy. <laughs> he's. Whoops. <laughs> he's just vibing, bro. You know? He's I, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we love this one, like real scientists. Yeah, so now that we've just done that cool section, it's time for a flashback! Ah, uh, the walking sim. Because, you know, in the second to last mission in the game, we want a very long flashback. Specifically a walking sim. <laughs> yep. Well, no, we can jog. That's better than Spike 2. <laughs> Projects in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our name. Did you say it's better in Spidey 2 or better than Spidey 2? Better than Spidey 2. You can't jog in that one. <laughs> Every major museum in the world. It's very cursed. Now we're going to come over here. This lady is going to tell us that we can't go see our own project that we made. Yeah, this one's actually not too bad, but it's just like. Eh. You know, no, it's actually really not bad. It honestly would be fine if it wasn't in the second to last mission of the run. Yeah, it's they're trying to like kind of force the Finn Miles relationship down down the throats, you know. It's like, oh look, you will love this character. You'll love you, this is this is very sad. You're gonna have to kill us, you know. Yeah. So, but before we, while we, before we can save the world, we have to. Hello. Something oh. What? It didn't let me grab it. Shut up. I have so many questions. Shape memory alloy. I can change the shape on the Maybe it will let me grab it later. This stuff is Here's the uh, the fun thing. You ready for the cameo? Don't let anyone see. Yeah, the yeah, this is this is kind of a cool moment, but oh, Whoa, who that guy? <laughs> Uh, who are those guys, actually? I love the little music it gives, too. Yeah, it's a, it's a Spider Man 2018 theme, right? <laughs> mm hmm. The little music sting, like, oh my god, look, I know the guy. Like, eh? Uh, uh. <laughs> I've got the light. See, and now we get to be uh, a super spy. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. So basically, nobody is paying attention to the two kids squatting in the corner. Definitely not like trying something. <laughs> oh, I need to do it <laughs> one more time. Yeah, ignore those, uh, those kids. Come on, our project awaits. Oh, so that's a powerful flashlight, by the way. I know. I I <laughs> was just I actually was just thinking about that, like. That was the flashlight from her phone did that. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll the hell does such a lock work? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It's like we're gonna shine a light on this. I, I've never thought thing. about that, but now I'm very <laughs> confused. Oh, dude, the more we question it, the more we just like. <laughs> like, how did they think that that was secure? Hey, Dad. You have some teenager can shine a light onto it, and, like, it just works. I love, too, how, like, the lady's like, what? How are they getting upstairs? Ah, oh, It's just absolutely shucks. nothing to stop you, either. <laughs> like, no security call, nothing. She's just like, oh, well, there goes my job. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Our project's in the back. It's so good how she's just like, yep, whatever. Think they got a all up? Well, at least you're at the end of this section now. This is uh, the one of the more like unfortunate sections of this room. You know, just it's a bit long. That's not terrible. That one it's just not, ended up being like, weird because it wouldn't let me pick up the little solar coin or whatever. <laughs> no one told us we were in the special exhibit. Plot power. <laughs> the power of the plot. We were. Yeah. I love how. Miles is like, our thing is ticket only. No one told us that. But that means 
we're cool, even though, and then he's like, how'd you get in? They don't just, like, assume he bought a ticket. <laughs> I am not saying that. Everybody say alleles. Also, Miles' random teleporting headset. He doesn't have his headset on for the entire time that you're walking, but he has it in that picture. <laughs> Based. Alleles. And Tinker. Finn, you need to know. I'm done listening to you. She's done. She's just going to magnetize the new form reactor to her back. Drop the shield, which I'm sure is expensive. <laughs> yeah, she has plenty of those. You can create it from nothing, I guess. You know, she, she'll be fine. Oh, my plan did not work there. It seems like that wasn't uh, <laughs> the intention. <laughs> this is actually kind of a cool fight. Oh, come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, this thing's take ages to kill. Yeah, especially at any percent where you, like, have to be very strategic with how you use, like, finishers and stuff. I can't imagine how old it would be. I never got this far in any of my ultimate attempts. Why did they give? What did they? Uh, what did they die? Uh, they usually died in uh, uh, not uh, underground, whatever it's called, in that oh, yeah, fight no, 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 no. specifically. Ah, uh, okay, that, that's a hard one actually. Okay, that guy's dead. <laughs> nah, Spider-Man's not a killer. Totally did not just break his uh, spine right there, but you know. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm having Modern so many first time it, moments yeah. in this run. Uh, classic GDQ. That's the GDQ formula at this point, you know. Yeah, seriously, though. Don't get the uh, don't get the slowdown. Have you ever had the slow mo thing? Cool. I don't know if I have. What? Oh, that probably this. Yeah, uh, no, it's uh, it's like uh, the game goes like fully slow mo, and you're stuck in that until you restart checkpoint. And restarting checkpoint once you ride back to the science center. Oh, I've never. So had I, I, that. I I lost a PB to it. I was like two minutes ahead. I lost two minutes to it. It's so sad. Not that and a bad fin fight, but you know. Yeah, so we're actually in the final mission of the run. Uh, this is the battle for Harlem. Hope this is not a skippable cutscene. Can you hear me? Genki! Hang on, guys. So <laughs> we're going to now. Take out a whole lot of enemies. It's a storm happening right now, right? Storm. Yeah, there's a snowstorm and a battleground, because, you know. It's a pretty cool setting for a battle, actually. It actually cool. is. It's, it's super cool. And our goal in this fight is to take out everybody. Oh, that guy just fell over. <laughs> the Venom jump is so good. It actually costs two skill points in Spidey 2. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, we, we opt to, uh, because our XP route is like really strict, we opt to not grab it. Oh, we're actually up on the roofs now. Yeah, these four rooftops just uh, clear out a whole bunch of bad guys. Then there's, I think there's like one big battleground and then an unskippable cutscene and then a fight, right? Yep, and then we'll have the Finn fight. Oh, 
I didn't actually want to do a ground takedown there, but yeah, it looks like what is enough. happening. <laughs> uh. This is fine. Yeah, I don't that that okay. <laughs> you know what? It looked cool. There's that's excusable. <laughs> sure. I love doing swing kicks, because you just, just like, yep, bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> I never there's remember one, where to go. one guy. And uh, I think there are... Um... Well, there's like one guy over here who's always like in the wall there. Oh, they're over yeah. here. This is where you go. Yeah. By the one apartment. more set of roofs. And then it's the big battleground, yeah. I do wonder actually how Spidey, though, not Spidey, how Insomniac are uh, gonna do the Wolverine game. I'm really hyped. I know. It was cool because I saw an interview where they were talking about like why there wasn't any like Wolverine teasers in Spider-Man 2. Yeah, they say like and, just let that they want to let the team cook, right? Just let them yeah. do their own thing, and then they were just like, like we didn't want to rush them. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any venom. No wonder I can't venom jump. <laughs> God, I, I would Ow. love to see what they want to do with that. Like I've heard. In, uh, I've heard from like certain sources that it's gonna be like semi open world. It'd be like really cool. They That'd gave a comparison. Crazy. I just can't think of what like the comparison was. It's it's gonna be really cool. I hope uh, I hope they do it justice. And it's gonna it be, like, gonna be a very sick run or a very sick game. Maybe even a sick run. Who knows? That would be cool. I mean, I, I, I don't know, is there even a game that Insomniac has made that hasn't been, like, a at least a somewhat good speed game? Uh, I don't know about Resistance or anything like that, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what it is. That, that's what they're gonna do with it. Yeah, they like, they're... In a certain they're universe. Well, I well, think no, it's, it's in the same universe. universe. It's in the same universe, but it's doing, it's doing its own thing, you know? Yeah, because it is going to be in its story. very own thing, and it's going to have it's going to have a very different feel to it, whereas, like, these games have a lot more of, like, the, the comic-y type feel. There is going to be a lot more... It's going to be a lot darker. Yeah, that one's rated R, right? Like, it's going to be, like, rated... Oh, ah, I yeah, guess. it's no gonna idea. be an M rated game. It's gonna an be a, it's gonna be a good game. Yeah. So we're going into the fin fight. We're pretty much gonna be fighting her the same way that we fought Prowler. Uh Venom Punch into Remote Mine into beating her up. You don't know what so, you're doing. They deserve It's gonna be it's there are a lot of fight like runs where this fight can they kill your run. Spent. So you're not just gonna destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're gonna vaporize all of Harlem. But yeah, this actually, oddly enough, like, I actually really like this as a final boss fight. Yeah, it's very cool. Like, casually, I like the Finn fight better than I like Doc Ock. From 2018. Ooh, Doc Ock's cool, though. But like, like, the story part of Doc Ock is really cool, but the fight was just kind of meh, in my opinion. I mean, the, a lot of the fights in 2018 were a bit, uh, you know, they weren't the best, unfortunately. That was like they they definitely learned how to do. They definitely learned how to do uh, the fights for Spidey 2, because the Spidey 2 boss fights are some of the best boss fights in these games, like by far. But like, um. Like this, like the the emotion behind Doc Ock was so good. Yeah, that that's what like carried the fight to be some like really good fight. I don't have any venom right now. 
Nice. But I don't even need it. Oh, where are you going, Finn? I do hope they actually do a Spidey Free, like a big finale game, you know? It would be really cool, yeah. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, nope, this is definitely not one that you skip. Because she does her death wheel thing. Yeah, this one's kind of scripted, I believe. Yeah, this is a lot more scripted. I think, like, the start of it isn't, but... Once she, like, picks you up, then it's pretty scripted yeah. from there on out. I think, uh, I believe me, me and Berg talked about it, like, a few times. When she yeets you, I think she yeets you, like, three times. And then it's, like, the end of the fight. Yep. Gosh, I... Oh, no, that was unlucky. Oh, come on. I just need to, like, hit her one more. There we go. There we go. Now that she's eating us, now we're kind of at the part where it's pretty scripted. She's going to start doing these little death wheels. And then we can go beat her up again. Yeah. Until she picks us up and throws us. Yeah, on the Wolverine thing, I doubt it, it's going to be right to the end. Like, it's going to be, like, very gory and very gruesome. So I think, like, it will oh, be no. really cool. That's not good. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, you really just, like, don't want her to have you, like, throw you off. All right, and that's the fin fight. Yeah. So now at this point, we get... A really long unskippable cutscene, and then we get a little walking section, and then there, and then we'll be at time. So technically, the run is like over, but like it's not quite time. It's kind of a weird thing. But we time on last input, but we have auto complete for QTEs, so you don't actually like see it really happen for where time is. So I'll hopefully be able to call it out. Um, when we get there. Yeah. Um, but either way, thank you guys so much. I'm going to do all my shout outs now because it's just going to be like, we're just going to be sitting here like watching this already. So I'm going to do all my shout outs now. Thank you guys. Thank you to Church and Sarge for letting uh, me be able to show off this run. Um, this is a super fun speed game and I do really, really like it. Um, Despite the unskippable cutscenes, it is a super, super, super fun speed game, and I still definitely recommend it to anybody who has been enjoying the Insomniac runs and wants something that's a little bit longer than the DLC runs of 2018, but not as long as uh, Spider-Man 2. Um, uh, I also want to give just a shout out to Recon for staying up uber, uber late and <laughs> being here for this run. Um, and uh, just a shout outs to the rest of the Insomniac Spider-Man community uh, in general. Uh, I've got Burke Maverick, Pestilus, Jay Hobbs. Um, gosh, there's so many runners. B-Dud, Skeed Kangaroo, who is like my rival on 2018 in PC. Uh, Pterodactyl, so many just incredible runners who have come through and pushed so many games and so many different versions of these games for a long time. Um, it's it's been super cool to be a part of this community uh, especially since like i've been watching this run develop like both games since they came out i've been interested in the speed run and so now that i can like finally speed run these games i am so happy for um so i'm always excited to be able to show them off at any possibility whether it be at a gdq type thing gdq hotfix or just on my own channel so i run these games a lot so definitely guys give me a follow as well uh so time is going to be coming up here in just a little bit so get ready on time 
Um, we're gonna have this very dramatic yelling section. This is technically a QTE here um, that we are doing, but since it's autocomplete, we don't have to worry about it. So I think this is also kind of like a really cool moment where you see like the flashback between Rick and Miles, which I think is really cool. Uh, this game's great. The speedrun's great. Video games are cool, guys. Play video games. You guys should speedrun video games. And also, if you guys are wondering, like, oh, this game's probably... Oh, actually, I'm going to call time first. And... Time. So... Really short, if you guys are, like, thinking, man, I bet this game is probably really hard to learn. Honestly, it's really not. This game is very, very, very easy to pick up and run. Uh, the route's simple to remember. Um, the tricks are actually pretty decently easy to do, especially on PC. Um, they're really not that difficult. Um, so I highly recommend picking up this game as a speed game if you guys want to run a Spider-Man game. This one's great. It's super fun. It's great to just kind of like chill and run. That's why I said like I like to do like one no reset run every now and again, just because it is fun and it's something that you can do where, at least for me, I don't really grind it too much anymore, uh, but it's just fun to do and show off. So I highly recommend it. Definitely pick it up. And yeah, I think that's actually all that I've got for my shout out. So Unless Recon, I'm sure you probably said everything you wanted to in Spider-Man 2, but if you've got more to say, go for it. Throw me a follow on Twitch if you want some Spidey gameplay, I suppose. That's all I can really, uh, all I can really say. Yeah, very, uh, very good, very good run, GG, so. Very, uh, very nice. It's nice to see this game again, actually. It's been, been a hot minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't really have anything to say other than, other than, yeah, GG's, man. Thank you. Very cool run. Thank you both so much for, you know, being on today, uh, for Recon, for being here all day on commentary, <laughs> and uh, for showing off uh, this amazing game. And, uh, you know, it, it's awesome to have, you know, people who are so passionate about the games come on, and uh, y'all are clearly very passionate about uh, these games. And, you know, uh, you've been saying all day, like, the community is great. So uh, awesome to be able to have y'all on to represent the community. Uh, thank you so much for showcasing the run. Uh, with that said, we don't actually have any more content for y'all tonight. Uh, we will be back here tomorrow with a Sonic Marathon. Uh, it's Sonic Speed Shuffle. Uh, it might not actually be... Uh, uh, it's, I think it's Shuffled Sonic Games. I don't actually know what the schedule is for this. And if I were uh, a little bit more awake, I would have pulled this up already. But I know it's Sonic <laughs> Sonic Speed Shuffle. You should check it out. 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Uh, with that said, uh, we are going to take a quick break while we look for a raid target. If you wouldn't mind sticking around just to cheer somebody else on in some speedruns, that'd be awesome. Have a great night, everyone. Very nice. Hey, get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy?